Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join our community of over 69,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions. You can also find us on Instagram and even TikTok. Make sure you get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always looking ways to make your shopping experience better. That's why on certain items, we've got split pay where you can spread the cost over two, three or four months at no extra cost to you. So you can buy your way with split pay. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website. Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Oh, good morning! All of it. Did that happen? <laughs> Director Adam counting down. Yeah, but I was expecting the music and everything, and that yes. didn't happen, did it? What was the music? Or did? Or was it playing and we just didn't hear it? Good morning. Ah, uh, morning. Good morning, everybody. Monday How are morning. Monday, brand new week. Mm. Are we all ready? Are we all ready? No. I, the, the, it's getting lighter outside as well, so spring is is on its yes. way. We've got yes. Claire McDonald, oh, so morning, what more everybody. could we possibly want? I saw stars this morning. Did like, you? Yeah, lovely, lovely stars in the What sky. time are you driving to work? Because I'm fairly <clears> sure we arrived oh, around about the same I time. It's about 10 to 7. Oh, Saturday. okay. Yeah. Um, before we go anywhere, and I hope you don't mind, I have two very special little ladies back at my house who yeah. haven't seen a great deal of, of me lately because I've just kind of been here and there with my mum and everything. So and um, I did promise, I promised that I would say hello. So can we all say a very, very, very big, huge, gigantic good morning to my two little puppets, Willow and Tiggy. Oh, good morning, morning, Willow. Good morning, Tiggy. Morning. And I also promised I would do this. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. What does it, you, you can figure that out, can't you? Yeah. You can figure that out. At which point, I know what Willow will be doing back. She'll be saying... Oh, lovely girl. Bless. Bless him. Oh, I'll see you nice. later. I'll pick you up from school. You'll be a good girl. Don't play up your dad. Get dressed and remember to brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> all the things. Yeah. 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 We all need that reminder. Don't totally. We? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Actually, brush your teeth. You brush your hair. Yeah. yeah. Get dressed when daddy tells you to and eat your breakfast. Both of you. And I'm talking to you as well, Tiggy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a lovely Monday morning show for you. We really have. We've got, I tell you what, your deal of the day today is something not to be missed. How about the world's 
finest location of sauce for Ruby. Ooh. Yeah, you know it, don't you? Whenever we say Ruby, most of us will immediately think of the wonderful Burmese Ruby, which is uh, produces some of the most amazing fluorescence, the most beautiful colour, all down, down to those minuscule, minute inclusions called silks. They're coming up as your deal of the day today, and an unbelievable. On, honestly, I could talk, I could, I could chew your ears off about about Ruby. I could, especially Burmese Ruby. But to be honest, and I said this to producer Ross this morning, it's, it's all about the deal of the day saving today. You sh we shouldn't be able to get hold of Burmese Ruby, especially now, given the fact that so little of it is actually being mined um, at the price that we're bringing it to you. So 10 o'clock today, you've got to make sure you're with me for that. You've got an amazing parcel and they are, you, you, we guarantee a parcel. Um, I think it's three carrots in total. Yes, three carrots um, of Burmese Ruby. And they're, look, I mean, look, look, even here, without a little white piece of paper behind them, you can see that intensity of color. I mean, Ooh. they are remarkable no. so I'm thinking about all your gemstone setting of course mm, Claire yes. I'm also thinking about you know reaming your pearls and yes, setting yeah, rubies yeah, into we've got some demos of that so yeah that, that'd be really good and we've that. got lots of lovely pearls as well yes, today yeah um, all of your precious metal work yes. you know things like your sand casting that we launched not yes, so long ago for that wouldn't it your oh, tube yeah. setting, Claire. Aren't yeah. they amazing? Absolutely incredible. So they're coming up at uh, 10 o'clock today. Also, Claire, talk to us about your lovely kit. Because so this jewellery. Yes. Oh, my so, goodness. Kit. So nine o'clock. We've got, which I feel like we haven't done for a long time. We've got. Um, oh, well, speaking of. Yeah. You pearl could drilling. Do so we'll have a go. We'll have a go at that. And we can talk through the different um, uh, different burrs that you can use if you wanted to put your gemstones into, into pearls. But the pearls are gorgeous and the pegs that go in, in them are gorgeous as well. So you could literally do this with a deal of day as well? Yes, absolutely you could. So yeah. you could set Burmese ruby in yes, the pearls as well. How yeah. incredible yeah. is that? Beautiful. How far do so, maker has come since I know, that little I know, cupboard. it's wonderful, isn't it? It is wonderful. Yeah, really, really good. So, that, so that's the nine and then, oh, we've got that one as well for the, the nine. And then, um, and then we've got um, a few more spinner rings um, at 12. So you can see those. So oh, lots of, wow. Of different, um, soldable accents to go in there um, and bezel set gemstones. Literally. The lovely textured sheet. So, yeah. Oh, so we've got loads to look forward yeah. to today. It's going to be a wonderful one Monday morning show. But let's start the show as we always do, showing off your wonderful creations in the Wall of Fame. Just waiting on Ross. It's okay. It's all good. I can't. I can't say anything to Ross though this morning, can I? No. I've got to be nice to him for at least. He did. He did bring you a nice half gift. Half an hour. He did, didn't he? Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. I feel gift. a bit. Mm, I don't so know. So you I'm best. Gonna you better be nice to Ross. I think. I'm, I'm going to do my very best to be nice to to Ross. He's he's. <laughs> <laughs> He's saying in our ear, Claire, it's fine. You carry on. You Being your usual horrible self. You're not horrible, though, Ross. She's not horrible, Ross. Yeah, Ross. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I feel we're even Stevens now that you said that about me. So yeah. Um, it's yeah, fair it, game. It's fair game. <laughs> yeah. it, just fe it just felt a bit awkward, to be honest, these two being nice to one another. Yeah. So I'm glad we're back to normality. Right, starting us off this morning, Margaret, these are beautiful. You've been very busy. Number Ooh. 435, some fabulous earrings there. Margaret says, I had a joy making afternoon with friends and family. Oh, what lovely. That sounds nice, doesn't mm, it? It does. Um, and these are what we made. Earrings using amber, jade, eye, amethyst and citrine, all from Jewelry Maker. The quality of the stones are outstanding. Good luck to all the watchers. Offers and thank you, JM. Gorgeous. Uh, really lovely. I like the idea of a jewelry making afternoon. Yes. 436 is from Janet. Oh, oh lovely. wow. It's lovely, Janet. Some very neat wire work mm. there. Uh, hi, a lovely folk and uh, at Team JM. This week's entry to the WAF, the first bit of wire work I have done in ages. So it's uh, not the tidiest, but yet it's such a pretty stone. I thought it, it time um, I have another go. Well, Ooh, I would. That looks pretty neat to me, Janet. Mm, you should see my yeah. work, my work, Janet. Um, <laughs> thank you for all the fun, frolics, and pure joy you share with us. Um, to you and the rest of the jewelry maker family, hugs to all. Oh, our Janet, that's beautiful. Back, yeah. Number four hundred and thirty-seven is from Margaret. Ooh, Very yeah. pretty, Margaret. 
Love that. Now, Margaret, you normally do a bit more wire work, don't Margaret's you? Margaret so, does beautiful, beautiful. She jewelry. does. I always admire yeah. jewellery on yeah. uh, on Facebook. That's lovely. This week's entry is a delicacy bead and pearl bracelet. Um, it's odd count, and the weaving in of the thread at the rose end was not my favourite part of making this bracelet. Our thanks to Jewellery Maker for a fabulous week of bargains on the telly. Bless you. Good luck to you, Margaret. Number 438 is from Julia. Oh, very Ooh, pretty. That's going to be amazing in summer. Um, hi, all at JM. Here's my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I love these lapis lazuli slabs bought from you a while ago. Such a statement piece using these beautiful bead caps and gold spaces. Hope you like it. Well, we absolutely love it, Julia. Love it, Julia. Amazing. <clears throat> Passing over to you, Claire. Here we go. I've got uh, 439. This is Melanie Kears. Ah, oh, wonderful. Getting Ooh, ready for Easter. Work there. Hi, everyone in JM. Easter isn't too far away, and I've made some beaded Fabergé style eggs. Some have um, a stand beaded at the base. The seed beads and thread are from JM, and some of the bugle beads and some of the bugle beads. The rest is from my stash and the eggs are plastic from a local crafting store. I'm looking to do some with gemstone eggs for the ex extra luxurious look. I hope you like them. And that's from Melanie. They're Love gorgeous, those. Melanie. Really beautiful. Uh, next, I've got 440 and this is Norma Cowie. Oh, that's lovely. Lovely, that's really Norma. Nice. Hi, all at JM. I put this necklace on Share Your Makes page and had such lovely comments. Thank you, everyone. So I thought I'd enter it into this week's Wall of Fame. I've used fresh water and shell pearl, and it sums up how I'm feeling at the moment, longing for spring. As always, good luck to all in the draw, and a big thank you to all at JM, and that's from Norma. That's beautiful, Norma. I saw some snowdrops the other day. They, Did they, you? Yeah, they started to come out, and that was really lovely. Um, so next, I've got 441, and this is Sharon Lockwood. Aww, oh, look at yeah, little flower fairies, aren't they lovely? Hi, all. Please find attached my entry for this week. Lucite fuchsia earrings that I got from Jem last time they aired. Love and luck and that's from Sharon. Beautiful. Well, good luck everybody in the draw. It happens yeah, on a Wednesday luck. morning, so you've still got time to send your entries in. Uh, just pop us an email and a photograph of your wonderful mates. The only stipulation is that they are using Jewelry Maker products. Send us a message we can show them off to the world. Yeah. That's what we love. Um, okay, we've got more to mention of what, about what's coming up in today's show. You've got some incredible Jadeite opportunities. You've got some amazing Malachi opportunities I always have been a massive advocate of the quality of pearls that we have here at Jewelry Maker. We've got some incredible high-end pearls, but they are last in stock opportunities. We've also got Morganite, this is beautiful. which how often do we see Morganite? Very, very rare. Um, so a member of the Beryl family with that beautiful, soft, almost like oh, a peony pink. Yes, we've got Morganite drops, rondelles, all coming up in today's show again at True Jewelry Maker Savings. So, um, yeah, we've got very high-end gems for you today, which is really exciting. Um, now, I'm just hearing we need to... Aha, uh -huh. at nine o'clock today, I've got, again, a limited opportunity. There aren't many of these around. Um, Single figure quantity, yeah, I thought so. Um, and uh, going back to what I was saying, the quality of our pearls, I think is one of our greatest strengths here, not just at, J at, J at JM, but also across the entire Gemporia partnership. Um, now these single finger quantities, I don't have many of them available. They were actually launched initially on, um, on Christmas day. These are naturally colored purple metallic pearls. Yeah, uh, just miracles of nature. You know, the fact they've actually achieved that mm. colour from the mollusk itself. Furthermore, the fact that they have actually sort of all been matched so beautifully. And then to add to that rarity, to actually have that metallic cluster across the surface of them as, as well. It's, it's remarkable. It really is. And truly, if ever, if any of you are the custodians or, or lucky enough to get hold of these, or maybe some of our other um, opportunities like this, which come yeah, very few and far between, it is absolutely worthwhile getting them valued and absolutely worthwhile getting them insured. Mm -hmm because they are frankly irreplaceable at the price that we're about to offer you. So that's nine o'clock today. There's a graduation to these. So I'm just thinking literally knotting them with a, with a pure silk. 
And I always say this as a suggestion, make the most of uh, or auction sites like eBay, for example, where you can get things like vintage clasps. So yeah. maybe an 18 karat gold clasp, you can get that for a great price on those on those sites. Um, like I said, they deserve, they deserve that level, that caliber of precious metal. So they're coming up at nine o'clock today. Um, so make sure you're with me for that opportunity. Um, we've also got big, large drop pearls in the white. We've got lots of sterling silver. I'm gonna start with, again, an all-time favorite of mine i love it and we rarely ever ever see it um it was actually it's actually mined in new york city uh, and a couple of other places around the world and i always if you're going to visualize the, the the skyline of new york in a gemstone then herkimer quartz would be something that i think that you would see it's fascinating some people call it herkimer quartz some people call it herkimer diamonds because it was amazing similarities it is what we call a uh, doubly terminated sounds cool doesn't mm. it it is cool, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a very cool gemstone. Um, what that basically means, it naturally forms in these amazing, like, prismatic points. Um, yeah, and you have these wonderful, very striking, sort of black inclusions, a little bit Rutile-esque um, that occurs within. But we rarely ever, 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 ever seen it. Now, I've shown you in the past photographs of celebrities like Adele wearing Herkimer. Um, it is definitely um, a collector's stone. Now, I know I won't have many of these. Ross, is it lounge hours? this hour it is okay so what that basically means is all these deals are available only until nine o'clock so you've got what um 45 minutes um to make the most of these deals go to the website or the w's at joymaker.com if you click on watch live and then scroll down <clears throat> scroll down a little bit and you'll see all the deals locked and loaded. Now, some of these will be going even lower um, than the prices that they are, they're loaded at at the moment. Don't worry. If you make your confirmation, everybody will still benefit from that final low price tag. Um, what was that? Sorry, Ross. If there's anything in particular you want to see, then do message us with the number and I can bring it to air. Not a problem. Um, so your Herkimer is number nine on the website right now. Items are selling out. Look already. Um, so that's what the lounge hour is all about. Basically available until nine o'clock. There's another sellout. Look in your sterling silver. Um, you are guaranteed to get them at some of the best possible prices. But we have to put them on time restraint. So um, that's why. Um, so, yeah, anything that you fancy, drop, drop us a message into the studios right now. Herkimer Quartz, how many do I have of these? Ooh, saying that, uh, literally, it's like, prove me a liar, Ross. Um, he's like, yeah, yeah, low in stock quantities. Actually, yeah, we've got 80 of these. 80. But we don't normally get Herkimer Quartz. No. I couldn't put together a showcase. You know, Ross, if I said to Ross, come on, Ross, let's do, let's do an hour of Herkimer Quartz. It wouldn't be possible. We simply wouldn't have the quantity within our vault itself. Are you happy at 9 99 I think we all should be, you know, given the fact this is... You know, not just rare on our screens right right here. It's rare collectively, sort of around the um, around the world. Hello, Margaret, saying I cheat and use Herkimer diamonds for April's birthstone. Why not? Why not? And and you know that's the terminology, as you well know, Margaret. That it's it's not just a jewelry makerism, if you like, which we have many. That is uh, a terminology that we use sort of across the gemstone world. It has got distinct similarities to diamonds. You're not even paying six pounds and ninety nine pence. Do get those messages in so we can say hello to you as well. How about this? When have you ever seen? And this is from the original location of source. So from New York, New York City, six pounds and forty nine pence only. I mean, not even the largest one in the middle. But if you took, I would take them individually and just sterling silver wrap yep. and their lovely pendants earrings, aren't they? Because of that really super interesting shape. Are you happy at six forty nine? Well, uh, yeah, I am quite happy actually. Well, I remember when there'd be a digit in front of that price yeah, tag. Yeah. There would be. Herkimer Quartz was never a single figure price gemstone. It's totally natural. It's fascinating given the fact that it is doubly terminated. I mean, mm. the largest one, you can really see that, can't you? We wouldn't see this gemstone usually ever outside of, I don't know, even like I said, £16.49 seems to sit comfortably with me. Oh, I like this because Ross said one word in that sentence. Did you mean to, Ross? He said the next price. Suggesting there's another another price drop what's he doing 
Who wants it under five pounds today? But we do need to guarantee really that they are sellouts. Let me show you the prices that Herkimer's can actually fetch elsewhere. Here you go, here's a Herkimer, uh, and they, here you go, they describe it as a Herkimer diamond ring, just one single stone. You can see those black inclusions within. Um, lovely piece, love, I love the fact they've kind of replicated the natural, organic uh, um, sort of texture of the gemstone in the, in the actual uh, um, shank. Here we go, 65 pounds for just one single wrap loop onto some sterling yeah. silver. 65 pounds for those. Or I could show you maybe, I love it, a millionaire, question mark, indulgence of Herkimer diamond quartz for only 60 pounds. But you've got one, two, three, five. You've got five stones. Um, I don't think, I won't even attempt counting them all on this strand because I'll be here too long. Or you can go to Netta Porter um, and, pu and purchase. Granted, they, they are sort of amazing eye clean clarity, which, by the way, we have also brought, uh, brought to you before as well. £380 for that amazing necklace. And it's in... Uh, sorry, bracelet, sorry. And it's in gold. Who wants Herkimer Quartz, Herkimer Diamonds, whichever way you refer to it, for under £5 today? There's a lot of you there. Good morning, Christine, multi-buying, Joan, multi-buying, Molly, multi-buying, uh, Lisa, multi-buying, uh, Caroline, Michaela, hello, Helen, hello, Star, hello to your Oxfordshire, Christine, Valentina, Helen, nice to see you as well, £4.99. You know, yeah, and never mind comparing to the likes of Netta Porter or all those other um, amazing jewellery establishments that we've just shown, you know, comparing with ourselves, mm -hmm. literally about... Six years, less than that probably, four years ago, Herkimer Courts would have been a double-figure price tag, which is still incredible. Here we are bringing it to you for, what, less than a blue note. Oxfordshire's got two, Michaela's got two, Anthony and Kay, Valentina's got three, Helen's got two. In fact, I'm going to say 95% of you look to be multi-buying. I don't blame you. Deal, and pretty it? much everybody has checked mm -hmm. out already. We're under £5, though, says producer Ross. We make an impact. It's a brand new week. First auction of the day, first auction of the week, absolutely. We've got some amazing pearls coming up today, which I think would look beautiful alongside this I as think well. It would go with everything, wouldn't it? All your monochrome pieces. Yeah. Should we sell it out in one auction, Claire? Yes. What do you reckon? Oh, to that? lovely. Yes, yeah, edgy, isn't it? Edgy. Taking your pearls, which are quite, you know, traditional, mm. demure, yeah. and then bringing that little bit of sass, I mm. think. With your with your Herkimer courts, we're going even lower, Claire. Should we sell it out in one auction? Says Ross. Sounds good to me, Ross. At nine o'clock, though, remember these won't be available. If you go, yeah, if you go to the if you go to the website, they'll have disappeared. So you've got to you've got to check out now to make the most of these amazing prices. It goes back to what we just said a few moments ago. Um, <clears throat> that's how we bring them as low as we do in this eight o'clock hour. Um, is because they're only available for a limited period of time. Um, lovely variety. So you've got your beautiful eye clean ones, you know, the colourless, and then you've got the Herkimer diamonds, which have got those heavy rutilations um, within as well. I like that about this gemstone. Um, this is essentially a major clearance price tag. No reason for it, given the fact that we have only got a little, a, a, a tiny amount of Herkimer quartz within our vault. Four pounds and forty-four pence That's only. Crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Look at the call screens, though. Clearly, you love this gemstone. As much as Claire and I do, it's totally and utterly natural. Do you know our sister channel, Gems, don't have Herkimer? Really? I'm really, yeah. They do, they, but, they would love to, and yeah. it's not because they don't want to. It's because we can't get the quantity. I, I can't think. I was just thinking. I wonder when when I'd seen it last. I haven't. I haven't seen it for so long. It was definitely. Um, I think the last time I brought Herkimer Courts to air, it sold out. Do you remember, Ross? It was a sellout auction. We had a big quantity of it. Um, it was one of the pre-Christmas shows, I think. Yes, yes. But they, 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 they're seen like sort of once in a blue mm. moon, quite literally. D Janet, hello to you. Christine Myrtle, Kim, Karen, Dawn, hello to you. Oxfordshire, Cornwall, well done. Um, yeah, you have got, what, 36, 37, I can't count, 37 seconds, uh, seconds, <laughs> minutes. <laughs> You've got longer than 30 seconds. Uh, sec uh, I can't talk. <laughs> 37 seconds. I got a bit longer than that. Don't do maths. Don't try maths. No, that's so okay. Early, I think that's Neither do I. Funnily enough, I, get, I was having that conversation with Willow last night, you know, when, you know, when your maths gets difficult, go to daddy because he's the mathematical brain. Don't come to mummy because mummy's useless at maths. Um, if it's English, I can help you out with that. But yeah. yeah. And even then, Tom's probably better at that than me. Even then. Ugh. 
brainy Tom. Yeah, I know. He's the brains of the family. Definitely not Elle. Well done. Well done, everybody. Um, I've got, OK, less than 20 of these remaining. We're over allocated. So good luck, Cardiff. Good luck, Paula, Claire, Margaret, Barbara, Alison, Wanda, Sheila, Zara, Shropshire and Isabel. Make sure you check out. Remember, lots of people are multi-buying as well, mm. so that quantity won't hang around. We've already, if you have a look at the website, got loads of sellouts. So all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Click watch live, scroll down, and you'll see lots of lovely pearls. You'll see lots of amazing sterling silver. You'll see some uh, beautiful malachite. You'll see what we'll else, see Ross? Mini make there as some well. Some mini makes. Oh, look, a high goo donut. Forty-nine pound for that type A jadeite. Goodness Ooh, me. Um, you've got Grandid, you're right oh, on there. That. Goodness me, sold out. Road like garnet, Mystic Topaz. Remember oh, them, Claire? Oh yes. Look at Love the size. Those. Oh, look at the size of that Baroque pearl. We've got the Suru inspired earrings there as well. You've got rope bracelets. Loads of sellouts already um, because you know the early bird hour. Ooh. Snap them up super quick. Um, we've got some messages coming into the studio. Lovely. Hello, Miss Janet. Morning, Aww. Willow and Tiggy. Ah, they'll love that. Thank you, Miss Janet. They'll absolutely love that. Although I do think maybe Tiggy might be probably crying right now. Because <laughs> Tom was like, oh, I mean, I'll do it for Willow, but Tiggy's going to be absolute. She's going to be so upset because, she, you know, you, you're up there and you're not, you're not cuddling. Um, hello to you. Nikki saying, hi, Willow, Tiggy, Eleanor and Claire and Fab JM team. Looking forward to a great show. Oh, oh bless you. That's so Nikki. sweet of you all to message in for yes. them. Oh, my lovely girls. Lovely, lovely girls. It's so funny how different they are. Willow's this proper little princess, and then Tiggy's like the purple minion. <laughs> <laughs> we love her. Love her for her craziness as well. Um, again, yeah, make sure you do check out your baskets, everybody. We've got another message coming through. Uh, Angela, good morning, Elle, Claire and team. Looking forward to a delivery tomorrow of my Sapphire Strand bundle. Love getting the dispatch. Ooh. Yes, email. It is exciting, isn't it? I, yeah, I picked up a staff order. You picked up a staff order. I did. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to, you know, because I'm going to enjoy the anticipation. I opened mine. I can't, I'm, I can't wait. Ooh. So I opened my app. And Ross picked up a staff order as well this morning, didn't you, Ross? That was Claire's? Yes. Yeah. How? Why is he opening your stuff all? Oh, we didn't open it. It's just being. It's just been very, very lovely and helpful this morning. Is I, it? I, I'm not sure what's going on. Is it unnerving? Don't recognise him. <laughs> Ross says he's a very nice guy. Ask his mum. <laughs> I believe you, Ross. I I believe you. Get your mum on speakerphone. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine if we did that? Look. Hello Ross's, <laughs> hello, Ross's mum. Is Ross a nice guy? Can you imagine if he's like, well... Uh, well, you'd hope his mum would say yes, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, I, I almost want to do this now, Ross, and get some, you know, dish some dirt. See if we can find out. Oh, some. yeah. Oh, apparently she, she would probably swear if she was on air. Yeah, she'd probably swear, apparently. Okay, so we won't do that then. Has your mum got a bit of a potty mouth then? <laughs> she'd be excited that she was on air. Um, how amazing. Oh, bless. Let's do that. But we'll have to... Adam, you'd have to be ready with a bloop, 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 bloop. No? Can't work that fast. Okay. Um, Shall we do some Malachi? I adore this gemstone. Um, it was a bit of an ongoing joke when I was over at Tucson a year ago. I can't believe it was a year ago. Gosh, um, yes, yeah. Um, if, if, if the team couldn't find me, they were like, track down the Malachi and you'll find Elle. Because I was always hovering around this beautiful gemstone. Uh, I love this. And I'm going to quickly show you. I've only got a, a limited quantity of these. Wow. Um, yeah, we said this is the best. <gasps> this is the best Malachite we've seen here at Jewelry Maker. At Available, you've got the 12 and the 10 millimeters, two separate auction opportunities. When we're discussing Malachite, I, I found this article. I'm going to share their words. The eternal paradise in shades of green. Mm. Um, it is a fascinating beautiful natural gemstone with so many big designers using it. Malachite, highly distinctive with a variegated banding and rich emerald green colours. That colour comes from the copper deposits where malachite is often found. In fact, malachite itself is used as a source of copper via the process of smelting. Often malachite is found with azurite, a brilliant blue gemstone that also forms in copper rich areas. Uh, concentrically banded at malachite known as peacock's eye is especially sought after 
as it is rarer than the linearly banded gemstone. Malachite is rather soft with a most scale uh, hardness of 3.4 to 3, uh, sorry, 3.5 to, th to 4. Malachite is found all around the world, including the USA, Brazil, Australia, Mexico, and the Democrat, uh, Democratic of, uh, Republic of Congo. Um, yeah, this is, I'll, I'll say it again, this is probably, this parcel is probably some of the best that we've ever actually seen. But just in modern, um, oh, sorry, Ross, um, just where it's underlined, that one here. Uh, there we go, Malachite, at the bottom, if you scroll down, this part here, concentrically banded malachite known as peacock's eye is especially sought after as it is rarer than the linearly banded gemstone. This look is, that, if then. you look here, look that's what we're talking about, textbook, peacock's eye, where you have those beautiful circles because it forms in what we call stalactites and that, stalagmites. This, I think that is the best I've ever seen. Ever look seen. At that one. I agree. Look at that one. <gasps> Absolutely unbelievable. And look, at, you know, lots of the big designers are working with it. Netta Porter, you've got again here, 480 pounds and they look to be about four millimeters in their size um i could show you here we go stone and may that's a great price to be honest 75 pounds alongside your tiger's eye i don't know what the size is as of yet but 75 pounds um i think they're quite small given the fact that you've got the um the, ron the spaces in between give me that impression i could also show you here we go rare tiffany and co uh sterling silver green malachite bead necklace 30 inches 1306 dollars um you can see it's an antique piece because the silver itself is actually tarnished somewhat but Again, look at the quality of the malachite and look at the price tag. I could also show you establish, uh, establishments like, uh, I think this is off... Um I think this is off what's it called, not on the high street, I believe, I might be wrong. Um, £125 for that beautiful necklace, I'm giving you a little bit of inspiration there. Or maybe something like Wolf and Badger, where you can pay £395. I really like this because we've got those Brock pearls coming up actually today. So if you wanted to recreate that design. Um, online exclusive, £395. Or maybe something like this, love that. £430. Oh, we could do that, couldn't we? We could. We've certainly got the pearls to bring you uh, today. There are only 10. I'm going to start with the 12 millimetres and then we're going to dive into the 10 millimetres in their size. Other jewellers like Chopard, Piaget, uh, Lola Rose, uh, what's the, it's on the tip of my tongue, Van Cleef and Arpels, all of which are you, in fact, Tom was actually fancying a Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra. I was like, yeah, was yeah, when we win the lottery, darling, Aww. we'll get, we'll get that Alhambra um, neck. It was a bracelet, a gents bracelet, it was so cool. £129 for 270 carats of some of the best quality malachite. In fact, it is, the, the, in terms of parcels, this is the best yes. parcel I've had the privilege of presenting to you all. There are 10 available and you have 28 minutes. Wow, they're huge. I mean, we've seen the prices, haven't we? I've shown you the prices that Malachite can and does command. It's completely and utterly natural. If you love green, which is my favorite color, but um, this is one of the most distinctive, as that article said, distinctive and beautiful natural forming gemstones that you could possibly wish to own. Imagine this with, I don't know, here we go like those pearls if you want to recreate that beautiful necklace that we just showed you 29.99 i have just or had just 10 opportunities these pearls are coming up a little bit later on um i'm kicking myself now thinking why on earth haven't i got this mm. why it's haven't i new, bought this i love very, malachi very it's absolutely yeah. beautiful it's and and it's steeped in history as well maker on the phone lines oxfordshire christine i've got multi buyers getting involved with this as well 12 mils a big statement size if you want the tens they're coming up Literally immediately afterwards. Uh, Hampshire, Rupal, I can see you there as well. There's only 10 of each of them, so that's literally the, it's, this is the last um, of that incredible parcel. Get it home, use your 30 day money back guarantee. If you disagree with what I'm saying and you think the quality maybe isn't um, as, as, as good as I believe, then you can always return it to us and I'll snap it or I'll, and I'll, I'll take it out of your hands mm -hmm. um, because this is absolutely is amazing nice, in my nice, eyes. Nice, nice. 10 mils coming up straight afterwards, incredible. Um, we've all, we've, we, you know, there's wall paper inspired mm. by malachite now yes. which yeah. is probably as expensive as the genuine gemstone yeah. also it's just beautiful you can get beautiful carvings you can get amazing bowls we know of course um of the malachite towers over um in uh, uh, i can't remember the name of the palace itself um but this gemstone is literally within 
baths carved out of malachite. Mm. You know you've made it if you've got a malachite bath. Now, there's only a stock update. There's only five of these remaining. 10 millimetres in their size. Again, that exemplary quality from that parcel. We're going to do it in one price crash just because they are already flying out the door. So let's do it. Let's get down to that amazing early bid price tag. Remember that you have got just till nine o'clock to make your confirmations. So you've got 26 minutes. Um, but in all honesty, it'll probably sell out before that. So uh, don't hesitate. Remember, you only pay the one post and packaging all day. If you want those pearls, they're coming up as well. We're also going to bring you a beautiful toggle class. You could literally recreate all of those beautiful mm. designs. Plus, are you noticing the location? Congo is regarded, much like Burmese ruby, um, it's the best in the world. This is totally and utterly natural. I am over allocated. Emma, well done in Herefordshire. Oxfordshire, you've got yours. I can see Rupal, Glamorgan, Alan, Janet, Wanda, Maker, Susan in Monmouthshire, my home county, and Christine. Um, amazing, 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 amazing. Um, um, should we do some toggles? Good old toggle clasps. So much easier to use maybe than um, things like your oh, bolt rings or your lobster claw. Look at those. And you get, yeah, three different designs. Should I get one of each out? You get all of them. You do. Ten of each. Back of 30 in total. So if you struggle with certain class, then go for a toggle because a toggle is much, much, much easier. Also very popular with the likes of Tiffany's and Co. Um, they love a toggle, don't they? It's become as much part of their design, I think, as maybe Elsa Peretti is um, to the history of that brand. 30 of them in total. So you've got a really beautiful, almost beaded. Um, you've got a nautical and then that lovely smooth square. We're at a pound each. Is that good? Yeah. Yeah. yeah? Happy with that. Silver plated, so precious metal plated, yep. pound each. It's not bad, is it? No, because it's like that's your cuff link back as well, isn't it? It's mm. earrings, it's a pendant. You can hammer them, texture them. Mm. 50p? Oh, yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please, yeah. And then you stopped up then, Claire, aren't you? Because, you know, you've got all your toggles there, you know. Last thing you want is to not have your essential findings when you're making jewellery. Okay, okay. 50p per toggle. Ross thinks he can do better. I'm sure he can. He says, uh, <laughs> he says, I don't think I know. I know I can do better. How many got them, Roscoe? Four, oh. I mean, he was doing so well, wasn't he, until he told us the quantity. He's only got 40 available, though. OK, so just be quick on this. We're going even lower than 50p per toggle, and they are precious metal plated. £14.99. pence. For three different designs, ten of each, they're that perfect size. Even if you were to go kind of like out for your more sort of petite, delicate looks in your necklaces or, or your bracelets, I think it would match. I think it would complement. Mm. But like a choice, haven't you, as yeah. well? Yeah. So if it's really delicate, I'd maybe go for the, the, the central one. That I'm, one. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And if it was really statement? If it's a bit chunkier, I'd probably go for the nautical. Yeah. And this one? I think that would go with anything. And I, I, I quite like to um, hammer that as well. I think that would look nice. Nice. With the corners. Yeah. Oh, we're not even stopping there. We had 40. Stock up your stashes. I've been in this situation before where you, where you want to make a piece of jewellery. I've got to be, I've got to make some jewellery this week. Because I'm you? going to, and we're, and we're, we're going to see Mary Berry on Friday. Yeah. So I'm going to make some jewellery to go with my outfit. Oh, yeah. um, I need to get cracking with it though and yeah. stop talking well, about it. And that's, I do. Yes, yeah. I do. I was hoping yeah, that you were going to offer that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Um, so I need my toggles because there's nothing worse than trying to make jewellery and you haven't got the essentials. Oh, I know, and the findings that you need. So yeah. I, I will completely... Rom I, I will, 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 how, what's the word? Romanticise... No. I'm going to... What do you do when, you, when you're romantic to someone? What, what was it? OK, I'll flirt with you with gemstones. OK, thank you for that, Dan. Let's go with that. Um, but don't forget the essentials. We've got to be practical at the same yes. time, haven't we? Yeah. Flirt. <laughs> Not quite the word I was thinking of, but it's... Well, no, no, it's all good. I like it. Um, here we go. Going even lower. We had 40 available. You need your essential findings, much like you need your threading materials. We'll bring you the beautiful gemstones as well, but this is really the foundations of your designs. £11.99 
pence is not just getting you, you know, a, a handful. It's giving you 30 silver plated toggles. Yes. Or, or the, the, like we say, pendants, earrings, yep. uh, a nice frame. You know, if you just add a, a wrap loop and it sort of frames the, the gemstone, you can turn that little bar. If you, uh, you can make it them into little horseshoes. If you want charms for bracelets. Oh, lovely. You can do with them. Lovely. Um, incredible. Well done, everybody. Make sure you do check out your baskets um, on that amazing deal. There are tons of you there. Fabulous. OK, shall we step into the world of luxury pearls, shall we? Yeah. Um, I've always said, if you ask where are the best pearls in the world from? Well, we would say usually South Sea. We would say Akoya. We would say Tahitian pearls. We would most definitely say Edison pearls. But to be honest, it has kind of changed somewhat over the past couple of years because it's also um, your freshwater pearls with those natural ones. That I just showed you a few moments ago. Do you mean these, Ross, in the white box? A strand. These. These are Edison. Goodness me, they're probably the biggest Edison pearls I've seen. I've only got two. So these are, this is the pearl strand that I uh, um, sort of well put on the back of my hand alongside your malachite here. Um, now, because there is only two, it's essentially going to be a clearance closeout deal. Um, again, I would love to talk to you for, for, we're over allocated. Alicia, you're there. Maria, you're there. Edison, Edison Pearls, they were kind of, they were, they're very revolutionary in the pearl harvesting um, world. They launched in Hong Kong not that long ago, actually, um, and were an immediate overnight success. They are, uh, what they wanted to, the Edison Pearl farmers wanted to um, challenge, if you like, the South Sea Pearl location. They succeeded most definitely. You know, those mollusks are producing some amazing quality pearls with exemplary luster and enormous size. Wow. These will be one pearl per mollusk. So incredibly rare, definitely worth getting valued um, and appraised and ultimately assured. Um, to get, we shouldn't be able to get hold of Edison pearls at £199. That is no reflection of the true value or worth. What, you know, how much would these be if they were South Sea. You know, South Sea pills, you'd probably be talking at here at Jewelry Maker, £799 at the very, very least, at the very, very least. Um, Edison pills, you know, do fetch similar prices. That's purely because of the quantity. Um, there's two of them there. We're over allocated now. So make sure you get those home. Plus, it's in that Le Peregrina S drop shape. Um, fabulous. Should we do these ones, did you say? Black box. Black box. I always like opening these. There's only two. Natural papaya pearls. Oh. oh my goodness me. It comes also with the magnetic clasp. No, it says on my... Here we go. Look at those. Have you... And these are natural, Claire. Totally natural. Uh, uh, we, we should be sat across a table from one another with a glass of champagne in our hands discussing this, you know, at length. Mm. Um, I'm going to assume that you know a thing or two about quality pearls. You know that these are not even 999. You know, they, they should command a significantly higher price tag than what's on your screens right now. There's so much to consider here. The five virtues, remember that, size, shape, color, luster, and nacre. But also you've got natural metallic here, which is so, so, so rare. Um, a full strand of as well. We're doing it in one price crash. Get them home, get them valued, get them appraised. I strongly encourage that. £299, we should have digits on the end of that price point. Or in fact, we should have, we should have a digit in front of it, I should say. So um, you know, it, 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 it's, it's, um, I would never expect something like this to be retailing any less than, say, and I'm not qualified to value. I'm not a valuation. Uh, I, you know, I haven't done my valuation certificate, but I can only work on my own personal experience. And pearls like this would have always been closer to five figures than they would have been um, four or even three, as it is right now. You can get it home on your split payment, 0% interest, £74.75. pence. If I had the budget right now, I would be all over these 100%. And it's the kind of, this is the kind of opportunities that I buy to pass on to my girls, you know, because they're not going to be able to get pearls of that quality at the price that we do, that we offer. There is one left of those, so I'll leave that with you. Um, 
the purple tassel necklace. I love this because you get, it's, it's essentially a mini make. We've only got 20 available opportunities. Firstly, you're getting your nine, I'm going to borrow this bust for a second um, because you've got your 925 sterling silver diamond cut chain. I mean, look at the sparkle already from there. You also get this beautiful little tassel. There you go. You get a lovely little sterling silver tassel just there. It's on a head pin as well. Um, and I'm just going to have to pop that down for a moment because I haven't got enough hands. Um, you have your eye pin. So you piece it together like the most gorgeous puzzle. Um, we made this on air the other day. Who was it that put it together? Was it you? It wasn't me. No, this wasn't is gorgeous. Um, so you put it together. This is a Dave product, by the way. So we're taking one of Dave's amazing products. Um, and we did something. Pearl. It's beautiful, oh. isn't it? Absolutely Ooh. beautiful. And that's naturally colored so basically this is a through drill pill you you attach um, your tassel and your eye pin you know the eye pin literally loops into the tassel and then directly onto your diamond cut chain it's a big natural purple pearls launched by Dave Troth a few months ago I'm going to show you the previous closing price which it sold very successfully at um, well, that's amazing wow, at 49 yeah, 99 yeah. You know, you'd be hard pushed to actually get the chain in some places at that price tag. We get we brought this to you for a major deal the other day. Do you remember if you were watching, we were like, oh God, oh, Dave sees this. This is where we should be. This is where it sold, where it launched and literally hundreds of them flew out the door. But we have got a quantity, a minimal quantity. Remember, in May, we celebrate our 13th birthday here at Jewelry Maker. So we're going to have lots of products. Um, um, literally arriving and our, our, our warehouse managers literally tearing their hair out trying to think of where to put them um, so we've got a quantity it's not huge it's limited last available opportunities get it at this incredible clearance deals uh, deal the quality of that pearl is remarkable again natural purple you've got this lovely sash of intensity of color just here um, oh, oh goodness me it's going even lower I do remember Ross yeah we took this to a crazy low price tag and I was actually quite nervous of whether Dave would actually see this happening because it is one of his amazing products should be 49.99 Claire this takes five minutes to put together yeah wow oh my gosh I know wait you'd struggle oh with gosh. you'd struggle with the with the necklace on its own you would str struggle. That I think pearl? if you were to pop into somewhere like H. Samuels even, uh, uh, and I'm not comparing here, but if you were to pop into H. Samuels or Heinz the Jewelers or Beaver Brooks or Ernest Jones. But if you were to go into, um, a, a, you know, High Street, Marks and Spencer, so they, and, and it's not, and it's a glass pearl, it'd be more than yeah. 25 pounds. And that's naturally, naturally coloured. It's not dyed, it's a naturally coloured pearl. That's incredible. Yeah, again, I'll say it. I genuinely think that our pill buying is probably some of the best mm. in the world. I, tre I genuinely believe that because, you know, we can offer you that level of luxury, that level of rarity. It shouldn't be twenty four ninety nine. I mean, let's be honest, in it. Look at the 49 99 is incredible yes. already. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why there's only a handful of these remaining. It is last of stock opportunities. And again, if you're not a hugely uh, talented jewellery maker as of yet, um, or maybe you're, you know, you're starting your journey, or maybe you are just looking for those really, really, really quick makes, then this is perfect, perfect for you. I've been making jewellery, dabbling in jewellery making for about 10 years now. Um, I'm not great at it. I do enjoy it, though but even I could put that together and it's professional jewellery at the end of Look the day. Look how beautiful that would go um, I'd be putting. Oh with the Morganite. Yeah. yeah be... I'd get a couple of them and I think yeah pop that together. Well even if you don't put it all together using mm. them separately you know that's let's let's not count the tassel although we should but let's not count the tassel and the eye pin those two components that's £12.50 each. Twelve. When do you ever see a natural purple pearl for £12.50 or a diamond cut sterling silver chain for £12.50? Um, great deal. Jan, Cheryl, Dawn, Morag, Tracy. Good morning, everybody. I hope you well remember, though, you have got a time curfew. Um, when it comes to your first hour, you've got till the top of this hour, nine o'clock, to make your confirmations or until stocks last. Do I have South Sea Pearls? I certainly do. I certainly do. I'm just going to get a piece of paper because we should be looking at pearls on a white background. 
Oh my goodness me. South Sea oh. pearls, they come from the coast of Australia. Yes, where they have, you know, shark infested waters. Oh. Um, these are the most deverish pearls in the world. Um, they would love to extend the pearl harvest location. They can't do that because the little mollusks don't like it. They don't like being moved. Um, but, you know, that's why one of the reasons why they're as expensive as they are. Um, you get the, the best luster in the pearl world from South Sea pearls. There are only 11. There are only 11. Do you want what? Sorry, Ross. Lowest ever price. Yes, I do. This is a parcel of the golds, the whites and the silvers. You know, if we're lucky, we might own one of those colours of South mm. Sea. It is lowest ever price tag on a full parcel of South Sea pearls. I, I know we've shown you single South Sea pendants, you know, just one on, a, on, a, on an 18 oh, karat gold um, chain or maybe even 14 karat gold for hundreds of pounds. These have got really beautiful natural organic shapes. Again, in my opinion, um, that shows that they are genuine pearls, not fake or faux. Um, plus on the back of Lady Gaga and the House of Gucci, the popularity of more organic shaped pearls has skyrocketed. Close out deal, lowest ever price tag for you. I had 11 available opportunities. You've got your golds, the silvers, and also those pure whites. Hello, Janet, you've got yours. Well done. Caroline Dorset and Tracy, you're there. London, you've got yours. Multi buyers, you think about it, 11's five people getting a couple. And all you need to do is pop that on a head pin. Um, Shout out, you've got 11 minutes to make your confirmations. Yes, Ross, this is enormous. Have you seen the size of this pearl? Huge. There are 20. Oh, if these don't go, I might get these because I picked up some lovely pearls. Last auction before the early bird, picked up some lo lovely pearls in my, um, in my staff order. And I quite fancy the idea of uh, some fireball pearl earrings. Oh, nice. To go alongside this it. This is for Friday. This is for Friday. That's exciting. Gosh, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <gasps> Phone lines are going to go nuts, says Ross. The fireball pearl, where you have that beautiful, it's more spherical pearl, and then this literally this blaze of nacre. Um, this is going to go crazy, says Ross. I think he's got something up his sleeve, don't you? It is half drilled, so again, perfect if you want to use any of your pegs. Um, your early bird is coming up literally next. So make sure uh, you're with me for that opportunity. I've got 20 of these. It's going to be first come, first serve. I can't say any fairer than that. Um, hello, Rachel. Hello to you, Janet. Hello to Oxfordshire. I can see you there. That's exactly what I would be doing. And people have got multiples in their baskets. Just be poised, ready, and waiting to check out. Because I, I, I think I know producer Ross quite well now. We've worked together long enough for me, for me to, to pick up his little tells of when something's gonna, uh, something exciting is going to happen. I've got, one, I've got that radar, oh. thought so. Yeah. £20 for a pearl of this size, 18 mil. Depending on the temperature of the water, some pearls can grow a millimetre per year, depending on the, uh, the temperature of the water. You know, look at that beautiful luster. Again, completely uninterrupted on the underside because it's half drilled. I will show you on the other, there it is. So if you wanted to just literally pop this onto a head pin, I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, uh, uh, just, I was gonna steal that head pin, but it's gone, no matter. Adam's super efficient. He says I took it, it's too late. It's no, no, it's all good, it's all good. Just glue it into place and away you go. 1999. Wonderful, it's, isn't it? Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful, the quality of this pearl. Plus, don't forget, we're gonna be learning how to set your gemstones in big pearls today yeah, with talk, our lovely Yeah, we can Claire. talk about that and, and how we drill them and that would be perfect, wouldn't it? Absolutely perfect for them. Imagine a Burmese ruby set in that. Because look at, look at some of the, um, the pegs that we've got coming up. So they would work beautifully. That. So these are coming up as uh, part of Claire's kits mm. in the nine o'clock hour. There are six of this beautiful, beautiful pearl remaining in the vault. So make sure you check them out. Gorgeous. And you've only got a matter of minutes left on this hour. Then this will disappear. And likewise, every other item that we have brought you so far this morning will also disappear from the website. That's how you get these unbelievable low prices. Yeah, check out out check out check out are you ready though lovely jewelry makers for your early bird um now wow I, i've already showed you them once in the space of an hour I, I, you know if you know me very well then you'll know i reach for pills quite a lot because pills complement everything don't they, they? Do, they complement yeah. every single gemstone every single outfit 
every single occasion. And I'm about to bring you a run of incredible quality pearls. Again, really embracing the natural organic formations that pearls can uh, form in at a true early bird price. Okay, on my staff order, picked it up this morning. Ross, you can confirm this. What is in my staff order? Pearls, yeah. Pearls and some nephrite. Got some nephrite oh, jade. Um, and my intention is, like I said, I'm not a skilled jewellery maker like so many of you are. I'm going to knot it in just, uh, just keep knotting, 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 knotting until I run out of pearls and just have an over the head necklace. Oh, lovely. That's what I'm going to do. Beautiful. Well, that's what I have in my head. So I need to get on and do it. This would be perfect. If you love that kind of look, you know, pearls are always appropriate as, uh, uh, as who was it that said that? Grace Kelly? That said that. Uh, Coco Chanel has been a, a huge advocate of pearls uh, for literally, I think it's about 75 years really where she first made that statement about pearls. Every woman deserves ropes and ropes mm. of pearls. And I absolutely adore these natural organic nut nugget shapes because for me, you can tell they're pearls obviously, but you know they're genuine. They're not faux, they're not plastic they're not glass they're not simulated these are genuine mother nature cultured pearls plus with them having those nugget shapes they tend to heighten our luster you see more of that wonderful light reflection across every single uh, in single pearl every single one will be unique they're just fascinating little miracles of nature now i'm going to bring you these in ascending size order um, we're not stopping at 19.99 Again, a strand of like this, Claire, once upon a time would have been, I'm going to say probably £30 possibly for a strand of these uh, of pearls of this size. We might have given you a little star by deal every, every so often, but we're not stopping anywhere near this. Think tassels, think marlas, think, you know, those beautiful sort of natural tumbled necklaces that we often see. It's my favorite gemstone, and the gemstone I buy the most here from Jewelry Maker, because I think you can do so much with it. Do you agree? Yeah, and the, these are a great show. I'm just looking at, I mean, uh, as a wire worker, you know, or if you wanted to set um, and that, that flatter base is so useful. It just, they sit beautifully. You know, they're like little like, buttons. There's some yes, buttons in there, yeah, isn't there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not stopping at 12.99 today. Okay. Um, Again, I could, t I, could, I could do the whole PowerPoint presentation. We could do that. We could talk about the popularity of pearls. I could show you countless different celebrities wearing pearls like this. The fact we're going even lower than 12 99 we don't need to do all of that. For genuine cultured pearls, they are brand new. They're a premiere, and today you're going to get them under £10. The only downside is that I only have 70 available within the vault. They are limited. Um, for me, pearls are probably the most essential gemstone in my stash because I will probably use them in every single piece of jewellery that I create. Um, you know, think how lovely they're going to look with the Morganite. Think how beautiful they're going to look with your deal of the day, Burmese Ruby. Think how amazing they're going to be, Claire, with each of your kits. I'm just, I'm thinking as well of, uh, with that, that shape is so, you know, if you wanted to maybe make, uh, maybe bezel set them. Oh, you know, lovely. Because of that, that lovely flat base, you know, you'd have, it'd be gorgeous rings that you could make with that. <sighs> Cultured pearl rings, mm. earrings, you could do all of the above, yeah, couldn't you? Yeah. Black spinel, you can really mix it up. You well, can yeah, make them beaded, any, any sort of, they could, and you know that with pearls, they will go with everything, won't they? Absolutely. And every, every single outfit or event that you go to, mm. whether it's down to the local supermarket, whether it's out for coffee with friends or family, or whether it is literally at a glittering event. Do you think we're stopping here, though? Like I said, I could put the PowerPoint onto your screens. I've got loads of pearl PowerPoints. Loads. I don't think we need to. It's genuine cultured pearls and we're going lower than 9.99. Um, I've got 70 available opportunities. I'm gonna show you the other pearl strands that we are bringing you on the back of this. They will come literally uh, simultaneously. Just be there, stock up your stashes. 
even if you just knot them, restrand them, stretch your bracelets, your early bird today, one of our absolute favourite gemstones, not just now, it has been the case literally for the 12 years of broadcasting, but we don't normally bring you pearls at 7 99 That's quite, uh, you know, that's quite obvious, yeah, isn't wonderful. it? Wonderful. Very obvious. We can bring you the likes of no disrespect, quartzes, like your quartzite maybe, or your jaspers, um, or you know, you know, those gemstones that are much more plentiful. Pearl Pills don't go to 7 99 Hello, Patsy. Good morning, lovely ladies. What do you use to knot your pearls? Uh, does it have to be silk? I do like silk with my pearls just mm. because they actually, they, they, they move nicely, but I don't always use silk. No, sometimes I've used, you know, when we do the nylon, it depends what the drill hole is like and how thick it is, but sometimes I've used the nylon. Um, and I've used, uh, threads and I've used wildfire. Yes, yeah, yeah. And sometimes, you know, when we've done the big, um, uh, spools of um yeah different colored threads that's really nice yeah. i'd have a go but i mean the silks are good because everything is on there isn't it the, needle, the needle, needle is on there um and perhaps you know what i had to buy my silk recently from um from that auction site because we didn't have any in mm. stock here at jewelry maker so and it's relative you know it's, it, it, it's inexpensive you yeah. know um and it's hassle free because it's all pre-threaded and i hate threading needles so yeah. yeah i use it's not expensive at all but yeah i've used wildfire i've used nylon cords i've used elastic you can use pretty much it does depend on the drill hole i guess though as claire yeah said. and have a, have a go with other i mean yes knotting is is beautiful uh, and, a, and a skill as well isn't it but have a go with um putting other things in between if you don't if you don't want to knot you could um you know put my yuki yeah yeah but, uh, maybe some uh, some of your so little like micro faceted, faceted. yeah yeah, yeah. Um, right, they're flying out the door. There's a lot of multi-buyers on that one. I'm going to jump into the next size because I'm assuming a lot of you that get that strand will probably want the next. Um, so I'm going to put it on the back of the hand as well. So here it is. We're going to do this in one price crash just because we are running out of time in this hour already. Remember that when you're early birds, uh, you're actually getting three uh, this morning. When they close, the entire hour closes. Is that right, Roscoe? Yes. Uh, one price crash, seven pounds and forty nine pence for genuine cultured pearls. That's so good. Isn't it's it? so good. Seventeen pounds forty nine. I've done, I, I, I've literally brought pearls like this to air at 17.49. And that's amazing. You know, if you walk past your, uh, you know, uh, let's think of a jeweler's local to me. Um, Heinz, they do pearls, don't they? Mm. Or uh, if you walk past Beaver Brooks or Ernest Jones. I think you wouldn't get, you wouldn't get a pair of earrings. Though, no that, chance. Like a single. Yeah, two. Yeah. Two little pearls. No way. No chance for £7.49. You might get the plastic ones. You know, you could probably pop into New Look or or Debenhams or any or Marks and Spencers or any of those places and get your faux pearls for seven pound fifty, possibly in a sale. These are genuine cultured pearls. Um, so this is the strand I'm talking about. Just so we know, everybody, this was the previous strand just here. Um, the fact that you can get these under ten pounds today is absolutely amazing. So many of you there: uh, Senga, Janet, Lynn, Caroline, Jacqueline, Tracy, another Jacqueline, Ella, Sorry, Janet, Elaine, Jan, Charmaine. Hello to you, Maker. West Midlands, Sarah. I'm going to be joining you on this as well. Mm. I've got loads of pearls in my stash, loads. These would be lovely, wouldn't they? You know, if you've got any of the, of the larger pearls and you didn't want to have it on a chain, so you wanted a, a full pearl, oh. that just full pearl suite, these would be ideal for that. Beautiful. And now down to the smallest of sizes, six to seven millimetres. I, I, I just think they're so functional as well as beautiful, mm. aren't they? Yeah. You know, we've got we've got some beautiful morganite coming up in today's show. Imagine these. Just use your morganite more sparingly and yeah, add that one sort of... morganite on the yeah. Really pretty. What like these drops? Yeah. Here you go. I tell you what. Imagine those. Look at that. Mixed in amongst your pearls. Yeah, that's that. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. It is beautiful. Oh. 19.99. Not your price. Of course it's not. Um, we're going to go straight down to it. There is only how many? Sorry, what? 40. So the actual smaller the pearl, you might well, you might well think, OK, well, they should be lower in price tag, which mm, I get your logic actually isn't the case because they're harder actually to drill. Um, and maybe more plentiful? No, definitely not the case. £6.99. pence. Can we just do a little tot up of this amazing bundle, how much it is to get all three? I can hear the... In the background. 
22 pounds and 47 pence you can get all three strands so that means for 22 pounds and 47 pence a little bit of threading material you can create this look Look at that. Oh. Remember, when the hour ends, you won't be able to get hold of these items. So even if you've put them in your baskets, you think, oh, phew, done it. Now, you need to check out. You can add to that order. You still only pay the one postage and packaging per day, not per item. Um, available now, literally, we've got, we're technically, we've rolled over, haven't we? We've rolled over the nine o'clock hour. Um, <clears throat> Oh, and there's one little surprise auction as well just before we duck out. So you've got an extra couple of minutes. Ross is clearly feeling generous. Um, again, you know when I was saying that I've got to make jewellery for Friday? Yes. Um, it's pearls like this. I wish I had more. I wish I had this bundle, though. Um, and I would literally just knot and knot and knot and knot, probably till I run out of pearls or silk, and it's just going to be a wrap-over necklace. No class or anything like that. Super simple. Um, I'll leave that with you. The last... Oh, you own this. I love this. This I is do, yours. Yeah, isn't it? yeah. I, I, probably, I haven't got it on today, but I probably wear it all the time. Mix it with the um, uh, with my rose gold filled wire rings, and I love it. I, I stack stack them up. I, I, it's a beautiful piece of jewellery from the lost treasure of Guatemala, a location that was formed millions of years ago, but lay undiscovered. Well, actually, no, that's not, not correct. Let me say that again. Was lost, literally, for centuries. Mm. 450 years. We knew it existed. We knew that uh, um, the Mayan people treasured this beyond any other, any other deposit that Mother Nature offers. This is completely and utterly natural. 450 years later, a couple called the Ridingers rediscovered this amazing, amazing location. They found they knew it existed. There was uh, there was artifacts being dis uh, uh, displayed in the Smithsonian Museum. Um, pieces like this, you know, this incredible um, Olmec blue jade hand carved master. They knew it existed, but what they didn't know was where. Where is this mine that lo was lost 450 years ago? Well, the Ridingers, literally a husband and wife team, travelled to Guatemala and rediscovered this gemstone. You know, uh, amazing that that, and what an incredible achievement. So much so that people didn't actually believe them at first when they said they'd found the deposit. But only in in this location, in dense uh, Guatemalan, f in a rainforest effectively, you know, you're talking about jungle locations, they actually rediscovered this gemstone. Um, and just, they spoke about sort of an article saying X marks the spot there, that's where the, the jadeite would be. It's not as simple as just, you know, like a, I don't know, a treasure island map that you used to draw as a child. We are talking about, like I said, jungles here but those tectonic plate movements indicated where it was once formed steeped in history and if I had the time I would absolutely talk about sort of Cortez and Montezuma and the exchange of gifts of course only in Guatemala does this uh, this amazing variety of jadeite form in this Olmec blue only in Guatemala you can get it in different sizes. It is hand carved, so this is not reconstituted. It is hand carved. Far more challenging than carving a jadeite bangle. Today, we are going to do an amazing, a little spontaneous surprise early bird deal. Today, we are going to take one of the world's rarest gem. No. Let's be honest, it's in the, one of the world's top five rarest gemstones. If you're going to talk about locations, probably be, even beyond that. And the fact that it only forms in blue in Guatemala. Today, we're going to take it under £100 for you. This is called what, what we call an archer ring. And that's because um, arch, literally archers used to wear it to prevent create, uh, getting blisters on their hand itself. To actually carve a jadeite into a bangle is one amazing achievement. You know, obviously there's a huge amount of risk in fracturing the stone, but to actually then take it another step further with a, a, you know, an amazing solid jadeite ring. Look at the glow on it as well. It's, it's 79 I love it. You own this piece. I do, I, lo I, I love it. And like I say, and it's not, to me, it's, um, you know, I wear it pretty much every day. Yeah, I, you know, I stack it up with my other because it's a nice. I like the size of it. Um, it works. It works beautifully on its own, but it also works beautifully if you do put it with other. And like I say, so I work with. I've, I've got mine with rose gold. Looks great with silver as well and the yellow. 
It's lovely. It's so beautiful. Mm. It's so be Lots of people have actually replaced, um, I've had messages about this, replaced their wedding bands with the, with, mm. with the Olmec blue jadeite rings. I can see why. You've got different sizes as well. Obviously, it can't be resized. If your size isn't available, then literally find a different digit, basically. We are going to put a 60-second clock onto your screen, and that is to end this auction. But not just this auction, that's to end the entire hour. R to S and J to K have gone limited now in their size. You can't resize this. Obviously, it is solid, genuine, natural type A Olmec jadeite. Um, that's fairly obvious, I know. Um, but it's not like gold where you can cut it and then resolder it. You know, this is a solid piece of amazing, uh, uh, amazing artwork, quite frankly, mm. because you can imagine the risk um, in fracturing. And, you, you know, when you're working and holding one of the most valuable gemstones, you have to be really good at your job to be able to achieve that. In 22 seconds, that's the closure, not just of this amazing auction opportunity. If you've got it in your basket, it's not going to stay there. Um, it's going to close every single item that Claire and I have brought you so far this morning so make sure you check out those baskets don't go anywhere because your kits are amazing after the break and so is Claire of course check out check out they're disappearing after this Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me uh, this Wednesday. We're going to be bringing the launch of uh, the Caribbean Incredible Amber. This is a gemstone that has captivated the industry. Uh, you know, thought previously only gem quality amber kind of came uh, from the, you know, the, the, the Poland uh, Baltic regions, but this material has been making waves and for very good reason. It is the collector's choice for amber. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then straight after, we're going to be bringing you Bursa Natural lavender jade eye, a material that was thought to never exist outside of Myanmar. This material isn't just those pastel shades, it's incredible deep uh, saturation with its own incredible deep history and I can't wait to share this epic jade eye with you all. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
Jewelry makers, we have a mega sale on our website right now. There is up to 70% off items with over a thousand items available on all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So pop along, take a look and start shopping. Welcome back, lovely jewellery makers. Claire is literally doing her thing. We're just going to, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Claire carry on in Thank the background you. for a second because she's setting up what we will be an amazing, amazing kit demonstration. Well done to everybody on your first hour. Now, we did talk, I, I, I did tease you with these incredible pearls earlier on. Know that there is only a few of it, a handful of these available. And to be honest, the fact that we're even saying it in a multiple we don't get quantities like this, even less so now, given the fact that our pearl suppliers, which, by the way, we share with those big brands like Yoko of London, we, we share with the likes of you know, all, the, all, the, all the big names, oh, so, the Van Cleef and Arpels, for example, we share those same suppliers. You know, so our pearls are truly no different to all of those places that you might see along Rodeo Drive or within Paris or in Hatton Garden and Bond Street, truly they are no different. The only difference is, the only difference is how we sell them. We, they will have maybe one or two, one or two, and if they're lucky, they might sell those in a week or maybe a month, years quite potentially. We work very differently. We don't work off 400% markup like most of those jewelers do and that's not me discrediting them you've got to remember they've got very high overheads whereas we have minimal overheads um, to a certain degree anyway <clears throat> um, and we'll sell larger quantities so we can work really cut down that margin that being said there's cutting down margin and there's bringing something to wear that is irreplaceable at the price that we're broadcasting our own financial director has conversations with the powers that be saying, well, why do we do that? If it's irreplaceable at those prices, we can't physically buy them back at the price that you're bringing them to air. Why do we do that? It makes no sense. And I get the question. That's the whole ethos of Jewelry Maker. That has been the, 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 the actual idea that Steve Bennett came up with so many years ago. And we're not going to change that because it literally runs through the core of this entire partnership. So our suppliers have said to us, look, to bring you strands like this moving forward is not impossible. However, it is expensive. Big jewelry house names. Some of them I've mentioned want these pearls and they will pay whatever the price. What is it about these pearls that are so expensive? Firstly, they are naturally coloured. You can take a, a cultured pearl, be that salt water, be that fresh water, and you can bleach it and you can dye it to whatever colour you want. If you want it to be, I don't know, bright orange, you can make it bright orange. If you want it to be neon pink, you can make it neon pink. But they're dyed pearls. These aren't dyed, they are naturally coloured. And how this occurs is the mollusk, whatever mollusk it is, and, and pearls do form in multiple different mollusks. You can get them not just in your oysters, but you get them in mussels as well. Your abalone shells produce pearls as well. So where that cultured pearl is forming, instead of being almost close to the, uh, um, the muscle itself within the flesh, it's actually on the circumference. So on the circumference of the shell, and if you think about a shell, when you look at it on the underside, the circumference will hold, retain the most colour. So when that pearl has almost migrated outwards, a little bit like this photograph, it's not the most beautiful of photograph, however, it demonstrates it perfectly. The reason why that pearl is that deep, intense purple colour is because where it formed. It, the, the shell has shared its colour with the pearl. But you pay astronomical prices. And the title of that article, by the way, Everyday Clam Open to Reveal Rare Purple Pearl. You aren't just getting one. 
and you aren't getting that size either. You are getting significantly larger and you're also getting an entire strand. Can I read on, Russ? Because these are the words that uh, come from our pearl, uh, pearl suppliers. Now, they're talking about the photograph is papaya. It doesn't matter whether it's papaya or purple. We're talking about the same applies to replace pearls like this. And the current climate isn't possible, but it is very expensive. Strands of this grade are likely to retail for around $10,000 today. Next year, you could be looking. And by the way, we are in next year um, since we first shared these words. Uh, you could be looking at double that with the way the, uh, the farms have been affected. They're talking about the pandemic. There isn't many strands right now in the world, as it's more valuable to sell these as singles at this size. We won't be able to offer anything like this for maybe five years, and even then it wouldn't be financially viable. The reason why they say five years is because this is not something you go, right, I'm going to make that pearl strand now. I'll leave it there and come back next week and I expect those pills to be ready. They're not going to be of this size. It takes years of investment in actual time investment, that is, as well as financial, to mature the pearls, uh, the oyster rather, sorry, to be able to start the culturing process. And then you have to invest in the culturing process in the hope that they form. And then and you can't guarantee that you'll have this level of rarity. Check this out. I know I have single figure quantities. And whenever I talk to you about, you know, and it's not just a sort of flippant sentence, I strongly encourage you get these valued. I strongly encourage you get them valued because they, what we bring them to air, I really don't want you to think is the true value or worth because it couldn't be any further away. Look at Yoko of London, who brings... Pink pearls, here it is, it, 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 these are spherical pearls. Right now I'm bringing you Brock, we've brought you spherical as well, but p Brock pearls are as, as desirable right now. But this 18 carat pearl necklace, price on application, well, do, you, do you want to know how much that is? It's 22 and a half thousand pounds. They're natural purple, freshwater pearls, exactly what I have before me right now. Shape's different. Colour is actually more muted on the Yoko. It might just be the photograph, I suppose. But their colour isn't as dramatic. But if I flick back a little bit, Ross, the GIA, that was, the GIA here, strong pinkish purple, freshwater, bead cultured pearls, exactly what you have right now. It talks about unusually intense colours and large size of pearls immediately drew our attention. That's the GIA writing about pearls, freshwater pearls, like yours right now. These are definitely a legacy, definitely an heirloom opportunity. And again, just because you're purchasing from Jewelry Maker doesn't make these any less desirable than the natural pink, fresh, uh, purple, freshwater pills that you might find in Hatton Garden or on Bond Street. This is the last time you will see this strand. We believe that because there's already, already a reaction on the web and on the phone lines. It was launched on Christmas Day. They're beautifully metallic, certified natural, something that I, again, please do look at at some point, getting valued and insured. I know it costs money. I know it does. But if you were, heaven forbid, to get lose these or for, if they were to get stolen, we cannot replace them at the price that you're about to see. And I don't like to talk about price when it's something as rare and as beautiful as this, but it is important. The graphics are about to appear. Oh, single figure quantity. We haven't seen these. Was it Christmas Eve, did you say? Christmas Eve that these were actually launched. You have sashes of pistachio. You have sashes of beautiful peach and papaya. You've got the strongest color of purple. It's completely and utterly natural. And I know if I had Charlie in front of me, he'd tell me off probably for not showing it on a white background. So let's do that. Look at the quality of these pearls. Mm. That, that's what we're talking about here, that level, that beautiful, beautiful intensity um, and glow. The graphics are live. Go, 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 go. Uh, 
there are literally 30 individual natural anomalies of nature. Uh, you know, the rarity to get a strand like this. Remember, it's not it's not impossible, but it is very, very, very expensive ordinarily. Um, and I think if you were if we were having this conversation and I was an employee on Hatton Garden, if I was an employee on Bond Street with some of my former colleagues. Um, from years and years and years ago, this would be probably a five-figure piece of jewellery. It would probably have the 18 carat rose gold, eight, white gold or platinum clasp, maybe with a few diamonds sort of uh, parve set within. And you would be talking about those five figures. Go, go, go. Get it home. Get it valued. Get a second opinion by all means. By all means, just don't hesitate. This is why I always say our pearls are opportunities. This is how I look at it. I buy these not just because I love them. I buy them because I've got two beautiful little girls at home who will not be able to buy pearls like this uh, when they're old enough, I don't think, at the price that we can offer them to you right now. Oh. Ross is saying, Elle, I'm going to show you the highest price that I can actually introduce this auction to. Normally, he would say about £2,500. Because even if we started at £2,500, that's not unrealistic. In fact, it's probably a great deal at £2,500. But this, we've got to start somewhere. We have to start somewhere. Ordinarily, we would be higher. I bet a few of you would actually expect us to stop at this next price crash. I'm intrigued now. Yeah. Yeah, Ross, yeah, that should be our stopping point, surely. Because they're enormous. If you think about the five, think about the five virtues that you're ticking in, every single one of those virtues is with a gigantic tick. Size, absolutely. You have the size. Natural colour. Natural colour. Sorry, I've hesitated. I think that's my husband I can see on the app. <laughs> if it is you, darling, do it. Do, and I, I, well, I, I love you forever anyway, even if you get pearls or not. But do it, because these pearls are unbelievable. Um, natural colour. The shape. You've got La Peregrina drop shapes in here as well. Um, people think that round spherical pearls command the highest price tag, and sometimes they do, absolutely. Sometimes they do. However, as with any uh, industry, trends change, and Baroque or drop shapes are gigantic at the moment right now. Then we start talking about the nacre, the luster, how mirror-like, how mirror-like your pearls are. The thicker the nacre, the more lustrous they are. And that really is as important as clarity is to a diamond. If you have a gigantic pearl which lacks luster, it's not, it's not really very desirable. Each and every single one of these have got mirror-like luster. We should stop here. We should. We've got single figure quantities of these and in 60 seconds we're going to go to the lowest possible price tag. I buy pearls from Jewelry Make. I don't go anywhere else. And I, I keep saying it and I know, I know Tom will absolutely, <laughs> he's probably going to be shouting at me right now. I buy them, I want to knot them, I want to put them in high, high end class. And listen, I'm not going to, I've never made a secret of it. I'll sell it at a profit. I've still got the contacts where I could mm. sell them back into the industry. This would be exactly, exactly the type of strand that I would do precisely that with and make significant profit on as well, even if we were to stop here. Even if we were to stop here, we're not stopping here. We're starting at 499 plus you can benefit from your 0% interest split payments. That's split over, what, four monthly payments? Yeah. So you could, you could have, if you have a business, uh, you know, as a skilled jewellery maker, the art that you have, the string to your bow, knot them, put them on a high-end clasp, and sell them. Look at Anne upstairs. I was going to that's just precisely say that, what Anne. she does. Yeah, yeah. I She's saw Anne last week, and that's exactly yeah. such a successful yeah. business. Yeah. Yeah. Selling high-end pearls. There are four of these available in the world. Once they're gone, they're gone. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's at, that is 
absolutely amazing. £299. We should be looking at literally freshwater pearls that are maybe seven millimeters in their size, that are white color, still lovely, absolutely beautiful. But you walk, you walk past Ernest Jones and see if you can find just a traditional pearl necklace, you know, the white seven millimeters in their size at 7.99 i very much doubt it hello deborah you could make apex uh, approximately i think that's meant to be 14 pairs of lovely earrings on silver post for a minimum of 40 pound a pair silly but affordable she says that's more than the start price absolutely mm -hmm. Look, I mean, at uh, uh, £40 pound a pair, I personally think you should be selling them at least triple figures, at the very, 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 very least. You know, absolutely. But look at the profit. Silly but affordable. We said it right there. Brion, you've got yours. Rhea, you've got yours. Janet, you've got yours. Sue's there in Lincolnshire. And I can see Tom. I don't know if that's my Tom or it's another Tom. I'm really hoping that it's my Tom right now. If so, you've got to check out your basket. Haven't you heard me say it over and over and over again? If you don't check out, it's not yours. Ours. Yeah, I'm assuming that's my husband, of course. <laughs> There are three of these remaining. It did, uh, truly, the pearl market is so exciting for our jewellery maker viewers because, you know, you are sourcing beyond wholesale. It, when I was in Tucson, you couldn't buy this strand for two nine nine. I've shown you. In fact, there's a photograph that I took in Tucson, that one which we're holding out, Ross. You know, the one on the clasp in this PowerPoint? There. That one here, uh, um, the, I took this photograph. It's underpriced at $1,250, but that's wholesale. So if you multiply that, if you multiply that by what, four or five, that's probably gonna be the price that the retailers, the jewelers is gonna work at. If the, the, there's Tom in Worcester, well done, Tom. Well done. I'm, I don't know if I'm congratulating my husband or not. Um, I, I'm not sure. Message in if it's you, darling. Um, if it's not, well done, Tom. You've just got yourself some amazing pearls. Bristol, you've got yours as well. Down to the final two opportunities. Literally, knot it. We can teach you that skill. Yeah. Knot it. Put it with, again, go on to, this is my, uh, you can go to uh, some charity shops. You can sometimes find some amazing uh, vintage pieces of jewellery on there. Go to auction house, uh, eBay or places like that, those auction sites. Even if it's a finished piece of jewellery just for the gold class, thread it onto that, job done, get it valued, sell it if you want to. It shouldn't be sold anywhere near £299. I've got two left and I have got two people with it in their basket, so it can still be yours, but don't let that put you, put you off dialing through if you're thinking I've missed out on this opportunity. Uh, yes, you are, you're very welcome. Ah! Oh. Oh, that's one of the very many reasons why I love him so oh. much. Oh, bless. I promise. <laughs> Ross is just saying in my ear, Tom, is there anything else that you want, Elle, so I can bring it to air and make the most of Tom watching? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh. Yes. Right. Can you bring... <laughs> Thank you, darling. That's very kind oh, of you. Sweetie. He's a good egg. He's a very, very good egg. I did, I'm very lucky. And I promise I will get on to the, that pearl necklace because I've bought loads of pearl. Well, not loads, but I bought, I've bought some of our luxury pearls, which is what I class these as, definite luxury pearls. And I've bought the silk. I've even bought some of the, some of the clasps. I've just got to do it now. You've got to do it now. I've just got to do it. No exactly. Excuses, no. I know, I know. Well, that's yeah. that's my excuse is just taken yeah. away, isn't it, yeah. right there? Yeah. Thank you, darling. Oh. I love you. Uh, one of them left. Who's going to get that last one? Look at that luster, Claire. It's amazing, isn't it? It is, it is. And I think when you see them, I mean, yeah, earrings are lovely and pendants as well with that size and shape. And, and you can use some of the skills that we're going to learn now. But I, I, when I see it, and it's the, you know, and you hear how rare they are, it's the uniformity of that whole strand, isn't it? The, and the impact that that has. It's incredible. Well, you think how much the time investment in yes, this as well. Yeah, Plus, yeah. Um, back, right the way back to the beginning of this auction, Claire, when we were talking about the fact that, you know, it's an anomaly for them to mm -hmm. migrate to the circumference of a pearl, to get yeah. that colour. That doesn't happen. It's a little miracle of nature. Um, and then that's happened. How many did we say, Ross, are on this strand? That's happened 30 times. Plus they can't, not, you know, they have to match. You can't have, uniformity is another virtue really. Mm. When you're talking about strands, you need them to have that uniformity of color. Card uh, Cardiff, did you say Annie in Cardiff? Anne in Cardiff and Morag in East Lothian. Both the two of you are there. You, one of you can have that last one. 
I own it too. So we can be pearl buddies. How amazing <laughs> is that? How amazing is that? There's a new telephone caller on the line as well. £74.75 on 0% interest. You know, if you are thinking about, if this is your business, or you are thinking, right, okay, Al, yeah, I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to go uh, sort of selling, uh, uh, selling the pearls. Then... You might have sold it before you've even paid it all off. How amazing. You could be in profit. There are, there's Kerry, Maker, Morag, Maker and Sue. All for the last one opportunity. Who's going to get it out of you? I need to, Anne in Cardiff, I can see you back there as well. Um, okay, I'll leave that one with you. As you can see, we're massively over allocated on that. Incredible, oh, incredible, incredible. Um, amazing. Yeah. He's oh, a good egg, nice. isn't he? He's a good egg. He is. He's a good egg. I've done very well, haven't I? Very well. My mum always reminds me of that. You've done very well. <laughs> Thanks, mum. I have, though. Yeah. She's right. Yeah. Um, Claire. I know. Yeah, I feel like we've not done any pearl Tools. drilling. Yes. This, this, you look, it looks like you mean business today. So what, yes. what is this? So what, but what I've done, I've set it up, tool. but then I thought uh, I'm going to take it apart again because sometimes I think what can happen is you can see a tool like this and be a bit intimidated by it. So I've taken it apart again, so I'll show you how to set it back up. But this, this workstation is really good for pearl drilling. Um, there's lots of different ways you can drill your pearls if you want to do it with your, um, you know, if you've got your pendant motor and you want to have this attachment uh, and some people prefer to do it like that. So you've got it's almost like you hold um, a pen so absolutely you can do that but what this does is this sort of just means that you, you set everything up and then you're you're working with so this action here okay so, so it's much more steady yes. controlled yeah yeah right. yeah so it, it, there's different ways but this this does um, I do think this sort of because you're just doing that action there everything's set up and it just feels like it's a lot safer and easier to do and you've got um, better control. Now, we have this available today. This, this Brilliant, because I feel like we've not kit. seen this for a long time It's available well. on pre-order. Yeah. Um, there are only 40 chances. So I assume if you've got your Dremel, yes. is it any Dremel? So the, the Dremel I've got um, is I've got the, uh, the 4000. So I'm going to show you how it, so this fits in. Um, I mean, this is the only one I've got. This is the one we've done. I think done. that's the one I've got. I yeah, well. so I'll, I'll show you if you haven't ever put it, you know, if you've not got one of these and you want to know how you get this into there, it's really easy. But, um, you know, if I sort of show you how, okay. how you do it. So you set all of this up, but it comes in a, a quite a big box. Um, and so it's set up here and you've got that uh, all the bits sort of come together and the really good thing with, with Dremel is it'll give you it gives you like um, almost like exploded diagrams so it shows you where to put everything together you can do that really easily so then you've got your um, you've got the Dremel part of it so what we want to do is we're going to take off you've got a lock button here so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take off um, this that chuck there so that, that universal bit there so we want to keep that but then we're going to take this part off, that collar, okay? And we don't need that for the moment, so we'll pop that out of the way. So now what we're going to do, we're going to turn it. Let's try and get, so let's move a little bit closer here. So now we're going to pop that <laughs> in. So that's going to sit in here. And what you'll get is you do get a little spanner here. So there's a nut just underneath there. So we're going to tighten this up. Just make sure it's sat in. Just tighten that up. So that's why we need to take off the other bits. So we don't want the collar back on. Okay, that's in there. So now we're going to pop this back on here. So let's just get that on. And, and Dremel, um, which are, which are <coughs> excuse me, a subsidiary of Bosch, aren't they? Yes. Yeah. So they've got unbelievable customer services, haven't they? Yeah, so and, really, and really quality. Um, yeah. But you, yeah. they will always help you as well. There's a great customer service team. Yeah, and, the, and I think the, um, and, you know, the, the, yeah, the Dremel for, um, you know, hobbyists and, and crafters, that's a really nice community as well. Yeah. Um, so, so we've got now, so you can see, so everything um, is attached in here. So now, when I bring that down, you can see oh, it's, it's just this controlled. action here. So what we're going to start off with is... Oh, 
because what you're going to get drilling pearls. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So if I show you some of the some of the things that you can do, I'm just going to keep that. So when you've got that bit, keep that collar because obviously you'll you'll need that. If we talk about some of the things that you can do with. Uh, with the pearls there. So if you look at, so the pearls that we've got in the kit, you've got these lovely larger pearls. And so you've got really, really nice surface area to, um, to drill into and the pegs. Look at those. So you can see those. Claire, they're absolutely amazing. They're stunning, aren't they? But you'll, you'll see now how, um, how, easy it is, how easy it is to do. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're yeah. gonna bring the, this kit to air. Lovely. Um, with the bit with the with the, the huge keshis, so the pure nacre, pure nacre, um, half drilled as well. Plus, you're getting the are they gorgeous, Claire. They are so nice, aren't they? So you've got your nine two five sterling silver. Yeah. And let me just amethyst, little amethysts, two millimeters in their size. That's. Twenty pounds per pearl for keshis. I know, but look at the size of I'll them. I'll bring as well. these because I don't want to interrupt you when 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 you're in your demo. These will sell out straight away. There's loads of people there. Three big keshi mm -hmm. pearls. I mean, that pendant shouldn't be fifty nine ninety nine. No. no, it's stunning. The earrings it? definitely the in them should. As well. Well. I'm intrigued. No. no. Oh my gosh. Wow. I don't know what to say to that, Claire. Well, I think, I think that's amazing. That's incredible. I had no idea it was going to be that price. That is, that's amazing. I was expecting jewellery maker fifty nine ninety nine. That would be amazing. I mean, I've, I've put mine on, on earrings as well. If it were me and making either for me for gifts for selling, that would be three pendants all, all day that's long. That's four pounds each per component. Four pounds. Yeah, well, that exactly. Me too. I mean, in fact, it's not even four pounds. Three thirty-three <gasps> per component. Fantastic. That's mad. Absolutely mad. And really, please, don't, you know, I would say don't be put off with um, thinking it's, it's drilling. It's really complicated. Is that maybe the next level of, of you know, watch how it's done. It's, what it's if I really haven't got this tool? So have a look at um, if you've got. Um, uh, if you've got like maybe the, the finer, I, I know Linda's done it with the finer um, uh, Dremel. I think I can't remember what it's called. The um, silo. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Have a go with one of those you could do. Um, you know, ha have a go with it. I would also say as well, you know, that usually you get a, a pearl with um, uh, either if it's through drilled. So something like this, if you look at this one, the, the kit coming up, if these are th uh, through drilled, use those use those drill holes oh wow that, you know yeah you so do. you don't even have to use yeah, yeah that's a good you, point so you can see so something like that it's a through drill pearl so you use one as a, on a post uh and one with the peg at, so at the background and um <gasps> and that one there as well so you know have a, have just have a go with those pegs um have a play about with them this but, kit's but, about to sell out we had a hundred of them wonderful um did i hear and see correctly al you did, I know, I know, I know. Claire and I went quiet. When do we ever go quiet? I know, Gloria. And sorry, Margot, you were messaging in there. Um, and I, I, sorry, I, 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 was didn't... I was too busy um, enthusing. I gem set mostly birthstones into pearls. They were Gorgeous. quite popular. Uh, sorry, they were quite popular. Just a single pearl pendant, inspiration from Claire, of course. Aww. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, if you imagine you. seeing that beautiful necklace in a jeweler's, uh, heaven knows what the price would actually be because you don't see gem it's sold out well done well done everybody congratulations um just to give you a heads up as well can you can you imagine a burmese ruby set into your pearls but this is where this is perfect so we can talk about this if you see so these are maybe these are the pieces that marco's talking about but you can see there how if you if you're setting into pearls oh. what that does to the gemstone itself you know it it really, really, it doesn't, it's not, it doesn't, nothing gets covered. It, it, it really, it's a lovely background. You actually yes. see it. Yes, it highlights see, the iridescence, yes. doesn't it? The yeah. nacre. Yeah. 
Absolutely. Amazing. Yeah, Absolutely and you can do that amazing. and you just, you know, you're drilling in and then you, you glue that. And, and we'll, this is where this tool really does come into its own then. So that's the deal of the day. I can't believe we're even saying this. Oh, yeah, let's go set Burmese ruby, the finest Burmese ruby. Into gem, your pearls. Into your pearls. Let's yeah. do that. Again, shall I give you a little bit of a price point on your Burmese ruby parcel as well? Three carats, brand new. I've, I've got a, I've got a um, I don't even know if it's Burmese actually. I've got a ruby ring that I treated myself um, after I had willow. I, I, I treated myself to it. Um, it's nowhere near that size. No way near. It's much, much, much smaller. It's second hand and it cost me £750. Second hand. You know, the, honestly, should we do a price promise on these Burmese rubies? Oh, just so everybody knows. Yeah. Repeat that though, Ross, because you know when your ears don't... Yeah. Should we, do a, should we do a parcel? Three carats of Burmese ruby under, under 20 pounds. Ooh. The best location in the world, yeah. And all your under tube setting and things, and yeah. it would be absolutely perfect for, um, for the pearls. It would for your be. demonstration. Yeah, yeah. So, um, should we have a look at, um, and, I'll, and I'll, then I'll put the, um, the different bits in. Yeah, perfect. We'll bring the graphics live for the Dremel. So that's the con contraption. 12 have actually already gone on pre-order, so well done. Um, so you're, if you've got that Dremel tool or the stylo, it's, it's, they're going to be able to fit together, basically, and that's what Claire's showing. So the graphics are live for your Dremel workstation. Just safer, gives you a steady Oh, yeah, it's, it's a, it's, yeah, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant to work with. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set... Um, uh, I'm going to start to drill. So again, with the uh, with the Dremel, um, not with the workstation, but with the, when you actually got the Dremel, what you would have had is um, little uh, uh, different drill bits. So what I'm going to start with, and you might want to start with the uh, the 0.8. I'm going to start with the um, the 1.2. So if you think about what we're doing, we're gonna, we want to drill into the pearl, but it's gonna be a lot of friction. Friction can cause heat. So you want to have um, the, I'm gonna use the, uh, the cut lube that, that we do. Uh, you can use, uh, some people would do it in, in water as well. So you just, and what you're finding is there's two different um, uh, ways if you think about it, that heat, um, that, that that friction uh, produces. I quite like to uh, feel that heat because then I know when to, to stop drilling as well. Or you can use a pearl vise uh, if you prefer, but you tend to um, do a little bit, stop, let it cool down, do a little bit. So rather than, you know, with, with work like this, it's, it's not necessarily uh, being, you know, heavy handed, uh, you know, just take, take time with it and, and, you know, it's finer work. Just go, go a little bit slower. So I'm just gonna tighten this up. Pop this in up here. Okay. You can also use your um, if you've got some of the uh, the pearl drilling bits. So that's that's a little one there, and I think that's a, like, almost like a diamond tip on there. And you can use those too if you, if you wanted to. So we use do a, have those. A variation. Though. Yeah, they're they're good too. We'll bring the price onto your screen for the workstation right now. Um, we have got those 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 pearl drill bits. Um, there's 40 available, by the way. It's still only one poster in packaging. Wow, 39 Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, that's really, really good. And so that this post, because it's been a little bit rushed at the moment, that post, I think, is in there. So you could have it higher. You've got the, um, uh, the, the hook here that's, that, you know, will get that wire out of the way. You'll, you'll have all the instructions there, but it's essentially gonna, um, gonna look like that. Okay. Um, okay, so, if, and so just looking at other pieces of work to give you an idea of things that you can do. So something like that, even if you don't wanna set gemstones in, but you've got lovely pearls, but you wanted to, um, so these were uh, Keshi drills that were, that were drilled through the top here. Uh, and I wanted to have like a, a more of a, like a gate bracelet with it. So. The original drill hole was going through here and I've put another drill hole, which means that I can sort of set them uh, that way. So there's nothing to stop you from working with all pearls that are in your stash. And you can then, if you put, if you, you know, double drill holes and things work really, really well. Even down to if you're pearl knotting and that your first and your last pearl, you need to have a bigger drill hole. So you would never know in a million years by looking at the piece of jewellery that you've done any drilling, but you want to make it larger. This is really good as well. Okay. Okay. So if we have a look at it, I'm just going to turn it down just a little bit. Okay. So what I'm going to start to do just get a little bit of the lubrication the lube on there yeah 
So I'm then going to start and drill. So hopefully you can see this. So first I'm going to go in. Okay, so if I were going, let's turn that off. Okay, so let's have a look there. So now, a couple of things you'd be looking at with this one. So you're looking at, this is a half drill, so the, the, the drill um, the, where I'm going to put my bale would be here. Mm -hmm. So you'd maybe be thinking about whereabouts you wanted the, those pegs to go. So if I take... Oh, they've gone. They're gone. Sorry. It's all right. Someone's being really super efficient, aren't they? It's a... We can get them back if we want. That's all right. I'll use this one here because these are lovely pegs Oh, look, too. Dan's got them. To... Oh, there we thanks, are. lovely. Thank you, Dan. That's brilliant. Thank you. So what, what is nice is if, I mean, if you, you know, if you're getting both maybe to think about when you've got <gasps> a large, yeah. So you'd be mapping out, so if I look at that one there. So if we look at it, we can see the one, the one with the star is pretty much, I could probably cut it down just a little bit. The second one I've done, so this one here, the round peg, we can definitely see from the side, mm -hmm. we can go in a little bit further. So if you're looking at something that's through drilled, what you might want to think is, where is that, if that, if that, uh, the drill hole is going all the way through and it's in a straight line, if you're adding another hole here, is that going to interrupt it? Does it even matter in your design? Uh, you know, but, but consider all of those things. So with the, um, with the second kit that you've got, um, where you're working with a round, they're, they're through drilled. So rather than put a new drill hole in, all I've done is I've gone in and made the existing drill hole a little bit larger. And that means then I can use those to pop the, the lovely pegs in. But you can see there how you just then go back and back. Once you've started to get that, uh, work with a small drill bit, make your hole, and then you can go in with your, if you wanted to use your stone setting burrs, And would like you do that. exactly the same if there wasn't um, the sterling silver element? So if it, for, the, for example, the Burmese, and you wanted to yes. make... So what we'd do is we'd start that, we'd start the, um, you'd start to get your hole, mm -hmm. like we've got there. But then if you think about the gemstone that, we're, that we've got, mm. we don't want to have a straight, if you think about the sides of your gemstone are going to be angled like that. So the burr that we want to use, we would use some of the stone setting burrs. So you can see the angles. Uh-huh. Okay, there. so they're slightly different shape. Yeah. So drill bits. See. Amazing. You can see those. But the same technique and the same Absolutely, tool. Absolutely, yeah. And keep using your, um, you know, your cut lube with them. Go slowly. And remember, like with all jewellery making, whatever it is, you've got your two components. You've got the pearl and you've got the gemstone. You want to make sure that they fit together. So little bits into the stone, into the pearl. Check with your stone that you don't, you don't want it to like be buried and lost in there, but you also want it to be sort of sat yeah. so that it's... Yeah, not perched on yeah, the top. Yeah, so if you see... Um, yeah. That's, oh, that's amazing, and it literally yeah. enhances the colour of the uh, of the pearl. It does. And, it works really well. Doesn't and it? Uh, and is that a sapphire? That's I a... think it is. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Amazing. Oh, clear. And and like you said, it's not scary when you see when I watch you do. No, I think it. I think set up set up the Dremel. This Dremel workstation, I think, takes a lot of the fear out of it because you're just it's that one movement. So immediately you can you know you take it away. Once it's, you know, it's, you turn it on, but then you can up and down, turn it off, all Especially done. Especially when it's 39.95. Brilliant. That's such a good such price, a isn't it? For, price. Yeah, for a professional tool like that. Really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, because I'm fairly sure the, the jewellers that I worked at many moons ago had, um, had a, a, a workstation like that. Yeah. Um, there is still a couple of them available, not that many, though. Um, let's bring you kit number two, because the first one's actually sold out. The, I didn't realise, Claire, these are South Sea. They're incredible, aren't they? Um, so, again, through drilled, mm. plus you've got the sterling silver component. So if you haven't got a Dremel, if you haven't got the workstation, yeah. that doesn't exclude you from gem setting as well into pearls. No, no, no. And so I, I would say... And, and with this, even if pearl drilling is, is not is not your thing, and you didn't you wanted to use the components separately, they make a beautiful bracelet, really beautiful. Oh, amazing! Especially as the South Sea. Well, that's yeah. ten pound yeah. per South Sea pearl. Yeah, I mean, look at them. I challenge anyone to find South Sea pearls for ten pound each. In fact, 
the first kit was £3.33 per component, and it sold out just under 100 quantity. What? We're going to match that £3.33 per component price tag for South Sea pearls, mm. the Mariah Carey of pearls, the most deverish. They are. They are the most deverish. Look at the quant look at the amount. Okay, just again, one South Sea pearl at forty nine ninety nine mm. of that size, I think would I would on probably a head pin on a chain. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, but yeah. look how many. How many did you get at the South Sea? I can't see twelve. So you can make six South Sea pearl pairs of earrings or twelve solitaire South Sea pearl rings. Yeah. yeah. And it's costing you a fraction, and I do mean a fraction of what it would be elsewhere. I'm going to show you. On my, uh, literally Ross's instruction right now. Hang on. I'm going to cover everything else so that you don't, I don't spoil the surprises for the rest of the show. Oh, is there only 43? Okay. So have a little look. It's more limited than the last kit. So if this, this is what Ross emails to me. Pearls in your eyes. The last kit we went to £3.33 per component. That's that's where we should be, 43 quantity at 49.99, which is exactly what's on your screens right now. The fact I'm doing this under Ross's instructions tells me that he's about to change that price tag. For South Sea pearls from the coast of Australia, a pack of 12 single pearls with sterling silver garnet set components, those mm. beautiful little stars. I don't know what he's going to do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know either, because that's what I was told. That's what he emailed to me yesterday to prep for the show, that's why, you know, the rarity of South Sea Pearls. Oh, do you want to say that? I just I see a massive. Massive saving massive. on this, massive. The big wigs gave Ross this price tag. But he says, no, I'm going again. There's only 43. He's done a bit of number crunching and he reckons he can change that price tag, go down even lower. I like, oh, that's a good saying that. Oh, I've crunched the numbers. <laughs> it's about to go mad on the web and the phone line, says Ross in my ear. 12 South Sea Pearls. Again, you don't, I don't think, you're at £3.33 per component, which is just ridiculous for South Sea. And we are going lower. He wants a round number, he's saying in my ear right now. Again, if you have a pearl business, South Sea Pearls sell themselves because people know the value of a South Sea Pearl. That's like saying, okay, uh, I only want my rubies from, um, I only want my rubies, say, from, 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 from Burma. I only want my, my emeralds from Colombia. You want the best. £29.99, you've taken £20 off that price tag. What is that each? £2 per component. And they are, I mean, I've used, you know, I've used them and so that like in the ring as an individual, you know, they look beautiful um, uh, as, uh, you know, if they're all group, you know, uh, fantastic singularly uh, grouped together as well. Just real, real impact. But yeah, I mean, you could you could put them on a sterling silver head pin, couldn't you? As a gorgeous, gorgeous pendant earrings. Two pound. Yeah, for not in a million years. Never. In a, I don't know anywhere else in the world that Roth used South Sea pills for two pound. No way. Nowhere, 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 other than a mad bunch here at Jewelry Maker. It, it, that, well, yeah, that is ridiculous, isn't it? In the best possible way. Mm -hmm. these, ha these are flying out the door. We had, as you can see on my, on my star buy sheet, we had, what, 43 of them um, at the beginning of this auction. We're only going to ever have a limited quantity. First, you get 12 South Sea Pearls in one mm -hmm. kit. Um, people are multi-buying on it as well. But the South Sea Pearls, at the end of the day, you know, these, they grow at a very, very slow rate. Not quite as slow as that of your Akoya, because Akoya Pearls are much in a much cooler um, sort of water temperature. Um, but, you know, the extremities of actually harvesting pearls in, um, you know, in this location are very, very, very real. And they are nurtured, cared for. I'm not even exaggerating when I say they are literally sung to on a regular basis. Those oysters, nice, the golden... I know, yes, I quite like yeah. that. The golden lip oyster, which can form from usually around this size, can be as uh, larger than even a dinner plate itself. 
They have barnacles literally chipped off the surface of them so they can filter and feed beautifully. It's all those efforts that Gorgeous. produce this yeah. quality. And then what we're saying is that, oh, it's just two pounds. Two pounds, Pearl, yeah, it's fine. All of that. Yeah. Um, amazing. Well done, everybody. There are less, less than 15 of these remaining. Beautiful, Just beautiful incredible. Pearls. Yeah, yeah, they are. They are really lovely. Shall we do the burrs? Yes, yeah. Are Let's they called burrs? So the um, different different burrs. So these are the, the yeah, bits. These the ones are. The bits. That yeah. bit. Yeah. It's these ones snack. are the burrs and, and then these are the, these are the bits. Now, these... They have, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't think we've done... Um, uh, pearl drilling for a long, long time. I feel like I haven't done it. I um, love pearl drilling as well. I just well. think it's a way of, you know, if you've got pearls in your stash, this is a way of really, uh, you know, either working with them differently, like I've said with the, the, the Keshi, so, um, you know, change the direction of, of your beading with them or setting stones into it, enlarging the drill hole. So, yeah, see so there you can see, so that um, it's got, I see that really, really fine point and that Yeah, tip. just at the very, very yeah. top. Yeah. So I usually do a combination of, uh, of the two. So I have the, uh, the pearl drills and then I have the standard um, drill bits as well. And I, and I use a combination. Mm -hmm. There's a really, you know, that's a very, very sharp little. Yeah, there's two yeah. different sizes here. This is the smaller yeah. of the two. Because you can always, you know, you don't want to go in, I assume really, this is, I'm no expert on this, but you don't want to go in with the, the big Size. No, so you'd go the reverse. You'd so go you'd the go, opposite way. Start small and then you go... Work your way yeah, up. Yeah. We're going to do yeah. it in one price crash. These haven't yeah. been on your screens in a year. No. So if you own uh, um, if you own the Dremel tool, it'll work with the yes, Dremel tool. Yes, yes, it does. What yeah. about the stylo? Yeah, it goes in there. Uh, yes, because I think the stylo as well, I think all the Dremels have got that, that universal chuck. Yeah, that, yeah, that's it. So it'll just go with all Invaluable them, yeah. drill bits. Uh, these yeah. are for Pills, says Gloria. Thank you, Gloria, for messaging in right now. And, and also, the fact I've seen how simple it was... Once you're all set up and good to go. Yeah. So the, the, I'd say the longest part is, you, so setting up. Yeah. Do that once. And then you, once you glue anything and then the patience, isn't it, of letting it set. There's nothing, you know, the rest of it is, you're good to go, aren't you? Uh, uh, yeah. And it's great. It's great fun. And once you start it, and I think you feel confident with it, you'll be then getting all the pearls out. Yeah. You've got and, and, Trying to find yeah. all the pearls. Yeah. And, yeah. Getting ready in your jewellery box yeah. even. Four ninety nine. I remember a, um, a pearl necklace that it was the only one in the entire shop that I that I used to work at. Um, so it was about, I don't know, 18, 20 inches, something like that. And it had diamonds set into the pearls. And it was gorgeous. astronomically expensive, mm. but absolutely beautiful. You know, the fact you can do well, that. The, but the thing is, so whatever you do, everything that you do is totally unique, and it's going to, isn't yeah. it? So um, they're all one-off pieces. So yeah, yeah. And 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 you know, bush burrs are really, really, really good quality. I thought that was a typo. They are actually called bush burrs. Yeah. Ah, there you go then. So this is a bit larger. So yeah. all dependent, I suppose, on the size of the gemstone that you want to and set within your pearl. Yeah, so the gemstone and the, and the peg that you're going to work with, and you might want to work with, um, uh, you know, you just might want to have the, uh, uh, bit maybe with a cord or uh, a more structural wire going through the, the, the pearl. So, yeah, so something like that. If you use that one, you, you could get at least maybe your 1.2 mm -hmm. millimetre wire going through. And do they last? Yes, they do. Yeah, they're very, very good. But that's why you need to, you know, get your cut lube as well. Look after them. Yeah. Look it's, a, it's a really, really good mate. Look after your bush burrs. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> and they'll look after you. <laughs> bush burrs. Bush, bush burr. burr. Bush burr. Oh, sorry. It's nice just, to say. Oh, yeah, it? it is. It's quite, it rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Bush burr. Um, but look what they achieved. £4.99 pence only. Amazing. And don't forget your deal of the day, which isn't too far away, is Burmese ruby. The fact that you can set Burmese ruby can in these. Can you imagine these. how Burmese lovely, ruby, yeah. South Sea Pearl yeah. or Keshis. Can you imagine that? Stunning. Oh, we might have to give you one, Claire. Okay, then. All, All right. right. We can always give, we, we yeah. can, can't we? Can we give Claire a, a Burmese ruby? Yeah, I think we should. I think we should, so Claire can have a go at sort of setting... Sounds good to me. There you go. Didn't think we'd get any complaints from you. <laughs> Amazing. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. Um, and don't forget also that beautiful Morganite that is coming up. Um, says Ross, um, got loads to bring you as well. Can I also show you this parcel? Um, yeah, your deal of the day, here it is, coming up, not too long to wait for these, an amazing parcel, the finest location of source. I have price promised it, guaranteed today. This is ridiculous, ridiculous, under 20 pounds. That's crazy. 
A parcel, it's three yeah. carats of ruby, the most expensive colour gemstone in the world. And from the most considered, the finest location of source, Burma, you're getting three carats of, guaranteed. You might get Marquise in there, you might get heart, you might get round, you've got, you guarantee you that parcel weight. All of amazing quality, all literally fluorescing. That is synonymous to this location. So 10 o'clock, but you can pre-order yours right now. So if you wanted to do what Claire just demonstrated with the Saucies or the Keshis or maybe some of the pills from your stash, get yours now. Um, follow the, you can always watch us back as well. Claire's demonstration on YouTube. So um, thinking, oh, I need to watch that again. Then you can shop ahead on these. Um, the pills, the pills that I own. <laughs> There's one available still. Gosh, there were loads of people with it in their baskets. 12 of you with it still in your baskets. I can't leave one. I, I, I can't leave one. These are so beautiful. The quality mm. of these pearls are truly exemplary. They were launched on Christmas Eve. Um, just gone. Literally just gone. They are all naturally colored. Just remarkable and huge. You know, think about the five virtues of the pearls, size, shape, colour, of course. Firstly, colour being completely and utterly natural. Then we start talking about uh, um, so the nacre thickness and your luster itself being the number one really most important criteria um, of pearls. It ticks all of those boxes and then some. This is definitely legacy, legacy heirloom jewellery. The jewellery that, like I say, I buy, not just because I love pearls, I absolutely do. They're one of my favourite gemstones to own, um, but also because I want to pass them on to my, my children as well. You know, I, I, they wouldn't be able to buy pearls like this for £299. Not when they're older enough you know when they're when they're in their sort of adult years um not now we can't buy them now at 299 i've got anne in cardiff leanne sorry liana in keredigion nottinghamshire susan and brian who want four i've only got one uh hertfordshire kerry morag maker and sue all of you with this either in your baskets or i can see you on the phone lines once they're gone they are gone so there's one available opportunity, and I can see people with multiples. Um, 14 of you have this in your baskets on the website. Get it home, use your 30-day money-back guarantee. That's another thing as well. Can you imagine, right? Say you and I met at the jewellers that I used to work at, which was, a, I'll be honest, a re horribly intimidating place. To work. I didn't like work, and I, even though I stayed there for quite a long time, but I actually was quite uncomfortable in that environment because it was very affluent, if you like. And... When you walk, when people walked into that jewellers and say was looking at something like this and, I'm, and they're on the fence, say, I, I wouldn't have been able to say, I tell you what, take it home. Just give me 75 quid, take it home, have a think, get a second opinion if you want. And if you change your mind, just send it back to us. There's no way on earth, no way on earth they'd have done that. Do you know what that last one will happen? Okay. It'll go in a lounge hour, and we probably won't even have to show it. It won't, it won't be played as an auction again, because we're already at minute margins, if any at all, to be honest. So the airtime, it would cost us money. So it'll literally be in a lounge hour, um, or it may well go to our sister channel, I suppose. Um, one or the other. But there is literally one remaining opportunity. Amazing. So we have a... Oh, my goodness me. I know which one you're talking about. Is it these purples? Huh. We actually don't know where these are from, when they were played. <laughs> Ross has just oh, stumped up. Oh, Ross, uh, if you're looking for the per perfect rounds, they're not going to be in a kit, no. They're, well, they're too, they're too... You don't find pills like this in a kit. Look, they are that perfect. They almost look imitation pearls, don't they? I assure you they're not imitation. I assure you. I'm going to ask you a very unconventional question right now. Can you find a fault in these pearls? I said earlier on, many consider pearls to be the most expensive. And in some cases they are. Not always, though. The, if you are looking for the perfect round pearl, the difference in the size and the graphics is the graduation that you have here. These are perfect, and I use this, this word 
very rarely when it comes to your organic gemstones. These are flawless. Gosh, look at them. Have you ever seen pearls so perfect? Mm. Look at the surface on them as well. These are so amazing. perfect. Oh my goodness me. I, I, genuinely, I'll say, I've said it so many times before, I genuinely believe we offer you the, some of the best quality pills in the world. I genuinely believe that. We've shown you a £22,500 necklace at Yoko of London. So, you know, here on our, our soils, £22,500. It's not the gold that marks up that price tag. It's the pearls. And those pearls, by the way are almost identical to these in actual fact because they're spherical in their shape. They're natural mm. purple pearls. I don't know if they're Edison or not. I don't know. This has that prestige. There are two available. I've got someone on the phone line already. If you've got the budget, do it. Wow. Again, this should have a five-figure price tag and it would have a five-figure price tag elsewhere. It would do. Have you ever seen anything like these before? Mm, they, oh, my cool. word. £699. Please know that I'm not... Uh, that is a considerable about, amount of money. It is, absolutely. However, not comparative to what these would be priced elsewhere. These... And can I just make a suggestion after, after Claire's incredible demonstration as well? Please don't drill these. Please don't drill these. They are that perfect. I thought then you were going to say, uh, drill them. I was like, oh, I don't know if I would. No, please don't. They are that flawless. It would be, if you, listen, they're your pearls. You can do whatever you wish to with them, but... That would be a silk, a knotting and a... Yeah, I, I, I think these should literally be left untouched. We do not know the story behind these pearls. We don't know where they came from, where they launched. They're not on split pay. However, we have looked at rectifying that. So if you want to get hold of them on split pay, speak to our contact centre and they will do that. It's just, it doesn't, in a few moments time, just bear with us on this one. It will be four way split pay. These have got to be some of the best pills you've ever seen here at Jewelry Maker. Um, there's one left, well done Somerset. They are remarkable quality remarkable remarkable quality they are available on split pay as well we'll get that sorted for mm. you have you ever seen anything like those before <gasps> a faceted oh pear faceted cultured pearls oh pears in two i get it i was like oh my goodness these should be one of the most expensive so earlier on We've, um, honestly, the quality of the pills that we're bringing you today is remarkable. Really, truly, truly, truly remarkable. variety as well, isn't it? How, really interesting pearls. Yeah. I spoke the other day, so I watched some of our old jewellery maker shows and it was lovely Lucy um, who was actually talking about shell pearls and one of the shell pearl strands was actually faceted and she was going, you can't facet a cultured pearl. Um, and by the way, I'm not discrediting Lucy here, I used to say exactly mm. the same. No, you can't facet yeah. pearls, you can't. They're cult, you know, there's, it's nacre, you know, that would potentially burn. Um, it's not possible. And it was actually a viewer that, that corrected me and said, yes, you can, but they are astonishingly expensive expensive incredibly expensive because you have to grow a pearl firstly culture a pearl to you know quite a considerable size to be able to then to honor all of those facets the end result though when it is achieved is absolutely stunningly beautiful you know you almost have this like like an acorn effect you, not acorn like a pine cone you know where they almost uh, or, or, or they sort of overlap one another it's so beautiful but rare, 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 rare. Now, I'm just checking before I say it. Are these half drilled? I'm fairly sure they're half drilled. So th these are how to go make a ring like yeah, yours, Claire? Something. Yeah, so you just make a ring shank with a post and oh, pop that on. Look at that, the end result. Yeah, it's magical, isn't it? It is magical. I think that's the perfect word for it, Claire, because you've got the luster and then that's heightened by those beautiful little facets as well. Um, there's a reason why we don't see these on the high street. There's a reason why we see very, very, very e uh, few, even pearl specialists, offering you faceted pearls because it's incredibly difficult to do and it's incredibly expensive. I've never seen this. Uh, 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 wow. I've never seen that. They'd be earrings for me. I think they'd be the most mm. amazing pearl stud earrings. And so simple to make. You literally get a little bit of what your precious metal 
yeah. glue it in, yeah. butterfly back. Yeah, perfect. It can be done in a matter of minutes, can't yeah. it? Yeah, depends what sort of earring drop, doesn't it, that you want if you want studs or you want to, you know, for maybe go something, you could put them on chain as well, maybe with that movement to have, you know, make the most of those facets. Beautiful. Or imagine if you were to set it with a Burmese ruby. Mm. Yeah. The contrast of the two, I think. The, the, the oh, my of goodness. The, the ruby, yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, at £199, you've got it on your split payment as well. Are we stopping there, though, says Ross? No. Of course not. How many have we got? 30 available opportunities. Okay. okay. $24.99. Do you know, use, use, there's a reason why when you go into even places like your Beaver Brooks, which is an expensive jewellers, your Ernest Jones, an expensive jewellers. Ernest Jones sells gemstone, amazing diamonds. They sell you beautiful, beautiful aquapraise, you know, that Levion launched to the world. You know, they are expensive jewellery houses. There's a reason why they rarely ever include a faceted cultured pearl because it's astonishingly expensive. We personally have closed these significantly higher than four. $49.99. Um, closed higher than what's on your screens right now. Plus, you can get hold of it on your split payment. Who wants a brand new low? Wouldn't it be wonderful if you could say that you own faceted pearls? Mm. Can you say you own faceted pearls? No. No, no, me. The jewellers that used to sell, that I used to work out that stocked Rolex, Cartier, or Piaget, or uh, Shop Art, all those big expensive brands. Do you think they had faceted pearls? because they're so expensive ordinarily. In 35 seconds, we are taking this to a brand new low price tag. Victoria, Tracy, Catherine, Lynn, Morag, London, new customers. Hello to you, Barbara, Deborah, you've got yours, amazing. Hello, Alan, nice to see you as well. Edinburgh, I can see you there is with it in your basket. Again, ch start checking out, we're going up to a brand new low today. 10 to 11 millimeters, mm -hmm. but they'd have been larger than that to be cut, to, to be faceted down. Yeah, yeah. I guess the risk to burn it as well would be very real. Yes, you'd think so. Yeah, if you, you know, when you think about the drilling of them and then it's, that's on the surface, isn't it? When you're facet faceting. They look like they're wrapped in silk. Yes. Brand new low for you today, $39.99, but there was only a limited quantity. You're getting the two. We've brought once, I think there's only one other opportunity I've brought faceted pearls before, and that was in a strand. Um, I think it was £499 mm. for that strand. If you're lucky enough to own that, these would be the most amazing earrings to go alongside or maybe a matching ring if you yeah, wanted to yeah. as well. Um, maybe the strand was out of your budget. I get that. It wasn't, you know, it was expensive. It was it was great. Jewelry maker price tag, but it was a considered purchase. £39.99 or £19.99 on your split payments. How awesome is that? Tracy, Catherine, Victoria, another Tracy, Melanie, Julie, Manchester, Lynn, Moore. I'm going to leave it with you because we are running out of time amazing now the purple pearls that we have just showed you the one that's one left have i still got it it's on oh you've got that's right i was looking after them uh, these are incredible i'd go as far as saying probably some of the best pearls i've ever seen is that no a different strand Which strand am I looking at? The perfect, per, perfect round, this one, yeah. Oh! I would go as far as saying they're probably some of the best pills I've ever mm. seen. They are on split payment now, so uh, there is one chance available. You can get hold of it for £174.75 over uh, four monthly payments. And again, look, they're flawless, aren't they? And I use that word very, very, very sparingly because pearls are organic gemstones. So what that basically means, it's formed from a living organism. You should expect them to have the little blemish, the odd little little nick or uh, um, little flurry on the, on the surface. These no, are, no, yeah, nothing. nothing, literally perfect, absolutely perfect. Um, amazing. I'm going to leave that one with you because there is only one remaining, but just to show you that the split payments were um, available. Now, I have 40 available opportunities in this uh, in this next round. Oh, um, I love this. Me too. You See, know, I said my staff good... order was pearls. And, yes. And that, this is what I'm going to do. Lovely. Really oh, that's exactly what I was thinking um, you could do. Yeah, look at that. 
It's what you've described, isn't it? It's gorgeous. It's so pretty. So you're looking at genuine cultured pearls and type A, Burmese jadeite. You know, the, the level of rarity mm. here. Let me just for one second. There's only 40 of them available. So I'm just going to wrap them around each other just so you can imagine it's threaded. Okay, here you go. So if you were to wear it like so, really elegant, very 1920s kind of inspired. Let's get it to the launch price. There's only a little, hang on. Well, that looked quite nice. You liked it like that, yeah. did you? Okay. There you go. Wear it like so. We launched it at 49.99 and we sold a triple figure quantity at this price tag. Type A, Burmese jadeite with genuine cultured pearls. They are the most beautiful. It's a marriage made in heaven, mm. isn't it? Mm. Jadeite it and is, pearls. yeah. It's really elegant. For the last 40, Claire, should we do a clearance Yeah, now? let's do it. How about today half price? <gasps> half price deal. Madness, isn't it? it? I mean, in that, I mean, it, you, uh, perfect to just do a restrand, but then at, at that price, you know, if you're thinking maybe you want to add it to, say, you've got the malachite from earlier, oh, or you're going to get the um, morganite. The morganite. Both, it would go beautifully Morgan with both of those. Be beautiful with this. Yeah. Uh, we, we sold triple figure quantities That's at 49.99. Um, we discussed sort of the El Sporetti, El Sporetti inspiration, didn't we? The diamonds by the yard. Um, but instead of it actually having sort of your precious metal, actually having genuine cultured pearls at 49.99, that was a great deal. But we've got what, 20 did you say? Sorry, Russ. 40, I beg your pardon, we had 40 available. Um, yeah, and, and listen, we're out of clearance now. We're not in clearance anymore. Um, these are two of our most popular gemstones combined together. Uh, it match, what I love about pearls and jade together is they complement, I think, every occasion, every skin yes, tone. Yes, they'd be suitable, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. £24.99, pence, lowest ever price clearance deal for you today, but I only had 40 of them. Fiona, well done. Alison, Wendy, Carol, Teresa. Hello, Mona. Hello to Gary. Hello to new customer, Tracy. Maya and Powis, Maker, Maker, Kathleen, Hertfordshire, Susan, Sandra, Linda, Margaret, Jean in California. Do make sure you check them out, everybody. Unbelievable deal. I think for the bracelets as well, if you were going to... Um, yes! You know, if you um, almost see them as like, almost like wholesale, isn't it? Well, how, many, bracelets, how many bracelets do you get out of a metre? Is it eight? Is it? Is it? How many bracelets do you I get out see. of a meter? A, a me, uh, uh, eight inches. This is seven, eight. Is it six and a half? Eight inches would be quite big. Mm. That would be quite big. Yeah. Okay, so let's say six. Yeah. Because you, with your findings. Isn't Even it? if we said six bracelets, six and a half, six and a half, six and a half full pearl and jadeite bracelets. How? Beautiful is that. And wait, wait, wait. £24.99 divided by six and a half, Ross. 24.99 divided by 6.5. So that's make wow, that's costing £3.84 for a pearl and jade bracelet. Literally just using elastic. Mm. Amazing. Let's squeeze in one more pearl deal, shall we? Ah, oh, I love this piece. This it's absolutely pretty. beautiful. The new, um, do I say this now? I, I, I can almost see like a spider web. This is why I'm thinking it. The, the, actual, the actual mount itself is really fine, beautiful sterling silver filigree work. Um, I was just saying. Oh yes, like a spider. It's almost yeah, like a really lovely the, pretty the spider on it. web. Yes, yeah. yeah, you know, um, you know, you know, Charlotte's Web. Has anyone yeah. seen? I'm sure you have. Read, certainly read the book or watched the film. Um, but yeah, you see the dew literally mm. settle on, um, on 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 the spider web itself. It's just stunningly beautiful, isn't it? Plus, you have that's not cubic zirconia. That is a wonderful colourless eye clean topaz. Look how perfect the pearl is. Again, gloriously spherical, completely flawless in its night and aqua surface. You know, whichever way I kind of roll it, you can see. Let me just look at the work in that. Yeah, how smooth and perfect it actually is. The final pearl deal of this hour, and it comes complete. You get that gorgeous sterling silver chain as well. Um, it's a 10 millimeter natural peach pearl. With white topaz, yeah, absolutely. It's perfect. Do you get the chain, Ross? Yes, you do. It's everything. It's perfect. 
Shall we show you the launch price? I love it. It's just so beautiful. Look at the craftsmanship of that, that sterling silver. Yeah, As a pearl, silversmith what? artist, I mean, oh, it, you appreciate. To, yeah, I mean, you'd have to, the only way you could do it, you'd have to maybe what, pierce everything out and then you just couldn't do, oh, I couldn't do that. Claire, we, 29 is our launch. That's everything. That's the chain. That's the bale. That's that beautiful oh, colourless yeah. topaz. That's the craftsmanship of the sterling silver. And that's that 10 millimetre natural peach pearl. That pearl's incredible, isn't it? It is. Shall we do another closeout deal before we dive into a break before your deal of the day? Shall we? 60 seconds and it's going to happen. How many do we have then, Ross? Oh, we got a hundred quantity. Okay, I'm gonna throw. Uh, every time I mention it, I always get I always get told off. I'm gonna do it anyway because I do. <laughs> no, not from Wayne. I don't get told off from Wayne on this occasion. He tells me off for other things. But um, <laughs> listen, Is I'm Adam. Gonna, Adam, gonna tell you off. Adam, he uh, he probably will. <laughs> to be honest, Adam probably will. He's ready. Look, look. Don't start tapping your foot, Adam. <laughs> Don't start, <laughs> but I'm going to say it. Christmas. Yeah, that's Aww. okay. He's happy with that. Get these for Christmas. Yeah, and if you're honest, for goodness sake, it's just January. It's only January. Mother's Day, birthday, Valentine's Day, just because presents. You can't get a bunch of flowers. Well, you can, but, you know, if you go to a florist, you're talking 50 quid, aren't you, really, for a decent bouquet yeah, of flowers. flowers. Uh, this is a genuine, beautiful, natural peach pearl. Florists are really expensive now. Uh, maybe it's the ones around me, I don't know. But they are really expensive. Not enough people says, no, Ross, no, no, no. We're going to take it under £20 if it looks like we are going to sell them out. Look, under £20. Get it for the pearl. For the pearl on its own, under £20. For the diamond cut chain, under £20. Mm. You can literally buy it as it is. Stick it on your Etsy shop if that's what you got. If not... Yeah, no time. You've not no had to time yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. But you know, you know, just because under £20, you know, I think there's lots of occasions, say you've been around to, right to a friend's house or they've cooked you dinner or something like that, you know, and it's... You know, you're polite, so you take a bottle of wine or a box of chocolates or something like that. Can you imagine gifting something like this? Well, and, and, and it lasts, doesn't it? You know, and they're it lasts gonna, forever. They're going to be like, well, for goodness sake, you know, a bottle of wine would have done. No, we don't do bottles of wine here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, we do, we do both. We do both. <laughs> Paul doesn't believe me when I say that. He's like, no, are you sure about that, Al? Okay, yeah, I can't, I can't pull that one off. Twenty pounds only. So good. Nineteen ninety nine. Um, goodness me, for the beautiful chain, for that wonderful <laughs> natural peach pearl, <laughs> for the colourless topaz, <laughs> Flincher, well done, multi buying, Margaret, Karen, Veronica, Carol, Olivia, Helen, June, Julie. Oxfordshire, Linda, Margaret, Ruby, Janet, Maureen. Keep on dialing through. That's a closeout deal, everybody. Coming up as your deal of the day. I can't believe I'm about to say this out loud. It is ridiculous. And I don't think I've ever said it in my entire professional career. We're about to bring you Burmese Ruby for under £20. I know it's daft, but it is happening. I promise you of that. You can shop ahead and pre-order yours. Um, literally, Take the Burmese ruby and do what Claire just showed you. How awesome yeah, would that be? Yeah. Uh, make sure you check out your baskets on that amazing, it's this amazing necklace for 20 quid. Crazy. We'll be back after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour.
If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me uh, this Wednesday. We're going to be bringing the launch of uh, the Caribbean Incredible Amber. This is a gemstone that has captivated the industry. Uh, you know, thought previously only gem quality amber kind of came uh, from the, you know, the, the, the Poland uh, Baltic regions, but this material has been making waves and for very good reason. It is the collector's choice for amber. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then straight after, we're going to be bringing you Bursa Natural lavender jadeite, a material that was thought to never exist outside of Myanmar. This material isn't just those pastel shades, it's incredible deep uh, saturation with its own incredible deep history and I can't wait to share this epic jadeite with you all. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a mega sale on our website right now. There is up to 70% off items with over a thousand items available on all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So pop along, take a look and start shopping. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. I can't believe this is about to happen, to be honest. Um, if somebody had approached me, I don't know, 15 years ago, before I came across Wonderful Jewelry Maker, actually even when I worked here, and said, go back 10 years ago, when the whole of the Gemporia partnership didn't have Burmese Ruby. Do you remember that? Do you remember when we did, we, we never had Burmese Ruby. And, that's our sister channel and obviously jewelry maker and said, you'll do one at some point moving forward. 
you will do an auction of three carats of genuine Burmese ruby for under £20. Never in a million years would I have believed them. Because I remember the owner of the, uh, of the shop that I worked at when I started my jewellery career, a um, very affluent fa family, and she, very, she was retired. You know, she started, her son was running the shop when I worked there. But every so often, uh, her, his mother would come into, um, into the shop. And she was, one, she was a very imposing character, should we put it that way? Presence. Presence. Mm. Terrifying. Uh, absolutely terrifying. She was one of those people that straight away used to have you sort of like nervous. Um, anyway, and she, her engagement ring, and she had obviously some beautiful jewellery, amazing jewellery. Her engagement ring was very similar, if you like, to the royal engagement ring. But instead of it being a cashmere sapphire, or Burmese, that might be Burmese, actually, was a Burmese ruby. And surrounded with the absolutely amazing diamonds. And I knew at that time, or I thought at that time, my, in my tender years, there's never in a million years I would own Burmese ruby. Never would I even entertain the fact that this was a gemstone and more importantly, more accurately, a location that I would be able to afford. But that's precisely what we are doing today. And it's not just like, I don't know, 15 points, 20 points. You're talking about three full carats in an entire parcel for under 20 quid. So I was in a real predicament last night when I was prepping for today's show. I was like... Do I go into, do I show all the Burmese ruby pieces that Elizabeth Taylor owned? You know, all the, all the celebrities wearing this location. Do I talk, or do I show you the jewellery ed editor articles? Or do I just say, look, it's 20 quid for a parcel of Burmese ruby. It gets no better than that. It doesn't get any better than that. This is, ruby is widely known to be the most expensive coloured gemstone in the world. If you speak to our, um, our founder, Steve Bennett, I asked the question a few years ago quite cheekily, said, what's the most expensive gemstone that you've ever bought? Guess what it was? And bearing in mind that he owns the largest faceted morganite in the world. We've got a gemstone museum right before us. A huge carat weight. The most expensive gem that he has ever bought was a ruby, a Burmese ruby. But let's talk about it. Myanmar, formerly known as Burma, has long been a producer of some of the world's priciest gemstones. Pigeon's blood rubies, known for their deep natural red fluorescence with blue hues, they command higher prices per carat than any precious stone on the global market, with the exception of coloured diamonds, and more specifically, pink coloured diamonds. It is known to be the most expensive coloured gemstone in the world. Today, the mines of Myanmar are no longer producing large or gem quality stones, but demand is high and supply very limited, says Vincent Pardieu, a world-renowned field gemologist, explaining that the government suspended mining licenses in 2016. Today, 99% of Burmese rubies found in the market were extracted decades ago, even centuries ago. Rubies along with jade, blue sapphires, spinels, peridot, aquamarines and a large variety of other gemstones are found in a rich geological arc which straddles Myanmar, Thailand, India, Pakistan and Nepal. But as mining has been relatively uncontrolled for generations, the yield of gem quality rubies in the region has significantly decreased. To get... So none is... It's a fair assumption to say it ain't coming out of the ground anymore. What you are sourcing today, you know that if purchasing from jewellery maker or ultimately Gemporia is ethically sourced as well. We are absolutely, absolutely uh, um, passionate about that. But the fact, really, the demand for your Burmese ruby is at an all-time high. The supply has been literally cut off. What's going to happen to the parcels like this, like the parcel that you can get today in terms of the price anywhere else? Well, they wouldn't be offered for 20 quid, Claire. I don't know. I don't. It doesn't make sense. No, it, it makes no sense. 
I believe you could talk to people with little to no gemstone knowledge and say, Burmese ruby, and they will know immediately that it carries a, a high price tag. Why? Let me show you why. Burmese ruby, we described it in the first slide of, of, of that. That's all I'm going to show you. I, I could show you all the, you know, the Elizabeth Taylor pieces. I could show you uh, um, Her Royal Highness. I could show you countless different amazing historical rubies. But this is Burmese ruby under £20. That's all I need to say. That is literally all I need to say. Natural red fluorescence. So, yeah, UV torch, you'll see that fluorescence with a blue hue. You can see all of that without any light trickery. All I've got is what? A piece of paper underneath it. And that's because I don't, if I put, look, black behind, you don't see the colour quite so well. This is incredible quality. And it's under £20. I don't believe there is ever going to be an opportunity to purchase Burmese Ruby at under £20 again. Ever. It shouldn't happen. And I'm actually a little bit sceptical of whether Burmese ruby, we, we should even be doing it today. This isn't an error, is it, on uh, an admin error? Because when we launched it at Gemporia, it was all Burmese rubies were in gold. We didn't have any Burmese rubies in silver. We, it was solely for your 18 karat gold. Now we're saying something as, well, well, give me 20 quid and you can get this amazing parcel home. You can get a parcel, not just one stone. And they're not small. You know, look, look at this one here. Look at the size of that one there. That's surrounded with diamonds or maybe a couple of accent stones in an 18 karat. You can expect that in your luxury jewelers. Let's highlight everything that I've been saying with that price crash. Burmese ruby, under 20 pounds. But this is your first price crash. I was looking at you for your reaction. Yeah, I know. Stuck. They're not even Fisher filled. These are just a little bit of heat treatment which is only replicating what the sun does itself, encouraging those beautiful natural colours. If this was Fisher-filled, then yeah, 20 quid all day long. Uh, well, no, 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 stop it, L. Not 20 quid all day long. Not 20 quid all day long. But if they were Fisher-filled, then I'd have a little bit of comfort in the fact that they were going to that ridiculous low price tag. They're not Fisher-filled. They're just heat-treated. 95% of the world's rubies are heat-treated. You're not paying 19 99 today. Almost 100 of these have gone already. Collectors, connoisseurs, gem... You know, even if you're new to the gem world and you think, I, I, I just know that's a great price. Rubies are expensive, right? I might not know about Burma, Burmese rubies in particular, but I know rubies are expensive. 17 99 for three carats. When has this ever happened before? When has this ever, ever, ever happened before? I bought myself, I told you, I bought myself after Willow was born, my first, uh, my, my, my little, my, my eldest little girl, and her, she was born in July. So I treated myself to a ruby ring. It's not Burmese, I can assure you of that. I'm fairly sure it's Fisher Phil, just because, you know, uh, because of the, the colour of the rubies themselves. It cost me £750, and that's a second-hand piece of jewellery. I love it. I absolutely love it. Hence, what I could probably get it cheaper on our sister channel. However, I love the piece, so I treated myself, and it was a special occasion, obviously. I'm bringing you a, a significantly larger ruby carat weight from the pinnacle location, and it's not even £19.99. It's not even £17.99. I'm just, I mean, I'm looking at that and all the, um, you know, all the tube setting you could do that, you know, like the lovely um, work that Debbie did, you know, with the, 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 the casting that, you know, that would be wonderful. But, you know, just in the lockets that you, you could pop them in there, couldn't you, inserting them into the pearls? I, do, I, just, I don't understand that. I don't. This understand. is why I asked the question, are we sure this is right? Is it, though? Is it, I, as I reckon, no, I, 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 Wayne's good. He ain't that good, though. I'm sorry, Wayne, wait, not even Wayne can buy three carats of Burmese ruby for $16.99. <laughs> I, I, no disrespect, Wayne, but how? 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 Try and find a Burmese ruby anywhere else. 
anywhere else for a double figure price tag or even a triple figure price tag. I, re I genuinely think you'll struggle. It's the pinnacle known as the priciest gemstone. Pigeon blood rubies known for their deep natural red fluorescent with blue hues command higher prices per carat than any other precious stone on the global market. We're not stopping at 1699. I have 300 available opportunities. It speaks volumes, Claire. When I look at the call screen, mm -hmm. and pretty much every single person has checked out. Yeah. Every yeah. single person. Uh, hello, Rachel. These are so beautiful. Thank you so much for an unbelievable price. Can't wait for mine to arrive. Do you know what, Rachel? I can't wait for you to see them because they so are. Our lovely Rachel. Yeah, she. I thought that as well. She's yeah, down Cornwall. in Cornwall. Yeah. Avon. I've purchased these rubies to put away for my third, uh, third, year, three-year-old. Sorry, granddaughter. Uh, she is getting a good collection building up now. Thank you, jewelry maker. Nice. How amazing that you can do that, though. How amazing that you can gift a parcel of Burmese ruby. Um, make sure she knows they're Burmese ruby. It's fairly obvious when you see them. The colour is exemplary. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how. I genuinely don't know how. The reality is maybe one of the teeny ones for fourteen ninety nine. Maybe elsewhere. I went to Tucson. I saw Burmese ruby that have had just a little bit of heat treatment like your amazing parcel. And I saw the prices that normally had the armed guards either side, you know, surrounding those, those booths. I saw the prices that Burmese rubies fetch at trade. Have we heard from Wayne? I'm slightly nervous. <laughs> Another ruby parcel for my stepdaughter. Oh. Amazing. Uh, do you know what? I think we'd be foolish not to, wouldn't we? If you've got, if you can spare fourteen pounds ninety nine, I think this is my head anyway. I'm foolish not to get that. I would be daft. I've got no clue how I'm going to use this parcel as of yet. Even if I put them in one of those lockets for the time being, it's my eldest daughter's birthstone. I love rubies. Who doesn't? Mm. Let's be honest. Why wouldn't I get involved for fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence? You know what? That's 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 a meal for one somewhere, isn't it? I can get a parcel, three carat parcel of Burmese ruby. It gets no better than that. That's the thing. It's it's incredible. We had 300 opportunities. The core screens have gone nuts. We promised them under 20. We have more than delivered Definitely, that. Yeah. We are under 15 pounds. And says Ross. Ross, are you sure? Half the stock has gone. We had 325 of these. Oh my goodness. At this, pri at this price point, Ross, I'm thinking about large Baroque pearls. Can you setting, imagine setting multiples. multiple? Yes, yeah. In a room. Oh. Can you imagine that, Claire? To almost the point, you'd, have, you'd see more ruby than pearl. You'd yeah. Really, really close to 100%. 100%. We're going to go lower, beautiful. Claire. Oh, lovely. Yeah, imagine these set into the centre of a, a type A jade haigu. Mm, yeah. I never yeah. in a million years would have imagined that I would say that about Burmese Ruby. And I launched Burmese Ruby on what was our USA channel. They were all set in gold, no silver, and they were all triple figures prices. That's incredible, by the way. This shouldn't be happening. There is another price crash coming. I don't know where Ross is going to. I don't feel comfortable doing it, but let's go. Let's, you know, for, like I said, just one of the little melee sizes, the smaller little ones down here. One of those at fourteen ninety nine is incredible. But with that, with that colour, um, you know, you put one of those. So, so the tiniest one, and you tube set that in a stacker ring. You would, you'd get impact, wouldn't you? You would get impact from that one. 
even the smallest stones. Yeah, because it, it's it's they color. are Burmese. Because yeah. the quality, the fluorescence, yeah. the glow, the, that bluish hue. You know, you, if you put a Burmese ruby alongside, and it does, look, a country of origin shouldn't be the only reason why we buy, we buy gemstones. You need them still to be good quality from, from Burma in this case. You know, but you can tell the difference between a Burmese ruby and, say, an Indian ruby. You can tell the difference between a Burmese ruby and a Thai ruby. The only location I would say would, would be a bit more challenging would be Monteperez. Uh, you know, their ruby, they've got similar traits about them. And even that, you wouldn't get Monteperez ruby at 14 99 You wouldn't. Is it, it's not just me, is it? Is everybody else? How do you feel about this? I, I, odd, because it's, like a, it's not a, it doesn't make sense at all, does no. it? And I can see so many people there. It's like a... Oh, well, thank goodness you are running for the so hills It's lovely that people are going to get oh. to see it, but I can't think when I've ever seen it on a show or I, I just feel like well, it's we not... we haven't. We haven't seen it on a show for anywhere near this price tag. Adam, do you remember Burmese Ruby at Gemporia? I'm going to extend that question. Do you remember it at 12 99 No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Paul, Roscoe, never. Should it happen right now? Do you know what? Make the most of it, though. Like I said earlier on, I think I'd be foolish not to, uh, not to get involved on in this opportunity because it's not going to be... Uh, uh, the supply is cut off. Imagine that. Line in the sand. Cut off. Um, even when, uh, you know, it was fully operational and running smoothly, you know, even then, you wouldn't get this quality out of the ground. Mm. Um, have bought these just to put away, along with tourmaline, topaz and others. Thank you so much. That's from Karen in Blackpool. Absolutely, Karen. This is what you're sort so of saying, what we've, we're, we're both mm. thinking, Claire and I. Even if I don't know what I'm going to do with and them. And what a gorgeous... Gorgeous collection that would be, but I'm just looking at names as well. And I saw Dahlia on there, and I, you know, I've worked with Dahlia on tube setting, and she wears a beautiful ring that she's she's made. Absolutely, Dahlia, you could you could do tube setting with these. You're going to get different different shapes, different sizes, but you know, look like there are quite a few rounds in there. Be stunning. Unbelievable. It's it's an absolutely unbelievable opportunity. I'm even going to put this one out there. Probably one of the best deals we've ever done in 12 years would we all agree with that probably one of the best deals we have ever 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 done in 12 years oh, of wow. broadcasting because look imagine this now <gasps> you tell me that 12.99 is not i mean oh seriously my gosh, look at that look at the quality of the ruby and that's not fisher filled it's not fisher filled it is just heat treated. It might, just to see it alongside the diamonds, because that's what I would expect. Of, and the of, gold as well. Yeah. Twelve ninety nine today. Unbelievable. Make sure you check out. How many have we got? Stock update. Um, okay, we're in double figures. Three hundred twenty five. We're down to the final. 73, there we go. And I can see you there on the phone. Answer. I will keep you updated. Shall I put them away for you? <coughs> yes, Claire. How amazing is that? <gasps> yes, let's do the mandarin garnet because these are beautiful. It, I can't help but think about Harry Winston when I see parcels like this. Harry Winston, it's, I think quite a familiar name to us all. Um, Harry Winston um, produced, offers some of the best quality diamonds um, in the world, but really uh, um, of late has been really going behind, getting behind the coloured gemstones as well. Um, and there's one piece of jewellery, I think we've got a PowerPoint, a picture of it somewhere, but it's, um, it's, to, it's mandarin garnet as the, as the central stone, and then it's haloed with the most beautiful turquoise. And as you can imagine, I couldn't even guess, but it's, it's incredibly considered. Mandarin garnet, also known as specitite garnet, has got, this is all natural colour. It's one of my all-time favourites. Oh. Um, has got one of the highest of refraction indexes as well in the gemstone world. So what that means is, I mean, they see this dance of light. If I just rock it backwards and forwards, you can Jeez, see. Oh, amazing. Um, yeah, it's all Mother Nature, all Mother Nature. Um, their mining locations are often very closely guarded secrets, and that's because so little 
of it is available um, or, or comes out of the ground itself. If it was to become advertised, I suppose, then it would literally be bombarded with gem uh, prospectors and then mined out probably even overnight. So it's very, 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 very scarce, astonishingly beautiful in natural light. Um, but yeah, I know Harry Winston works with Mandarin Garnet and literally frames it with the uh, Sleeping Beauty turquoise cabochons. Oh. You might well have seen that piece before. It's absolutely remarkable. Um, but the reason why I'm talking about it is these are, again, reminiscent of the quality of, the, uh, of, uh, of that piece, that design. Loving these. Absolutely loving these. A parcel of natural mandarin garnet. And they're huge. Look at that one there. I really like that one. We're opening at 19.99. It's the warmth, isn't it? I love mandarin garnet. Mm. Or specitite. Just beautiful, isn't it? And I'm going to... Mm, do I say this? I think it puts Papadaccia to shame. I love paparazzi, don't get me wrong, but I just think if you're looking, if you love orangey colours, that kind of sunset-like colour, mandarin garnet all the way. Just because it's so intense. You know how Paul said about putting it with the jade? That would look very nice in there, wouldn't it? That Because you've got the coolness what, of the jade. What, in your samsara? Yes, yeah, and then the warmth of that, of that garnet. That's a lovely idea. Yeah, yeah. That's a lovely, lovely that idea. That would look nice. Yeah. Yeah. And likewise with the techniques mm. that you showed Claire today. Yeah, yeah, in your pearls. In your yeah. pearls, you could have this wonderful glowing sunset natural orange. At 1999 for a full parcel of natural mandarin garnet. I'm gonna match the parcel of rubies. And we're still not done. Again, people know rubies, don't they? They know it's like it's like emeralds, rubies, sapphires, diamonds. People know tanzanite, they know these. Mandarin garnet is not as widely recognized. It's rarer than all the formerly mentioned, um, significantly rarer. And when you see it, especially, you know, uh, um, at first, uh, for, you know, up close and personal, or even better in natural light, I guarantee it's gonna be love at first sight. I guarantee it. How many do we have, Ross? We've got 400 of these. Really? That's a massive quantity. And we want to introduce Mandarin Garnet to you all. So price pledge. How about a parcel of Mandarin Garnet under £10? Five carats off. Take a little look at the Harry Winston piece that I was just describing. They glow. They've got that wonderful... It's... It, 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 it's they t use the terminology Fanta. They describe it as Fanta orange it is, isn't it? in the yeah, gemstone yeah. world. It's that beautiful, vibrant, glistening, natural, vibrant orange. You can't, there's no other gemstone that brings you that orange in my eyes. I'm price promising this under £10 for you today. I tell you, if it's good enough for Harry Winston, it's definitely good enough for me especially with the spring and summer months around the corner. Can you imagine wearing this? And, and, and it's the contrast as well, isn't it? In that Harry Winston piece, I would definitely, definitely, definitely do that. Put it with, put it with the, um, the jade so you've got that contrast. Oh, beautiful. In the cold, wonderful. Stunning, imagine this with the ruby. Yes. What about yeah. the two together? Yeah, if you've got those little uh, melee shakers, beautiful, those lovely lockets. I was going to say maybe for one, but no, not even for one. Look at the size on them. That one's, I, I love them all. Mm. I can't, I can't describe, uh, decide on a favourite, but Mandarin Garnet, the rarity of Mandarin Garnet, often referred to as the African secret, this gemstone, literally, its locality is hidden from the gem world. <coughs> because if the mining location was revealed, prospectors would literally, it would be completely saturated overnight. That's how few mandarin garnets are actually on earth. And you're getting a full parcel. So wait, you can get five carats of mandarin garnet, three carats of Burmese ruby for less than 20 pounds today. Can you imagine your design of having a pearl that's is that right? encrusted in them. And you mix the two, your rubies. 23. And then your garnets. And so you have that, that the oh. lovely coolness of the, of the pearl and then the, all, all of the gemstones in the 
How amazing that is, is that? Yeah, 23 beautiful. pounds you can get both of those parcels today. Really? We're not even going to stop there, yeah, says Ross. Colour. Colour's remarkable. If you're looking for beauty, uh, definitely Mandarin Garnet, is, it, I think, is up there because it just, it, it's breathtaking. It's exciting. I'm going to bring, hang on a sec. Oh, look at that. I'm just grabbing one. And I'm going to show you this. Oh, it's stunning. It's stunningly beautiful. And that's just one of the of, of your parcel. Oh, we're going to go even lower. In 60 seconds, we've got 400 of these available. Again, same statement. If you don't know what you're going to do with this parcel, I don't think it really matters. Because Mandarin Garnet it's so rare. It's a few different locations around the world, much like your rubies, but they are all incredibly, incredibly limited. Um, 9.99 is just utter madness. Absolute madness. Certified completely natural. Maybe this one. No, no, stop it, Al. Stop it. You're trying. You're trying. I'm trying to make sense of something that doesn't make sense. There's 400 of these opportunities. Neither the ruby or the garnet, neither makes sense. No. Yeah, like I said, even if you don't know what you're going to do with them, as no, absolutely. This is, this is something you can put away and you've got the most unbelievable parcel. Collecting it, I don't know, like Eda yeah, Oberstein. Like, yeah, like Karen said with her. her yeah. Putting it in her collection. Yeah, for future generations. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, Gail. Oh. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Ross, yeah? Yeah, you do. I forgot. We always forget because we don't run the website. Well done, Gail. Well done, Gail. Eagle-eyed Gail. <laughs> well done, lovely. So wait, that means this is what? 80 pence off, £7.20. How amazing is that? Not just for this one, by the way. Not just for this one. That's for the whole parcel that I have just here. Oh, look. <gasps> oh, my goodness me. Uh, mm. It doesn't get any better than no. this. It generally doesn't get any better than this. Could easily be mistaken for Paparazzi, says Margot. Totally, mm. totally, totally agree. I'm just going to hang on a sec. The quality of these stones, this parcel, I don't know how we've done this. I really don't. I mean, you've got to remember we've got gem hunters that literally uh, will, will, will travel um, the world sourcing some of the best quality deals. Gem traders love to work with, with Gempori because we literally will buy a massive quantity of as well. They've got the purse strings. Um, you know, and I know a team are heading off to Tucson um, in a couple of weeks. $7.99, though, is ridiculous. Actually ridiculous. Make sure you check out your baskets, everybody. I'll be joining you on that one because, like I said, I'd be, I'd be, I, I'd be foolish not mm. to, quite frankly. Um, okay, let's do the only strand of yellow jadeite that we have in the building. That's lovely. It's like a really beautiful, um, like a, a mustard yellow, like an okra. Honey, perfect description, of course. Totally natural and certified as such, so type A grade. First one's gone straight away. Second one's gone straight away. Jewel is immediately getting involved. Well done, congratulations. So 800 is your free, uh, free phone telephone number to speak to our call center, or you can shop with us on the web. Um, but take a little look at this. Now, sweet yellow is the highest in jades. Suet light jade, the white mutton fat jade, the second yellow jade is difficult to get, while white jade can be seen from time to time. That is why white jade is treasured more than yellow jade because of the former scarcity. 
literatus uh, from literatus. I can't say that literatus from Ming played jade appreciated yellow jade the most precious to the uh, Qing dynasty. Yellow was only monopolized by the royals. The respect by the royals about yellow jade pushed its status uh, to a peak in history. Now, um, yeah, it, 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 underst understand the broken English as well, because that is actually from um, taken from an article. Obviously, we've translated it. So there is the difference there. But yeah, beautiful yellow jade, which we rarely ever seen. Uh, we rarely ever see. We've only ever launched a handful of different strands before. Take a little look at this ring. Um, and there's only, if you oh, want to that. find it elsewhere, it's difficult to get hold of. So icy translucent honey yellow jade in a cabochon. So you imagine you've got a full strand here. Um, is designing into a jade ring. The ring jade, again, this is that, it's that translation. Uh, set in 18 karat yellow gold or diamonds. Um, type A grade quality. Location's exactly the same. They do do free delivery, though. How much is this beautiful ring? Well, we did WhatsApp to find out. Um, and it's 3,800 US dollars. Um, I mean, so it, it, it's a great price, to be honest. For, 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 it is very reasonable for a, for a type A grade natural yellow jadeite ring, plus the gold and the diamonds, it's a great price point. Well, you'll get an entire strand of honey jade, again, certified completely natural. We have found a couple of other pieces, haven't we, Ross? We found a bracelet. There it is. We're, we're a bit dubious on the fact that it's saying natural grade. Uh, it doesn't look that natural just because, do you see those, the fracture points in the stone, the colours? I'm a little bit dubious. Anyway, let's, let's give it the benefit of the doubt. And also there's imperial jade in that strand, in that, in that bracelet. So I would question the 799 US dollars myself. High-end jade, customised. It says natural, but $799 all the same. How about this? Now we know this is this is genuine. Obviously, it's um, off an auction site. Yellow jadeite bangle. It's sold for twelve and a half thousand US dollars back in two thousand and seventeen. That's pre the astronomical price increase of jadeite over the last year or so. This is the only yellow jadeite strand that we have in the entire business. They have all sold out. Jeweler's already getting involved in this opportunity. How many do we have then, Ross? 30 left. Okay. It's so beautiful, honey jade. The color is just... You don't see yet natural yellow gemstones no. very often no, anyway, you do you? No. You know, if you think about most of your citrine will be treated, mm -hmm. I suppose. There's not that many natural yellow stones. So to be offering it straight away at £499 is remarkable, considering you can make that bracelet twice over. Twice over. Plus it's on split payment. We are not stopping there. I mean, it's, not just a, it's not just a whisper of yellow. No. It is most definite, yes. vibrant yellow. Yeah. Crazy. It's a crazy, crazy deal. And it deal. has the, the same effect, doesn't it? It must, it must be a, the, the effect that yellow has of, you know, lifting your spirits like sunshine, like, your sit, you know, if you look at your citrine. Lovely with your outfit. It's, it's like, yeah. Yes, thank you. Yeah, that'd be nice. I'd be using this with some of the pills that we've had today. Yes. I'd be using it with some of the, yeah. uh, um, I don't know, your nephrite jades, maybe, um, or your... Uh, it's like a contrast. In, in the same way, maybe with the, um, you know, with the garnet and the, and the turquoise, maybe look for something... Um, Oh, really beautiful comes. or maybe work it with your you know if you've got some of the um the lavender jade that might be lovely nice as well. yeah really Put lovely oh my goodness me make sure you do check out those baskets everybody straight after the break we are going to be bringing you a selection of beautiful white jade um i love the samsara mm. carving it's it's absolutely amazing isn't it literally carved from hand and pure white the two colors literally mentioned in that article um, we have had it on pre-order oh, okay and almost 20 percent of the stock has already gone um this samsara piece that i'm actually holding is an unbelievable unbelievable deal 
Um, and it's white, so it should actually command a much higher price tag in actual fact. So plus the intricacy. Last remaining quantity. So Dave at the um, was on air. He launched it, and it had been a he'd been off for about a week or so. And this was his comeback auction. That's right, because he was poorly, wasn't he, over Christmas? And he said, as a bit of an apology and I've and, and, and a miss you price. Dave took this really, really low. We have permission to match that as well. So if you missed out on that opportunity, um, it's on pre-order right now, so you can guarantee yours as well. Um, Wayne was quite reluctant, apparently, um, to uh, uh, to let us play it again <laughs> because because Dave took it so low. I'm not surprised. Look at that amazing intricacy. You, uh, and you know, Willow had a spirograph for Christmas. She hasn't stopped playing with it. Yeah, um, literally sits there making these spirograph graph little gift tags and things like that imagine carving that out of a genuine gemstone oh. it's mind-blowing isn't it quarter of the stock has gone i've got this and i've got some more pure white type a jadeite coming up as well it's oh, this is it that's all the white jadeite that we have in the building that's it so you can see one two three four five strands and the samsara that's all we have in the building. It's available on pre-order right now. Don't forget, you've still got an amazing masterclass to bring you. We've also got a brand new selection of beautiful Morganite. And we've got Claire McDonald. What more could we possibly want on, a, on I almost said Friday, on a Monday morning. Um, don't go anywhere, lovely jewelry makers. We'll be back after this. Did you know that when you purchase with Jewelry Maker, you have a 30 day money back guarantee? Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Want to know what's going on in the next show? then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me uh, this Wednesday. We're going to be bringing the launch of uh, the Caribbean Incredible Amber. This is a gemstone that has captivated the industry. Uh, you know, thought previously only gem quality amber kind of came uh, from the, you know, the, the, the Poland uh, Baltic regions, but this material has been making waves and for very good reason. It is the collector's choice for amber. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then straight after, we're going to be bringing you Bursa Natural lavender jadeite, uh, material that was thought to never exist outside of Myanmar. This material isn't just those pastel shades, it's incredible deep uh, saturation with its own incredible deep history and I can't wait to share this epic jadeite with you all. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those New Year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. Buying with Jewelry Maker couldn't be easier. Here's a quick overview of how to get involved. When you see a product you like and you want to purchase, you will see the graphics appear on the screen. You'll see the item code and a starting price. As time goes on, you'll see the price drop. 
And as viewers call in and customers add it to their baskets online, you'll also see the quantity decrease too. No matter at what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's only one PMP charge on everything you purchase throughout the day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk whether you're purchasing for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a mega sale on our website right now. There is up to 70% off items with over a thousand items available on all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So pop along, take a look and start shopping. Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. If you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Jewelry Makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. You are neither of those things, by the way, Claire. <laughs> I know, sorry. The, uh, we're uh, Dan was talking about, he did, he did an amazing run on did the weekend. He did a brilliant run, yeah. So what, yeah. Was it, what was it called? Park Run? Park Run, yeah. Uh, One of the, the they do them all around the country. I think I'm banging on about this now. So good. <laughs> as, as Adam, have you heard this story a few times? Have you? No. Well, Claire was talking about running. Um, and Dad said he's done, he did 5k in what, 23 minutes? Fair play, so Dad. Good. Fair play. Round of applause for you. I'd probably be lucky to do it in 23 hours. <laughs> oh. There, but. Um, awesome. Absolutely awesome. <laughs> okay. Oh my goodness, type A Burmese jadeites. Remember the words of Richard Wise, still to this day considered really a pinnacle figure when it comes to uh, all of your gemstones. And he said, in modern connoisseurship, and I know we've read this countless times, but it is so important, a jadeite jade cabochon of a pure white hue with a fine texture, a moderate translucency, it would be the finest of its type. Those are words literally taken out of the amazing book that is Secrets of the Gem Trade. You can get hold of that book. It is available. You can get literally the hard cop hardback co uh, copy. You can get the soft copy as well, which aren't actually that expensive. It is invaluable. And when I know that when myself and, and, and colleagues did our GIA accreditations, we all were gifted this book. Um, and I remember Steve saying, literally, read it cover to cover. Because Richard Wise is really the person that you look for for any knowledge, if you like, in any gemstone world. So modern connoisseurship, a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture, a moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. And I don't hesitate in saying that every single one of these type A natural white jadeites are precisely what Richard Wise has described. You know, the gemstone world is an interesting one and Gemporia are a unique company as well. You know, when I was reading an article uh, last night, actually, it was talking about how the pandemic, it affected gemstones, obviously, certainly pearls massively, but it affected gemstones in the fact that mining stopped, obviously. We couldn't get to the mines and even cutting houses obviously stopped because we couldn't get there because of obviously lockdowns and things like that. But obviously people were still trying to sustain their livelihood. So Gemporia uh, and ultimately we hugely benefited um, from if you were to find a positive, if you like, in that, in, that, in that pandemic, in the fact that we got hold of this one parcel. And that's because 
obviously the gem trade shows didn't run. Um, so our suppliers that we have had a wonderful relationship for, for many, many years, all of a sudden had this bulk, if you like, of, of their livelihood that was waiting to be sold at Hong Kong, um, that they couldn't sell at Hong Kong because everywhere was in lockdown. It was a global lockdown, wasn't it? Um, so they got in touch with us, the likes of Sally Hewer, the likes of Bernard. These are quite familiar names to our regular viewers and said, look, we have this parcel. Would you like to buy it? Obviously, we did. However, our parcel is coming to the end. This is literally the end of our type A natural white Burmese jadeite. And for us to say, get in touch with the incredible Sally Hewer and say, Sally, you know, can we get some more? Her response is, well, I'll read her words. The situation here is very bad if you are a buyer and very good if you are a seller. What she is referencing there is type A jadeite, whether it be white, green, yellow that we've just seen, lavender, whichever it is, it just is not available anymore. So if you're, buy, you know, if you're buying it, then you're going to have to dig very, very, very deep if you're lucky enough to see it. If you're selling it, then pretty much you can command whatever price tag you want. Well, we do have it to bring to you, but we're not going to be impacted. We're not going to be affected by the rest of the, pri uh, of the market, you know, the current situation of jadeite. We are going to honour the prices that we bought it for. The jade mines are closed, says Sally Hewer. There is no jadeite mining as of uh, last month. That's actually a few months ago now. There is nothing in the market here in China. Even my team are almost exclusively working with type B and the prices are more than previous type A. Type, B, uh, type A being natural, type B being uh, polymer impregnated. I am not selling any type A from my inventory because the prices are sky high. All vendors now are holding back material. So that's the thing, you know, when Sally Hewer, her livelihood has literally been jade. Now she is half, having to work, look towards your, your sort of your, your polymer, your type B and your type C. So, and you could actually see there was a video of her um, that she sent back to us here at Jewelry Maker. And you could see just, just genuine anguish um, on her face, you know, the fact that, look, yeah, I can't get hold of this. No, I'm not selling it to you. I'm holding it back because of the prices. So, what should we should we maybe take note and uh, and be impacted by what happens around us? Quite possibly. Are we going to no? Because again, that goes um, against the whole ethos of Gemporia as a partnership itself. Know that you are not sourcing Type B. Moving forward, we'll have to bring you Type B. We will. We'll have to. Maybe even Type C, which has died. Um, and that's okay as long as we say that to you and you know what you are buying. This is not type B, this is not type C, this is type A, completely natural. And furthermore, it's the words that Richard Wise just said a few moments ago. You know, um, when looking at a modern connoisseur, uh, connoisseurship, um, when examining, there we go, a jadeite jade cabochon of pure white hue with a fine texture and moderate translucency would be the finest of its type. I will demonstrate what translucency is all about in a few moments. But our, uh, our inventory, so Sally Hewer spoke about her inventory and how her, her uh, um, team are having to work with type B. Our inventory of pure type A white jadeite with that moderate translucency, the only white jadeite that we have is that. I am going to start with the one carving that we have. The one carving that we have. And we are going to bring it to you for that amazing price point. Hey, listen, Dave did it. We are going to match that price point that Dave brought to air. That is one solid piece of type A jade carved carved out of a material that is literally harder than steel. Allow me to show you the translucency while I read these words to you. Not my words, Richard Wise's words. In modern connoisseurship, 
a jadeite jade cabochon, in this case master carving, of pure white hue with a fine texture. And he doesn't even say the best translucency. He talks about moderate translucency. Would be the finest of its type. The final few opportunities. Look at that quality. The samsara. You know, I've been watching Willow literally doing spirograph drawings at home because mm. she had one from Santa. Um, but imagine now carving it literally out of um, out of one incredible, incredible stone. This is the, uh, the, the original samsara that we brought you was slightly larger. It's sold out. It's one of the most fascinating carvings. Fascinating carvings. Oh my goodness me! And we will. I don't know what Dave brought this to. Yeah, I don't know what Dave brought this to air for as his supposed apology. Apologise him from being poorly. Bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. He opened the show. Opened the show with this very piece. We've brought you some absolutely beautiful calibrated stones, the likes of Burmese ruby. We've brought you mandarin garnet. We've brought you. Oh, and we do parcels before, haven't we? Lovely tourmaline. Can you imagine one of those set into the centre, Claire? Mm. Be stunning, wouldn't it? I am ready, and I haven't got a clue what you're doing, Russ. How many have we got? Only 30. Okay. Don't be complacent now. I can't... I, 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 how? Just look. Just look. I'll, for type A white jade, all the words that Richard Wise has just said, that pure white hue, remember, hand-carved... You know, this is not reconstituted. This is literally hand carved. Can you imagine creating those folds? Three di a three dimensional. Three dimensional yeah. piece of yeah. a piece. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if, if it was flat, stone. as flat, it would be incredible, wouldn't it? To do one, but the fact you've got all of those and they're, and they're double, aren't they? In each. Yeah. In in each loop, and that it's got all those curves as well. Unbelievable! It's absolutely unbelievable. I probably couldn't draw the samsara de uh, unless I had what Willow's got, mm. the spirograph. Yeah. That wasn't the price, though, apparently. Ross is saying, this is what I would do. Yeah, I get that. I get that, Ross. It's £49.66 on split payments. I do want to see the amazing deal that Dave brought this to. His little apology, bless him, for being ill. Can't help it, can he? Can't help being poorly. But thank you very much, Dave. The last 30, of, oh, wow. The last 30 available chances, 79 pounds for pure white jade. The most expensive color of jade, which was reserved literally to uh, um, the empires of ancient China. You know, pure natural white jadeite was only for uh, so the emperors of China hundreds and hundreds of years and years ago here we are bringing it to you at money that you can get out of a cash machine it just shouldn't happen and again that's me stealing dave's words he actually says it should it shouldn't be possible for money that you can literally get out of a cash machine this should be wired transferred um for for, for thousands of pounds take a look at the carvings that we've seen on likes of sotheby's and uh, uh and bonhams christie's here we go. Superb carb javing. Uh, sorry, start again. Superb jade carving from an important European collection. Doesn't say who, doesn't say where. Um, in September 2011. Is that 8 million? Sales total, including buyers premium, 8 million. OK, OK. So that's a couple of different lots. Look at this one, an unusual white jade phoenix uh, form water pot and cover, US dollars, 116,000. The one next to it, you can see, 68,500 US dollars. Um, the one next to it, 37,500 US dollars for the Pixu. You know, this is an astronomically expensive um, stone. Look at, though, never mind the carving, which is beautiful, of course. Look at the colour of the white jadeite. Look at the texture and the translucency of the white jadeite. Now look at the one that I've got here on my hand. 
would you agree it is entirely reminiscent in terms of that quality you can get it home for 26 pounds and 33 pence um it's the final 30 tracy malik melanie jan new customers caroline well done it is getting limited okay i need to move on just because we've got a lot to bring you as well now i'm going to do the 10 millimeter size and then we'll do the 12 just after 10 millimetres is a nine centimetre strand. Look at 19, yeah. Look at that colour. There's no murkiness. There's, it's not an off-white. There's no veins of, say, grey or brown running through these type A jadeites. It's pure white, isn't it, as Richard Wise says. A pure white hue. These are very limited in their quantity. Sorry, Ross, what did you say? Less than 20 of each of the strands, thank you. Certificate is worthwhile when it comes to something like this. It, it'll say those magic words, not enhanced. It will say type A. It'll say pure white jadeite. We laboratory test all of our, all of our gemstones. <clears throat> so be mindful if you're looking at jadeite elsewhere. There is much imitation stones out there. Um, or it can be dyed and told, sold as natural. This is natural type A jade. At 199 pounds, 10 millimeters in their size, it's pure white hues, isn't it? That natural purity, almost linen bright. And again, when you just use a little light source, you can see the quality of the translucency um, that Richard Wise discussed. Hang on. There you are. Oh, look at that. Look at that unbelievable translucency i'm going to move on to the next it's a 12 millimeter strand now you would assume given the fact that this is um natural they are that size 12 millimeters is incredibly rare to get in jadeite because remember it's cut in slabs and those slabs usually are n shallower than 12 millimeters Look but yet that. you have an entire strand of it Look at that colour. Wow. Uh, less than 20 available. It's a bigger carat weight. I don't know how this is possible, but we're going to match the price of the previous auction. Look at that. Oh. £199. Look at the quality. That is stunning, isn't it? Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Again, with the with the pearls that we had earlier on, I mean, it'd yes. be an amazing combination. Yeah, and one of them at that size. Pure white colour, sixty-six pounds and thirty-three pence on split payments. I can't believe we're doing this. To be honest, I, I absolutely cannot believe we're doing this. There's twenty available opportunities. Um, well, my husband's shopping. I think if he's shopping, then so should I. I think it's. I, I'm going to absolutely, absolutely take advantage yeah. of this opportunity for twelve millimeter size. One hundred and forty-nine pounds. There is no rhyme or reason. There is no logic to take a larger size, a bigger carrot weight, a longer strand to a lower price point. But that's what we're doing. Uh, Suja, well done to you, Patricia Maker. I can see you there. Jewelers getting involved. There are seventeen chances. Fifty pounds lower than the previous auction. Look at the carrot weight. Even if you were to use these individually, Claire. I see. That's. I, I loved it when you held it to the neckline. It's yeah. a statement piece, isn't it? But then, yeah, at that size, you could. That that's your focal gemstone, and you could work with 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 you know maybe just that on a chain. Beautiful. So so so, so beautiful. Yeah. Forty nine pounds and sixty six pence on split payments. Mm. Just unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Well done, everybody. Do make sure you check out those baskets. Um, limited, and this is it. So what, one, two, three, four, five, six 
type A natural white jadeite. Um, that's all we have within our inventory. That's it. Once they're gone, they're gone. You've just heard from Sally Hewer saying that I can't replace it. We're literally not selling anything. Let me leave that quantity with you. Forgive me. I just need to dive to a very quick break, but I will be back in a few moments' time. Use this time wisely. Shop ahead and pre-order on the other type A white jadeite. Absolutely amazing. I'll be back after this. Jewelry makers, we have a mega sale on our website right now. There is up to 70% off items with over a thousand items available on all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. So pop along, take a look and start shopping. Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website Click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me uh, this Wednesday we're going to be bringing the launch of uh, the Caribbean Incredible Amber. This is a gemstone that has captivated the industry. Uh, you know, thought previously only gem quality amber kind of came uh, from the, you know, the, the, the Poland uh, Baltic regions, but this material has been making waves and for very good reason. It is the collector's choice for amber. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then straight after, we're going to be bringing you Bursa Natural. Lavender jadeite, a material that was thought to never exist outside of Myanmar. This material isn't just those pastel shades, it's incredible deep uh, saturation with its own incredible deep history. And I can't wait to share this epic jadeite with you all. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewelry maker, sewing street and hobby maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. she's back in the room hopefully now <laughs> hopefully you've used that time wisely and shopped ahead or made sure you check out on the previous strand can you believe we just did that 12 millimeters in a full it's lovely isn't over it? 500 yeah. carats if you've just tuned in 12 mil 525 carats of natural type a pure white jadeite for £149. There's six available, um, but lots of you with it in your basket, uh, and it's on split payment as well today. It makes no sense to be bringing you a larger carrot weight, rarer to get that size at a lower price point than the, than the previous, but that's exactly what we've just done. Well done. Um, I'm feeling, if you press your option one, you can get this. I'm feeling with like a black silk. I think it'd be really nice with like black Ooh, silk. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Contrast, yeah. What yeah, would you do, Claire? 
I do, I, I do like with red or like a bright green. I think that, that would be lovely, nice like an contrast. imperial yes, green. Yeah. That's a lovely yeah. idea. Um, any of you that have got any of the high-end pearls, again, it's, it's an absolutely welcome addition. Um, but this is it. This is our entire Type A Burmese Jade Eye in white. That's mm. our whole inventory. It, it literally has been brought to air right here, right now. Last remaining opportunities for you to get hold of these. You know, Sally Hure Bernard, they, they're literally not selling any of it at the moment because, well, they've said we can't get hold of it. It's fine if you're if you're if you're selling because you can name your price. We're, we're probably the exception to rule on that. Um, but if you're buying, it's not great because you need to have some very 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 deep pockets. Um, I literally have three more opportunities to bring you. They always sell faster the smaller sizes. When I say smaller. They're not tiny, awesome. though, are they? It's, it's, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Such a beautiful stone. Look at that. Seven millimetres in their size. Seven. Look how pure that is. It's linen white, isn't it? Totally pure in its colour. You know... Never mind the price, never mind the carving. Look at the look at the previous pieces that have been put up to auction, that pure white colour. You know, just look at the colour that you are getting and sourcing right now. You know, that confirms to me the level of quality that we offer here at Jewelry Maker and ultimately Gemporia. How many do we have? Less than 20, did you say? Of each and every single one of these strands, there's less than 20 within our vault. This is last chance saloon. You know, but let's not be complacent here. If you were literally shopping directly from your, boot, uh, your, your, your Bonhams or your Sotheby's or your Christie's, you would be looking at one single opportunity, not 20. 70 carats of pure linen, fresh, white, type A jadeite in a 7 mil strand. You know, just not that. I love that idea with like an imperial mm, green coloured silk. Yeah. 79.99. I feel this is like, do you remember that statement of what, what makes it good? And it's that you can't, it's just something, you know, it's inherent. You can't put your feet, you can't mm. verbalise it. You can't, um, it's just perfect. That's what these strands are like. It's like a, there was a description that we had in one um, presentation about it and it just, it just made it really clear, which I'm totally not now. But when you look at that, you just know it's perfect, don't you? It could be any better. Yeah. Yeah, if you were to critique it and try yes. and find something that you it's would improve. Something, yeah, you can't There's your nothing on it. If there is you absolutely know it's nothing. Yeah, 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 totally agree. But Claire, how amazing has today been? We've brought yes. Burmese Ruby. Yeah. And now we're bringing you Taipei Jadeite, one of the most mm. valuable, expensive gemstones in the world, and it's Taipei grade. Mm. Like, as it's not dyed, it's not polymer impregnated, or this is literally as it comes from the ground, and you can get it home for twenty six pounds and thirty three pence. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Sorry. Okay, now let's do the six mils. Oh, mm. there's less than 20. You've got to be quick on these. You need to be quick checking out your baskets. Less than 20 opportunities. And this is Last Chance Saloon. Once these have gone, um, never say never, of course, in the world of gemstones. But it is highly unlikely that we're going to be able to replace this quantity. That's ridiculous, 69.99. You know, uh, we, we, we bring you stones that are, are replaceable. So the likes of, you know... And I love this stone, malachite. We can get more malachite easily, easily. Mm, mm, we can do malachite yeah. for sixty nine ninety nine. We can bring you strands of tourmaline for sixty nine ninety nine. I can bring you diamonds, easily replaceable. But what isn't replaceable is pure white type A jadeite. West Midland, Susan and Brian, Brenda, Sharon, Annette, Christine. You do need to check them out. There's less than twenty available. Whether you team this alongside maybe your green jadeite, whether you choose it with your black. I love that monochrome combination. Mm. I think it's lovely. Now I've got one more strand, Claire. Six millimetres, but 36 centimetres. So if you wanted to do, you know, you'd be talking about like long line necklaces, hadn't, you know, I mean, can you imagine some of the larger pearls that we've had today as well and pop that in there? Oh, beautiful. Now the 19 centimetre strand, 40 carats, 
This is 90 carats and it's 36, so it's almost double. I don't know how, oh, okay, don't know why. But Ross, Ross, you the boss. All the white jade we have in the building is on your, has been on your screens. In one price crash, we're going to match the price of the previous auction, even though we've almost doubled the carat weight and almost doubled the length. I don't know how. I don't know why. How many is there? How many is there precisely? 22 in this. Richard, you've got yours, lovely. I did see your marriage proposal yesterday. That's funny. Um, uh, Sussex and Brian, I can see... Uh, Sussex? Susan and Brian, sorry. Susan and Brian in Sussex, well done to you. West Midlands, I can see you there as well. I, I don't understand how we're doing this. So, <laughs> yeah, you, we've almost doubled the carrot weight, almost doubled the length... And yet we're going to match the price of the previous auction Crazy. opportunity. Unbelievable. This is the last strand of your pure white type A. Burmese jadeite. Six mils being that desert island size that we always mm. refer to. There's 22 available opportunities. I'm all over this if there's any available. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? You know when you just don't quite believe it until you see it? There's been a few of those today. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> There's six figures on these pieces that we showed earlier on. Six figures. And I'm not sitting here telling you that this strand of, of six mil rounds is worth six figures or even five figures. I'm not doing that. It's worth a, worth a considerable amount, though, because it is type A Burmese pure white jadeite. It is, because it's irreplaceable. You've heard, never mind my words, or ultimately Gemporia's word, words, you know, listen to Sally Hewer, who has lived and breathed jadeite for the entirety of her life. These have closed, where did you say? Much, much, much higher in the past, purely because of the quantity, Ah, oh, you said purely because of the previous auction you thought it was going to match the price. I mean, look at that level of colour. It's pristine clean. There's no murkiness. It's not an off-white. It literally is pure, as Richard Wise describes. Uh, pure white hue with that fine texture, with just a moderate translucency. Tick, tick, tick. You've got it all. Mm. Straight down into your single-figure quantities. Christine, Rupal, Heather, Alice, well done. West Midland, Susan and Brian, Richard, Julie, Tracy, Christine, Heather, Julie, Sharon, Nuno. Um, I've got single-figure quantities. It's pointless leaving it in your basket because I only had 22. And you can bet your bottom dollar there'll be more than 22 people wanting to get hold of this as well. Um, yeah, just make sure you do check out to avoid disappointment. If you miss out, you can always wish list it, mm. which do, is worthwhile doing as well, because I've got called a few times when I've wish listed. Have you? Mm. Like, oh, hello. Would you like? Yes. Yeah. Yes, I do. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. Yes, yes, yes. 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 If I put it on the wish yes. list, I definitely do. Um, so many multi buyers on this as well. Yeah. Nuno's multi bought, Heather's multi bought, Alice's multi bought, Richard's multi bought. I don't blame you at all. Uh, I mean, we've closed this much higher than £69.99, as with the previous strands that we've just brought you as well. Um, oh, there's seven pieces then. I've been saying six. There's seven pieces of white jade. An opportunity for everybody to own white jade, says Ross. I didn't see it tucked under there. It's a little pea pod. It's hiding. Little beautiful pea pod. Coming up in a few... Oh, should we do it now? Oh, I love it. So symbolic. Um, the pea pod, yeah, it, it, it symbolises family. Whether that be immediate or extended, it symbolises your, you know, uh, um, your circle, your bubble, whether that be your friends or whether it be siblings, whichever way you want to look at it. Um... Look at the intricacy of this. Now, it is carved. Beautifully carved as well. Look at that amazing translucency. That's so lovely, isn't it? I love the little, mm. little peas. In their beautiful little furry pods, all perfect and yeah. nurtured and protected. And, you know, it's the, I hadn't noticed until I saw it. It's the back as well. I thought, you know, everything is carved beautifully, isn't it? Amazing, it's yeah. so nice. Yeah, there you go. Look at that attention to detail. 
It's, I mean, this is ice white mm, jade eye. Yeah. If I get hold of my phone um, just here, I can show you that amazing translucency. And I think because with the design, you've got the different um, layers, haven't you? A thickness, it really does, you know, sort of like the outer part. Look at that. Yeah. Look at that beautiful translucency. We're going to do this in two price crashes. How many do we have? 49 of these. Um, again, they are drilled. You've even got the detail of the little little peapod hats. You know, they have those sort of tendrils that you were creating mm, the other day. Yes, lovely yeah. sterling silver wire. First price crash under £20. You've got ice jadeite here. And the reason why I say that is because, if you, particularly if you look at the pod itself, where you have that... Uh, um, shallower uh sort of shallower uh thickness you know if i was to put text behind that if i was to put sort of some a newspaper or some form of literate literature you would be able to read it mm. you'd be able to read it the quality of these and in 31 seconds we're going even lower i had less than 50 available opportunities pure white type a burmese jade eye hand carved you know modern connoisseurship remember a Burmese jadeite should be considered, a white Burmese jadeite should be considered the finest of its type. That's the sentiment as well, isn't it? I love this. Me too. I love that too. It's just sweet, isn't it? Like your family, you just want to protect Yeah, it's me and the girls. Yeah, Lovely. it is. Mm. Perfect. I bet you didn't see that though. Bet you didn't see 14.99, did you, for so a Type good. A Burmese natural pure white jadeite? Carving. Carving for 14.99. Yeah. Bet you didn't see that one coming, did you, Claire? Crazy. It's madness. Yeah. Absolute madness. Yeah, literally just pop that onto a little bale, suspend it from a sterling silver chain. Away you go. Yeah. Away you go. We had 49 mm. opportunities, so many multi-bias. In fact... All bar one person is multi-bought. And that's absolutely fine, by the way. Don't think I'm uh, sort of calling you out here. Um, I'm, definite, I'm definitely, definitely not. You know, you could literally just put that onto a sterling silver chain and you've got a piece of jewellery that would command significantly higher price points than 14 dollars uh, Why don't you, Jeannie, June, Alice, Suzanne, Janice, Richard, Julie, Anne-Marie, uh, Dagmar, Maker, Maker, London, hello to you, Susan and Brian in Sussex, Bernadette, I can see you, th see you there as well, uh, Mu Yin, hello to you, Pearl in Suffolk, congratulations. Make sure you check out, we only had 49 and like I said, there's a lot of multi-buyers getting involved right now. In fact, it could be a sellout um, in a few moments' time. Well done, everybody. Well done, well done. Now, I've got a complete... It's been on air once. I love this piece. Um, they are your... I'm going to do this, and then we're going to dive into your lovely Morganites. These are your koi carps. I assume they're koi carp. A fish. It says fish. Fish. Um... Which, I mean, koi carps are... I saw them... I was watching a video the other day of them actually being moved from one tank to another tank and how they actually do it. You know, they literally get in the waters because mm. they're so uh, um, highly prized, yeah, aren't they? they? Prized, Astonishingly yeah. expensive, mm. um, of course. Beautiful creatures. Aren't they? they are, but... Oh, I like this. It's amazing, isn't it? You've got the two fish, and they'll obviously be Chinese, meaning to the duo of fish but even beyond that do you notice there how they're holding the pearl oh yes they've actually got the pearl between their mouths just there it is double carved so you've got that beautiful almost like a an embrace haven't you uh and then the pearl itself between again if you were to research this and if you just good old google you get loads that you can get loads of the information especially about the history of chinese uh, master carvings like this. I didn't know it was included in the show, otherwise I would have done it for you. But uh, totally natural Taipei Burmese green jade. I love these. Absolutely love it. You can. It's kind of an immediate. You can see the immediate association to these, can't you? I mm. guess it's romantic. I guess you know there's got to be sort of love within uh, within as well. Two nine nine. See, that would be a definite on a cord for me. That that's all I would do with that one. Put your cord through where your tweezers are. Yeah. You're ready to go on. Yeah. Yes. Lovely. Lark's head knot. Yeah. Yeah. 
Are you ready? If you are Pisces, yeah, I was thinking that too. If you are a Pisces, uh, is that, if that's your star sign, what on earth, 79.99? I was genuinely thinking you were stopping at 299, Ross, because it's not a small carrot weight, 75 carats. You know, it's so difficult to, cre to actually draw a fish, I think, mm. especially when they actually have that wonderful level of move movement inside. And this is out of a material, A, that's one of the most valuable materials that Mother Nature produces, but also is physically harder than steel. The master carvings that we offer to you here at Jewelry Maker are literally carved by hand. It's not like a, a diamond where you can stick it in a computer. They'll map out the internal floors. They'll navigate where's the best place to actually cut it, whether it be a round brilliant cut or an oval or a princess, whatever it might be. But the machine does it all for you. This is literally done by hand. How many did we have? Um, we only had a few of them available. I've only got a couple left now, so I'll leave that with you. Um, unbelievable. Okay. Um, lots of you have been messaging in about the, t uh, about the Morganite. It is oh, a little bit late, but we're doing it right now. Um, I can't remember the last time I actually brought you Morganite as a gemstone. It's so beautiful. Many people regard it as one of the most feminine gemstones in the world. Um, it's a member of your beryl family. Um, so the beryl family has some of the world's most iconic, so emeralds being one. Um, but it also has, the rest tend to have quite a lovely pastel pa uh, palette. So your aquamarines, uh, your heliodor, your goshenites. Now I have, I don't have them physically here, just so you know. Um, oh! I do have them physically here. I only have two strands though. Morganite, the price of Morganite went up by 400, see if I can remember, it's about 450% in 2016. Um, and then it went up, I think the same again. The price per carat of Morganite every, over the past few years has skyrocketed. Can I, sh can I read that? Um, because, and I'm going to share with you an article that I, um, that I haven't shown in a long time. And the reason why I haven't shown it to you in a long time is because we don't have Morganite mm -hmm. very often. Yeah. We don't yeah. have it very often. But you know I'm a big fan of the jewellery editor. Um, I love their words, and I think they really do uh, um, showcase the gemstone or describe the gemstone as it should be. Morganite has been flying under the radar for a long time, but the increased popularity of a pink gemstone has catapulted, there we go, that's what I was just saying, um, it into a well-deserved spotlight. Um, as a more affordable alternative to a pink diamond. Now, let me just put that into perspective. A pink diamond is one of the most expensive. We said it in, in the Burmese ruby, didn't we? That's the only other color of gemstone or the only other gemstone that can match it in its price point as one of the most expensive in the world. So Morganite, yes, it's more affordable than a natural pink diamond. Natural pink diamonds are millions of pounds in some cases. Initially referred to simply as pink beryl, Morganite only became a gemstone in its own right in 1911 when it was renamed after the banker renowned mineral collector John uh, Pierpont Morgan, founder of, of J.P. Morgan and one of Tiffany & Co.'s biggest customers. Uh, and here we have... Do you know, I'm sorry, it's just it's thrown me a little bit here. Um, a round cup Morganite cabochon is accented with diamonds in a rose gold ring by Brazilian designer uh, Yael Sonia. $3,950. But would we agree? Would we agree it's quite included? Mm. It didn't have that level of quality that I would expect with that kind of price point. So... I'm a bit I'm a bit surprised by that one. But let's now let's go to our own website. This is actually off the Gemporia website. Morganite was first discovered alongside other gems, including Tourmaline and Aquamarine in Parlor, California in the early 20th century. News spread quickly about this new and exciting discovery, and it became the special interest to George Frederick Kunz, a well-known respected gemologist and gem collector in New York. In, two, in, 19, uh, sorry, in 1911, Kunz later discovered a gem in Madagascar and suggested naming this pink variety of beryl Morganite, after his biggest customer and banker, J.P. Morgan. Although this gemstone began its life millions of years ago, it has only been known and recognized in its own right since this time. 
But as I said a few moments ago, the price is catapulting. As uh, the jewellery editor wrote, this is a gemstone which can be astronomically expensive. And when you're talking about morganite or any colour gemstones, it's manganese that colours morganite. The more manganese, the more desirable the pink. So do you want me to show you the desirable pink? I'm sure you all know it anyway, but let's just show off a little bit. That's the desirable colour mm. of pink. We have two strands available. This is natural. I have 50 carats. Fifty carats of natural morganite. Anne and Sue have created this absolutely beautiful necklace using those two strands from our coveted collection. Look at that. Um, yeah. The perfect amount of manganese. The perfect amount of manganese. The rondelles are coming up as well. Now, we have 20 available opportunities. You've just seen one single cabochon. It's a pretty ring, don't get me wrong. Listen, mm. I wouldn't turn my nose up uh, mm. to, at it. It's pretty, but it's included, and it's, a, it's quite a soft colour. I wouldn't recognise. That's why I, I went quiet, because at first I was like, is that morganite? I'm not entirely sure. Um, three of these have gone already. You want it to have that beautiful, beautiful pink. And you want that pink, even though it's soft and, uh, and a gentle pastel, you want it to be obvious. Our coveted collection is the best examples that we can possibly source for our lovely jewellery maker audience in strands like this, obviously. 20 available in the world. There's something so romantic about Moonlight, oh, it's, it's, I think. It's stunning, yeah. I think romantic is the right word, isn't it? It's a beautiful, beautiful colour. Because I look and this, at and this shape is incredible as well. Isn't well, it? top to bottom drill, through drills. Yeah, yeah. Like the the earrings that you, that you've got that are. I mean, that's just one of them, and they are <laughs> perfection. Through a head pin, little wrap loop onto your shepherd hooks. Away you go. You've just made some beautiful morganite. Mm, yeah. Solitaire earrings. Even if. We were to stop here at £399. You know, we have just shown you a cabochon of far less, lesser grade quality of colour. It's, it's, it's pretty. It's got some little diamonds on the shoulder. I like, I like the design. I like the simplicity of it. However, it's almost four grand. $4,000, well, almost £4,000 as well. We're going to half that price. Richard, Julie, Tracy, you've done it straight away and I have got other collectors getting involved. You are going to be one of 20 people in the world that own this parcel of morganite. The, you know, the amount of manganese is perfect because you've got that lovely balance, that, 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 that pink. I, I don't want to say powder pink because it's not powder pink, no. is it? It's very distinctive yeah. in the gemstone world. Julie in Lundy, London, Tracy in Norfolk, Richard in Dorset, L another London's there. We've got multi buyers getting involved. 20 of you will be lucky enough to own this, and that's assuming everybody buys one. Let's do it. Let's bring that price onto your screen. Very exclusive opportunity. Hello, telephone callers. Congratulations to you. Press your option one. You can get hold of 50 carats of Morganite for £99. In that shape as in well. In that right? shape. Yeah. So just straight away on a head pin, wrap loop, pendants, pendants, earrings, just really, really easy to, to work with, isn't it? You use them as individual solitaires, couldn't you? Yes, totally, because you know, the, the size of them, the quality of them, that shape is really elegant. And it looked, every time I'd seen the, um, uh, the white jade as well, it looked beautiful. It looked really, really beautiful yeah. together. That is the whisper, isn't it? Mm. That's the whisper of mm. pink that we, yeah. um, that we quite often talk about. Um, just beautiful. It's so beautiful. And it complements all skin tones with your dark, fair, um, brunette, which, you know, it, it complements every single skin tone. It's totally natural. Morganite, much like your kunzite, we should assume has undergone some form of, uh, well, all colour gemstones, to be honest, assume they've undergone some kind of treatment. Um, it's not unusual for morganite to actually be heat treated. 
not the case here. It is totally natural. And they're, yeah, they're statements. They are absolute statements. Mm -hmm. um, I think about, I think about, I've got a pair of Morganite earrings that I treated myself to um, about, I don't know, maybe six years ago from the Sarah Bennett collection. Um, she loved to use Morganite alongside things like lovely pearls, like Biwa pearls and things like that, obviously in your precious metal. I've got a pair of Morganite and pearl earrings that she made, um, that she, she designed. Um, and I wear them all the time, all the time. Again, all different occasions. And I think it's because it's that lovely, pretty appearance that Morganite offers. I think, in, and having the, the, the pink with the, the pearls, that would, it would they oh, complement each other what so much. What about the purple much. pearls? Yes, yeah, yeah. Nice. That would yeah. be nice. Just four of these are left. That's it. There's, there was only over 20 purchased. It's never been on your screens. This is a brand new premiere opportunity. There was only ever 20. So we haven't got 20 reserved for another day, another occasion. That's it. Once that 20 are gone, they are gone. We're massively over allocated. Uh, Richard Tracy, Julie Susan, Patricia Davinia. You've done it. Sheila, new customer. Wiltshire, Susan in Essex, another Patricia, Julie. Uh, and I've got Norfolk there as well. Make sure you you check out because I've only got three available opportunities and that's not 20 today and 20 for I don't know six months time that's literally all we bought you know there's a reason why it's coveted collection yes, it's limited. and it will be yeah. limited yeah it's because you know we are making sure that this is some of the best quality examples of each of these gemstones we had it and they sold out in the fire opal we've had it in I'm trying to think of the gemstones that we've brought you in the coveted collection opals tanzanite morganite right now Fire Opal, yeah, I said Fire Opal. All of which are sold out, though. All of which are sold out. This is going to be exactly the same. This is going to be exactly, exactly the same. The final two. Cheshire, you've done it well done. Wiltshire, you've just got yours. I'll leave that final one. Now, yeah, coveted. What does coveted mean? I think we had that, didn't we, in our, uh, when we launched the coveted collection. It's, can we Google it? I can't remember what it because it actually spoke about the desirability to be coveted. There we go. Greatly desired or envied. And it says by jewelry maker. No, that's in the Oxford. That's that's in the di dictionary. Mm. But the coveted collection is by jewelry maker, and it is the best that we could possibly buy. This is beautiful and has been very 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 popular comes within the box by the way you do get them in these black boxes is i agree some of the best morganite that i think we've ever brought to air there's a jewelers in a little town i used to live at ulster and if you walk to that jewelers a little privately owned jewelers and i got i became quite good friends with the owner i used to if i was popping out for a coffee or walking past you'd always go and say hi and I remember there was one Morganite ring that she had in 18 karat uh, rose gold in her window. It was a cushion cut Morganite and it had some really pretty diamonds on the side. On the side. Yeah, a little bit melee size, a bit like that ring of, uh, earlier on. Although the stone was far better, far, far better. And that was 1,800 pounds. 1,800 pounds. You are looking at 45 carats of beautiful clarity, soft, dusky pink, the perfect quantity of your manganese to transform these wonderful feminine pink tones in a shape that we know you absolutely adore. Mm. Claire, I think you've hit the name on the proverbial head. Teaming this with pink mm. or purple natural pearls would just be yeah. divine. Yeah. Especially that strand as well, like you say, that shape, because you could just, you know, when people have, have talked about um, different silks or different ways of working with your pearls, I mean, if you didn't, you know, I mean, you could still knot with, with that, but if you didn't want to knot, just have those in between. Yeah. I mean, if you look at Al and Sue, they haven't knotted, have they? No. All they've done is put some, yeah. some Mayuki beads in between. And again, and separating them, giving them that little bit of shoulder space, I suppose, mm, mm. showcases even more, all the more, the quality of each of those Morganite solitaire stones. There are 20 available opportunities. 
You can source a cabochon from that, look, that lovely jewellers earlier on with 18 karat gold, cut, just a few melee diamonds on the side. It's pretty, it's pretty, but I know which I would prefer. And if I was definitely looking for the quality of the stones, which really is what we should be aspiring to, then it is the one that is pivoting before us in all of its rondel beauty. £79 only. I'm not describing Paul here. I'm definitely describing the Morganite. Um, £39.50 on your split payment. Um, there was only 20 available opportunities. Again, like you could literally just you could literally just restrand this as is make sure you do check them out immediately well done Richard who I know has got the most incredible collection of gemstones mm -hmm. hello Jeannie in Gloucestershire hello to you Paulie multi buying Susan Northam uh, Northamptonshire Sheila and Kath you've done it um, you've got to remember when 20 uh, you, I've already got what three people multi buying so that quantity does not hang around if you've got your heart set on owning this beautiful romantic stone and it is it's, it's one of those you don't see this color naturally very often in mother nature no, i can't think of the last time i saw any morganite it's been a long time i'm thinking do you remember the see, um, like more now. yes yeah and that's not very often either is it do you remember when we had the um the uh i think it was like a mini make with the lovely big pearl the yes. little pink pearl so i would take that use the tassel for something else and then have that in the middle of that strand. Ah, oh, beautiful such a pretty pretty necklace so what you'd have this in between the tassel and the pearl i know I'd, I'd use the tassel for something else and i would just i'd use that pearl right in the middle so just a restrand Amazing. of that morganite amazing leave it with you it's very close to selling out now well done um incredible yeah and don't forget comes beautifully boxed as you as you would expect with a with some of the best quality morganite well done collectors but do not go anywhere because coming up in the next hour um we are of course diving into your masterclass where i can see some more amazing tools claire yes and some more beautiful jewelry show us your spinner rings <laughs> They are amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Here we go. Show us your spinner ring. We've got lovely different um, solderable accents on these. Oh, Claire. They're so can, lovely, you, do, can you do the spinny spin? Should I do the spinny spin? Hang on, let's do this one. Very impressive. It's literally, I mean, look at that. So you get, we've got sterling silver, we've got the texture sheet. We've yeah, got we've got lovely, yeah. We've got Claire yeah. to demonstrate. Yeah. Tell you what, Ross is feeling generous. Should we put it all on pre-order right yes. now so you can shop ahead? Yeah? Have a look Sounds at the website, good. all the W's at jewelrymaker.com. Um, if you click on, what is it? I say this so many times. Latest deals or something like that. Coming up on today's show, one of those. Um, and you'll see all of uh, Claire's kits and you can shop ahead. I would encourage that. Plus, you've got more additional components yes, that you can yeah. embellish with as well. Beautiful. So don't go anywhere. Plus tools. Scroll down, scroll down. Coming up on today's show. There you go. There you go. You've got the solder paste. You've got the block. You've got Ooh. your little accents. You've got the bangle forming die set. You've got your textured sil uh, silver sheet. So, yeah, do shop ahead. Lovely jewel breakers. And any questions that you have for Claire, feel free to message us because we are live in the studio. You can text in. We'll be back after this. <laughs> Want to know what's going on in the next show? Then head over to our website, click on the TV guide. This will tell you who's presenting, which guest we have joining us, along with what's going on in each hour. If you ever miss a show, you can catch up by clicking on the day you missed and then click watch this show. You can also view what product was on and if it's still available to buy. Catch up on Jewelry Maker. Hi guys, I'd love for you to join me uh, this Wednesday. We're going to be bringing the launch of uh, the Caribbean Incredible Amber. This is a gemstone that has captivated the industry. Uh, you know, thought previously only gem quality amber kind of came uh, from the, you know, the, the, the Poland uh, Baltic regions, but this material has been making waves and for very good reason. It is the collector's choice for amber. Uh, I can't wait to talk to you about that. And then straight after, we're going to be bringing you Bursa Natural. 
lavender jadeite, a material that was thought to never exist outside of Myanmar. This material isn't just those pastel shades, it's incredible deep uh, saturation with its own incredible deep history, and I can't wait to share this epic jadeite with you all. Jewelry makers, did you know that you can purchase as many times as you like throughout the day and you'll only be charged one postage and packaging fee? No matter the size, weight or quantity of your order, how many times you check out that day, we will still only charge you that single PMP. Keep things simple on Jewelry Maker. It's a new year, so that can only mean one thing. It's time for those new year resolutions. And it's the perfect time to start a new hobby. Jewellery Maker, Sewing Street and Hobby Maker are here whether you're starting something new or advancing your skills on a current hobby. With all the tools you need to start, as well as expert demonstrations from our great guests. Are you starting a new hobby this January? Share your new makes with us by tagging Jewelry Maker, Hobby Maker or Sewing Street using the hashtag New Year New Hobby. And watch us every day from 8am to 1pm on Jewelry Maker. On Hobby Maker, 6 to 8am and 1 to 6pm. And 8am to 1pm on Sewing Street. we have a mega sale on our website right now there is up to 70% off items with over a thousand items available on all the W's at jewelrymaker.com so pop along take a look and start shopping Our friendly and knowledgeable help team are available 24 hours a day 365 days a year if you have a question or query, contact us on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Alternatively, you can email or drop us a direct message on our Facebook page. Jewelry Maker, happy to help. Welcome back, lovely jewelry makers, and as if. How is that morning gone? I don't know. That's gone really quickly, hasn't it? Yeah. And now, Claire, seriously, you are so clever. So clever. Just take a little look at these. For those of you that haven't, uh, uh, have only just tuned in, you've missed the most amazing show, so you need to look back at the deals. Um, oh my goodness me, Claire. But there's, it's the spinning mechanism that you have on these beautiful rings. I mean, it's, it's just a work of art. Now, we did say before we dived, uh, dived, dived, dove, dove, dove. into a no, break. Is it? Or is it dived? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> or is it dived did? Dived did. Dived in. Dived did, 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 did. What, dove. Before we dove into a break, Yes, that all the items are available on pre-order and I can tell you the texture sheet is proving to be incredibly popular. I'm not surprised, Claire. Well, talk us th through these beautiful so pieces. The, so the texture sheet um, is, uh, obviously it's, it's so, when you get that sheet through, there are the different, um, the different textures that you've got there, but it's that continuous pattern over and over and over again. And they are three lovely, um, very different designs but they go so beautifully with each other um so i mean i've i've done a high polish uh, on mine but you could there's nothing to stop you when you've got texture like that if you wanted to do, use your liver of sulfur so you'd really see it but i mean you know I, i've used the 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 sheet for the bulk of the rings but there's nothing to stop you you know if you wanted to um uh pierce out of it you know um cut out I've, I've used it before to have little hearts or um on the on the spinners itself the texture sheet is beautiful it's stunningly beautiful it's gorgeous Claire. isn't it oh it fits 
Look at that. So nice. So, so nice. And the, and it feels like amazing it does, as well. It? So, so the texture is on obviously on the on the outside, on the front of it, and then you've got that smooth silver on the inside. Incredible. And then obviously you've got this smaller one here. All the kits are available right now, so you can shop ahead and any questions that you have for Claire, feel free to message in as well. Um, and if of course, you know, if you wanted to do this on a larger scale. There's nothing stopping you doing it in a bangle as well. Yeah, yeah. Nothing stopping yeah. you doing that too. Now, I'm going to stop. I don't have it here. Um, okay. We've also got a really exciting gemstone, which I don't know if you you knew you were working with. Did you have it? A cat's eye. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Is it this? Instatype, thank you. Oh, sorry, here it is. I wasn't looking in the pots. Here we go. I'm just going to borrow my little piece of paper for a second because, aha, so this, did you get to work with so this? So I, I had this one here, yeah. Okay. Can you show me a photograph just so I know which colour to pick up? Yeah, okay, because it comes in different colours. So this is Instatite. And I think this is going to be a first for many of our collectors out there. I will pick that up, Adam, one second. Um, for many of our collectors out there, I don't own Enstatite. I've never, I've never heard of it. No, neither had I. Neither had I. I mean, there's over 4,000 different minerals out there. I guess we should expect that we are um, constantly learning and seeing new amazing treasures. So what is Enstatite? It got me thinking. Enstatite belongs from the uh, pyroxene family. The pyroxene family is a series of magnesium and iron rich silicates. Um, the name Enstatite comes from the Greek word enstates, meaning opponent, a reference to the stone's refractory nature. There are a few different varieties of Enstatite. The bronze-coloured vari variety, which is uh, weathered and has a submetallic luster, can be called bronzite. That's familiar to oh, us, right, of course. Okay. Uh, chrome Enstatite, an emerald green variety, is a form where traces of chromium are found inside the Enstatite. These stones are faceted as gemstone and worn, and worn in jewellery. They are the most valuable form of Enstatite. Well, I'll stop there for a second. Because can you see that chrome green? Mm. You have the chrome green wow. variety of Enstatite. So collectors, collectors who are looking to expand their amazing portfolio of rare gemstones in, in, 12, in 12 years. I don't know if we've done Enstatite before here at JM. It's beautiful, isn't it? So I'm starting with this. Plus then you also get the mount, which is that beautiful kind of star that you see. Can I borrow that there? Can I? I'll put the ring behind so you can see how it fits. And you get those solderable accents as well. So this can end up as a finished piece of jewellery. Obviously, you've got a different stone just here, haven't you? Yes, yeah. Which, yeah. I'll, which I'll show you in a second. It's cat's eye enstatite. And if you, um, it does say this, talk about this. Enstatite vary, uh, varies in colour from colourless to white, grey, various shades of brown, pale green, yellowish green, um, or an iron rich brownish green. Um, it is most often pale green and can sometimes display white streaks. Enstatite crystals can occur as short prismatic crystals, but they are very rare. Most of the gems we see on the market are faceted from pebbled, uh, sorry, rolled pebbles. You've got gem quality here without shadow of a doubt. Enstatite is a stone that helps us to discover what is truly important and essential in life. It helps us embark on a true life path. Amazing for those of you that are into your metaphysical side of things. Enstatite is usually found in areas where diamonds are mined. However, it also occurs in volcanic rocks um, and in stony meteorites. Enstatite is usually found in masses or in fibrous uh, lamella aggregates. Um, it is found in association with olivine, um, at dioxide spin on pyrope, the stone is often found with kim in kimberlites in South Africa. Branch green enstatite comes mainly from Myanmar, uh, Norway, and the United States of California. Enstatite, this is what I was looking for, typical, it's the last state sentence. Enstatite can also be chatoyant, having a changeable luster similar to that of a cat's eye. So you have got here the highest grade of colour, because mm. it's got that emerald green, and then you've got it with a cat's eye. How amazing is that? 
It's incredible. How amazing yeah. is that? On a gemstone we've never brought to air before. Plus you get that really beautiful star bezel. Plus then you get your lovely solderable accents. And you get Claire to show you how to make this amazing piece of jewellery. £29.99 pence only. And there's nothing to stop you, is there? If you don't want to make a spinner ring, you no. put that as a, um, a pendant. Yeah. You don't have to put it together no, as yeah, is. No, you or can a, a ring on its own. Yeah, save the solderable accents for something yeah, else, another yeah. day, another occasion. But use the um, the Enstatite cabochon, the cat's eye Enstatite cabochon, in that beautiful piece. I mean, this this is lovely, Claire, isn't it? It is. That it star. Is the detail on there, yeah. Can you see that? Look, gemstone sets, you've got little topaz in there as well. You know, even if you were just to loop that directly onto, uh, onto a chain, sorry, it's difficult mm. for me to hold it. How beautiful is that? We're not stopping there, though. We are going even lower. If you want to see that cat's eye without being flooded, literally from floodlights, um, have a look at our recording. You can see the actual chatoyancy there as well. What? Oh. <gasps> Now, granted, you're going to need to get your textured sheet, which is absolutely flying already, but twelve ninety nine, Claire. Wow. Because I'm just thinking of um, if you did, uh, you know, like the tiny solderable accents. So these, these ones, ones here, mm. I know I've sold little stacker rings with, with those on for about that price. So for one of them. So nothing to do with the gem now or the gem setting. Or this. Or, yeah. So just the, these. More, yeah. Yeah. On some sterling silver yes. wire. Yeah, yeah. Which is, if you look at, that gives you, if you look at the stacker ring, that's that one there. Can you see that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just oh, yeah, beautiful. We've got a big quantity, Claire, though, and I think Ross is feeling a bit naughty. Oh. Let's do it, then. You're going to have to get your solder sheets. This is a giveaway deal. An absolute giveaway deal. Because how amazing to be able to say another string to your bow that you can make spinner rings. You know, move mm. over Piaget. They were the first, that was the first jewellery house that introduced me to spinner style rings. Love them. But again, expensive. Who wants this under £10 today? What do I need in terms of, uh, you know, tools to actually to make your, these? To do your spinner ring? Yeah. So you'd, you'd need, um, I would go, you, you, the, a ring flare if you've got one, or if you've got the big, um, you know, like the, the dapping block, um, the steel balls there, you could use those. Mm -hmm. um, you want a ring mandrel, um, your soldering uh, kits, you know, soldering, your, your torch, um, solder, um, and, and then polishing tools, things like that. So your standard sort of soldering, soldering kit. Which again we can bring to you, yes. and we have we yeah. do bring to you yeah. at a very uh, yeah. affordable price point. But a lot of our jewelry maker audience will already have all of those ingredients, and yeah. we'll just look at this thing. Goodness me, that's a genuine gemstone of extreme rarity. Well, the fact that we've never brought it to air before, or that I recall anyway. Plus, then you've got all of that lovely detail in nine two five sterling silver, nine ninety nine. That is incredible, isn't it? Isn't yeah. it? And I mean, I glued mine, so although it's a different gemstone, mine is the, is the opal, I glued mine into the setting. I didn't, um, I didn't bezel set it. So, you know, pop it in and then you could, um, you could use your jump rings or you could use chain, couldn't you? Yeah. So absolutely no soldering if you, if you didn't want to. Let me just pick this up. Sorry, one second. I'm trying to get the tweezers underneath. Obviously, this is not secure, but just look how beautiful that mm. is. As if that's nine ninety nine incredible, plus more. We had a big quantity of these. Again, any questions, do feel free to message us. We do have other versions of this kit. We've got this kit in the Opal, um, so you can shop ahead on that as well. In fact, the Opal's on pre-order. We're going to match the price point, so you can absolutely grab yours. Um, Claire, I'm excited to see okay. this. Take so, it away. So I'm going to talk through some of the stages. So when um, I hadn't ever made a spinner ring before, um, I think it was I first started doing these projects just before Christmas. That's I was going to say, first, it's very recent. Yeah, first time I've ever done it. I've seen lovely Alison do hers. Um, so it, it's, it's breaking it down into the components that, that you've got. So if you think about it, you've got the, you've got the sheet. So if we look at, um, look at the pieces here, and we see what, what we've got and how, and how they're made. Okay, so you've got your, the, the textured sheet, 
um, that we've got. So if we look at um, look at how much we've got here, so that that's going to give us the the base of the um, uh, the spinner ring. So to give you an idea, if I sort of show you, um, you'd get two. You can get two rings out of that. Um, that one large sheet, just cut it in half. It depends on the sort of the, the look that you want or you have it as um, one full one there. So that, that gives you an idea. So when you see a sheet like that, plan it out um, and you're gonna, I think you'll probably get more than, than you and actually And if you realize. wanted a bigger size, Claire, can I solder two sheets together? You could, yeah, you could do. Um, you could sort of solder it uh, flat like that so you had a continuous length. Mm. So the other thing, and I, I'd, see, I'd seen a, um, a little video on this about, because obviously when you're soldering, what, you, you, what you're trying to do is you're trying to get a very, very, um, something that looks neat, but that you also need to be very secure. So yep. the, how you're sort of talking of, if, if, say, if you want to do that bangle or a cuff and you wanted to solder it, what you'd really want to make sure is that, that you didn't have too much of the solder yeah. going onto the texture, the pattern itself. So um, a way of doing that, and I had a little play with it, is if you use a pencil, you know, graphite, and just and rub that over, um, I wonder if I've got a pencil with me. Um, so you just sort of scribble over on the outside where you don't want your solder uh, to go. So that would be the textured side. And then you solder the seam and then it shouldn't run across the texture there. So that's, that's something to, um, to that's think clever. about. So the first thing you're gonna do is you make your, um, uh, the base, the ring itself which is out of, the, uh, out of the sheet. And I did, I did this in a couple of um, different ways. So the same way if I'm um, forming, um, if I'm gonna make a stacker ring, or whether I go for uh, a round to start off with, or whether you actually go for almost like a, more of a, um, a, a D shape or a tic-tac shape with a straight edge, because you can sometimes find that easier to solder, and then you form it into a round. So I did that, did that as well. So you'd be looking at maybe working with, um, going onto your, uh, using your uh, ring mandrel. And then if I just take this, try to knock the whole display down, um, and then going along and shaping it like that. So not, not with metal, because you don't want to disturb the, the texture there. So what you're looking to get is, so if we look down here, we're looking for the seam, which is, is going to be somewhere, it's, it's around here. So you want to get enough solder um, that it's a good seam. Uh, not, don't overload it, but do, um, you know, make sure that you've got a good amount there. So sometimes I, I did it in, I was lucky enough to do it in one solder and it went all the way up, but sometimes I had to then turn it over and so it would like be two lots of soldering. So that's the first component that we've got. You would then clean all of this up um, and so what I would then do with mine is every time, um, if you think about them as individual components, I'd take this to a point where, it, you know, I was polishing this. So all you're, clean, all you're cleaning up and to polish um, because you can access all of it. Because once we start adding the, you know, the, the, the spinner rings on the outside, it's obviously going to block off part of it. So really, really clean it up, polish it as much as you can at this point. Then we've got the next part. So if we look at the next part here, we've got the, the, the ring that is gonna spin on the outside. So that the finer, thinner ring. So you can see that's this one here. Um, and we've got the, the, square, the square wire for that, okay? So you would make your, um, make your ring here. Uh, in the st st standard way you would make any stacker ring, um, you have got the added benefit. If you do use the, the square wire, you could twist it if you wanted to, um, but we're gonna keep it like that. And again, so you're gonna do your, um, uh, as we've made stacker rings before, and we've got, clean this up. Everything while it's, it's, it's like this, so file it down, polish it. And then if you want to, this is where you can have, and I think you might have some of the different solderable accents. So you've got some little flowers, uh, and the little flowers I'd put some, so when I've got some of the scraps, you do your granul granulation and you pop a little, um, a little bit into the, into the center here. So you can see how, so I've, I've used the, um, the dapping block there, just so, so to take it from the flat to the curve, if you can see that almost that little, that little dish shape there. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to put that onto, um, onto the ring shank. So this is gonna be our, our central part. So I'm just gonna move this over 
Let's have a look and I'll show you how we would set this up. And then what we'll do is we'll pop it, we'll pop it on um, and we will uh, use the ring flarer. So, okay, so I've got everything there. So I'm gonna try and get it so that my first solder join, let's have a look here, these bits out. So we're gonna set this up. Now it depends how good your balance is. If you feel like you can um, uh, set it up and you've got good control and you can have it so that it's sat and balanced at the top here, you can do. Or if you're you know, starting out and what you might wanna do is just, we'll try and balance it on here and you would then solder. So you've got, and I think I saw you've got some solder paste as well. We can use that. So you would try and line this up and you can use your permanent marker and you're gonna get that um, so that that is soldered there. So you'd be lining everything up. And if you have a look at where, um, if you've got your, uh, uh, you know, your third hand here, what we're looking at, if you look at the position um, of where it is on the ring. So if I, if you look from the front, maybe you get a better um, view of it there. What you don't want to do is you don't want to be to have it right in here because what's going to happen is it's going to steal. This will, this is a heat sink, so it's going to steal all of the heat when we put the heat onto it. So we're just trying to get it so that it supports it and it's secure, but it's not taking up too much of the heat when we introduce the flame. Mm -hmm. And again, if we're looking at, we're soldering two pieces together, so we've got quite a small, delicate piece here, and we've got a larger piece in the in the ring shank. So we'd be aiming our torch, getting more heat into the ring shank, and then concentrating down onto this section here so you would do all of that you could pop you could pop some of your paste on here um, and and solder all of that together so if you imagine that that I've done that I'm going to move this out of the way and then we can have a look at how we put the two um, two pieces together so what we want to do then is we're going to I do love soldering it is it is very really, satisfying it is really watch. satisfying i think it's um you know and to have a have a go with the more you solder um like with everything you know the, the more competent um you mm -hmm. become with it and you and you learn you know it's about sort of directing your flame and um thinking about the sizes of things that the scale of things so if there's a, a one that's a particularly larger piece um you know, that get get the heat in uh, with that, because then often what will happen is, you know, that heat will transfer into the smaller piece, even if you don't put your flame onto the yeah. smaller piece, and then the solder uh, will flow there. So we've got our two um, completed pieces. So what we want to do is we want to make sure that that one fits on here. So what I tend to do with the spinner ring, I'd make it a little bit smaller than I needed it. And then if you pop it on, if you've got a ring stretcher, great, or if you've got your um, a ring mandrel and you're just gonna enlarge it and stretch that down. So we'll take that a little bit one way, turn it over and go down. So stretching it a little bit, take it off. And once you've done that, you know, you might have, it might not be flat anymore. So pop it down on your steel block, give it another hammer. And what you're looking for is you want it to, so that it, it sort of slides over and you've got that a nice sort of movement of it sliding around. But so what we what we don't want now is we can we could spin it and easily, but it could actually come off. So this is where we're gonna move over to this bit here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna set it up with the ring flarer. Hello. So if we look here, so the ring flarer, when you've got it, is gonna come in. So you get two different parts to it. So I'm just going to take this off and you get your spanner. So let's have a look. So this is going to take that off there, take that nut off, just pop that there. So this part, there's a nut under here. I'm just going to open this up and let's pop that in there. Okay. So then once we're happy with all of that, it's this point now, I'm going to bring this in. There we are. Right. So let's bring this down. Let's have a look. Right. So we're looking now. We're now we've got straight edges, and what we're looking to do is flare this out. So we're going to start tight. Make sure that's secure in there. 
And this is a good test of that soldered, soldered seam. So if I just go quite slowly, let's get that in the middle. Hopefully you can start to see that flaring out. So there we go. Can you see how it's starting to flare at the top yeah. and the bottom? Okay, so I'm going to then take this off. Ooh. Oh, Adam, would you do me a favour, please? I've thrown that all the way over there. Thank you. <laughs> so, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So now, if we look, that's not coming off the bottom there, so I'm going to turn it over. Realign it. Take that down again. hasn't popped yet so that's quite good and we're going to go and flare again so I'm going to take it all the way flary clary flary clary <laughs> and you can really see it coming now that does remind me do you remember when I did wrote that road testing of my flares here I came in I came in with some flares did you yeah not on air and I thought oh I'll, t I'll test them out see if I can um and then, and then I had to film that promo with the pendant motor and, and you saw my flares on them. And did you not like your flares or something? Well, they were just there. They were like flapping about. It was, <laughs> yeah. I don't wear them very often. Okay, let's have a look now. So if I pop that back on. I do like the look of flares though on people. It's a nice, nice look. Right, so now if we have a look. So remember, it came off before. So now... Can you see how that is? Yes. You can really see it, can't you now? So you've got the middle part, which is still the, the straight bit. Yeah. And then it doesn't it doesn't go anywhere. And then you can sit and fidget with it all day long if you want. I love it. So and of course you've soldered your your your, your accents on at yes. this stage already. Yeah, so at this point. Although it's, it's, I think it's really nice to have, and you can put, a, you know, depending on the, um, the, the, the depth of the, the sheet that you use, um, it's nice to have some, some plain, some with the, um, the little flower on, mm -hmm. twist wires, you, you, you know, um, if you've got some of the, um, uh, the, die, the, you know, the dyes that we've got as well to give you sort of like a crinkly effect, no. that works really well. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lovely, I think a lovely piece of, of jewellery that obviously, you know, the fact that you do spin it and... and you well, know, yeah, and you don't see it, do you? You don't see spin, uh, spinner rings that yeah, often on the high street. There's quite a few processes, aren't yeah. there? To, um, yeah, because well. most, most, I suppose, sterling silver or, or, or gold rings are actually just cast, aren't they? Yes, They're literally cast. yeah. yeah. Claire, absolutely amazing. It's a lovely, lovely project, isn't it? Yeah. Really, really enjoyable. So, yeah, hope you enjoy that. Loving you. that. Absolutely loving that. Uh, we've put the second kit onto your screens as well, lovely jewellery makers, so you can get hold of the... It's essentially the same kit as the Enstatype, but with an Ethiopian opal. I've got the stone here, which is just beautiful. And that's actually this... Here we go. That's what Claire has actually created with just here, an Ethiopian opal. As if you can get hold of that lovely four mil... Genuine opal, plus all those lovely sterling silver components. You know, the star motif just here. You get your soldable accents as well for 999. It is incredible, isn't it? Wonderful Nine pounds, price. 99 pence. Absolutely amazing. You can make an opal piece of jewellery. Genuine yeah. opal. Yeah. And like I say, if you wanted to, and soldering's not, not your thing, if you wanted to glue that stone in there, yeah. put a jump ring into, um, you know, or, or wire or maybe rosary link off, um, the star itself, because you've got lots of areas within that star that you, you know you could you could attach to. So you don't have to solder if you don't want to. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Nine pounds and ninety nine pence only. We had, I know, a big quantity of both of those kits. How are we doing on stock quantities? Okay, we're in double figure quantities. Uh, we had big quantities of them, hence the uh, extraordinary price tag. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get both of those, so you can make essentially two of these. I know you've got to add the texture sheet as well, yes. but for what, less than 20 pounds? Yeah, brilliant. Amazing. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Amazing. We will be bringing you the text and sheets in a few moments time as well. Um, again, make sure you check out. And that beautiful star uh, is white topaz set as well. So... And I had no problems with mine. So um, obviously, because the, there are stones in there already, I didn't have any problems with mine uh, with soldering. Um, so it's gone into it's it's been soldered, pickled, and it's and it's been tumbled as well. I was well. going to ask you about that. How yeah. do you clean? So it's them gone. Up? It's gone through all of those processes as well, and 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 hand hand. What with the opal? Well. Uh, not with the opal, but because you, you've got the topaz that are in there already. So uh, the last thing um, I set the opal. And then I did the So clean uh, it up flaring. before you do that. All everything else, yeah. So you do all your cleanup, um, almost like a like a, a dirty cleanup, then a clean cleanup. Mm -hmm. But it's gone through all of those processes. Then set the opal, then do the flaring. Amazing. So that's really important, I suppose, isn't it? Because yes. if you flared it and then you set the opal, it's going to be. Well, it's a bit fiddly, isn't it? And it's yeah, it's going to be pretty rounds. tricky yeah. to actually yeah. to, uh, uh, to clean the silver. Yeah. Nine pounds ninety nine. Amazing. Lots of multi buyers getting involved on this one as well. Um, Erica, Linda, Patricia, Angela, Lola, Bristol, Helen, well done to you, North Yorkshire, Anne, Karen, uh, Janet, Tipperary, Sharon, new customers. I can't keep up. There's loads of you there. We have got a big quantity of them. Um, okay. Should we do a variation of your solderable accents? Um, so these are like little petals. Ah, oh, pretty. Little petals. They are proven very popular already. Let's bring the price onto your screen. Have you seen these, Claire? Yes, yeah, so that's, that's those. So if you look at... So oh, have I, you got them? Yeah, so that one is... Uh, oh. This one here. So if you look at... So all you need to do with those... That's because um, don't forget, you know, you, if you loads of processes you can you can. Oh. Pop in. So if you've got your any of your you know dapping blocks, you just give it that heat it up. So heat it up, so you it, and then put it in um, in your dapping block to give it that that curve. And I've just put a scrap of silver that's granulated, soldered that in to give it that sort of that centre of the flower. So pretty. They're really nice, aren't they? Beautiful. I'm turning it that way so you can actually see that, Claire, you've, you've formed it into... Yeah, I mean, you don't have to. You no. Know, they're really lovely as Oops. they are, and you've got a nice... You know, they've been polished um, beautifully as well. So nice, aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. £6.99. These are absolutely flying out. Hopefully, I've got a big quantity of them. Is that...? And again, lockets. You, could, you know, they work nice. beautifully in those. Great size. Um, we had 140, which so it's not as many as we wanted. We would we had had hoped. I love these. I'll be very sad when these go because I do really really like them. Like little forget me nots, mm -hmm. aren't they? Yeah. Really beautiful. Yeah. And and if you just said, oh, could you shape those? I would have guessed no. But actually, there we go. Claire. No, you can. Yeah, but you yeah, can. yeah. Just anneal them first. Warm, you know, heat them up and then. Yeah. And just curve them around ever so yeah. slightly. Six ninety nine. That's what. Just over a pound each basically, and they are precious metal. Annabelle, Mary, Linda, Neil and Linda, hello to you, Anne, Christine, Catriona, hello to you, Lola, Claire, uh, Karen, Valentina, Janet, Belinda, <coughs> excuse me, Sharm, Dorset, Lynn, Sandra, Sarah, Julia, Angus, loads of you there, absolutely beautiful. And if you do make, um, if you take inspiration from our lovely Claire and you decide to... Um, make these beautiful spinner rings, please do share, uh, send them into the Wall of Fame so we can admire them as well. Oh, that'd be very nice. We'd love to see yeah, them too. So, um, And I can imagine, especially if you've got things like anxiety, spinner rings, and it's a bit like your fidget toys, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, they could be great for stress levels and anxiety yeah. and things like that. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. You just sort of like zone out a bit and You do down. somewhat, don't yeah. you? Um, amazing on the verge of selling out. Congratulations. Um, shall we do... Texture sheets, yeah. What, what what patterns? Okay, okay. Let's do. I think it's my favourite. This one. Oh, they've all sold out. On pre-order already. Okay. So I tell you what, we'll bring them to where showing you the price point. Well, well done, everybody that has already got theirs. So more than enough to create that beautiful ring, or if you actually cut it. That way, well, yes, I suppose. Yes, then you yes, can so make two. That way, yeah, it was two I had out of that one. And it is nine two five sterling silver as well. I love that. It's almost like um like a trellis effect. And it and it does show you so that it's those two. So the one that I've made and the uh, the demo one, you can see is more than enough to get uh, to get that that flare. 
So don't don't think that you know that you have to use the full you know all of the sheet because you you know you can see there. So that's the one I've just demoed with. Mm -hmm. You've got a lovely flare there, probably even more actually than the than the, the you know the, the finished piece. So you can halve that sheet. And that flare, you're not you know once it's done, it's it's secure, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Because so what you've done is you've used metal tools and pressure on the, on the metal, so that that hardens it as so well. That, yeah. So that sorry. Should we do like the giraffe print one? I really like this one. This is described as pebbles. I can see like a giraffe. Yeah, more of a giraffe print, I see. It's lovely, isn't it? It's really pretty. Yeah, really pretty. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Again, 925 sterling silver. You can see there's quite an investment. So this is going to make some really lovely, beautiful, solid jewellery mm. as well. Um, yeah, they're absolutely flying out the door. Is this sold out? It has sold out. We're just literally bringing it to air. We probably could have sold it five times over, actually, yeah. in terms of the quantity. The last one, it's hard to say, actually, because, you know, as they're, as they're flat, I would probably have chosen the uh, sort of like trellis one. But actually in the jewellery, I do love this, Claire. It's nice, isn't it? I said, it's, it's, it's calling it a leaf. I, I thought it was little hearts. I but... thought they were hearts too. Yeah. Ah, oh, Rossi's Paisley. Yeah, I see Paisley too, yeah. They're just beautiful, aren't they? Look out, captures the lustres. Guess what? Sold out. Amazing. Um, if we had literally five times the quantity of that, they'd still sell out. But this is really Ooh. interesting now. Uh, the, um, the copper one. So you'd have a lovely contrast there, wouldn't you, if you did? And you could. Yeah. You'd do exactly the same yeah. techniques? Yeah. Which one now, sorry? Square ones. Okay. These are great. So you've got a pack of three, copper. You treat them the same oh, way, don't look you? At those. I, I've not done it with copper. I can't see why you wouldn't. I mean, you know, it, it, heat it up. Um, you know, you might need to heat it up a little bit more. Yeah, because is it a higher or lower melting point? I think it's higher, isn't it? Okay. Um, but again, yeah, have a go. Have a go. You get all three um, of your texture sheets, They're which are lovely. five by five centimetres um, and a thickness of 0 0.75 millimetres. So it's going to be quite a, you know, quite a substantial piece of jewellery then. But again, um, you can still solder with things like your copper, can't you? Yeah. So just be very careful if you, you know, using your silver solder on, on the seam. Gosh, that's very good, isn't it? Five ninety nine. And think, of, and again, the lovely effects you get, you know, with your liver of sulphur, you know, it'd be really picking out all the detail on the, on the sheet. Yeah, because it literally does, it cleans up. Right now we're looking at it where it's got the occasional mark on, on, on it, but again, literally give it a polish, give it a buff. Yes, yeah. Um, then it will all literally shine like beautiful, beautiful rose gold. We've got a hundred of them. Half the stock has already been confirmed at two pounds each. You can shop ahead on the other copper sheet as well. Um, which does differ, uh, does differ, um, but we're matching that price point as well. Two pounds per sheet, Claire. I remember when copper used to be quite expensive. Yeah, yeah. And you used to have that guy in well. like, oh, come around, didn't you? <laughs> well, yeah, when, when I was an engineer. He was always, he was all, yeah. yeah. You'd keep it all and then take it to the... Um... Why do they do that? Why do they do that? <laughs> Why do they do that? <laughs> I, I prefer the ice cream man to have that sound, I think, though, to be honest. But it sends my dogs nuts. <laughs> That's why they, they probably think they're dogs, is don't they? Is it saying any old iron? Or no, any old iron, that is. Oh, right, OK. When you cut, when, What's when that, you then? That? Just their horn? I, yeah. But they're always after copper, aren't they? Yeah. Don't blame, I don't blame, but it's, it's a precious metal at the end of the day, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Precious metal, 5 99 only, and it's beautifully textured. It's quite, an, it's the sound of summer that is for me. It's the what, sound of summer? It's the sound of summer, yeah. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're in your garden? I, I'm not saying it's as nice as the birds and the trees or anything like that, or even a lawnmower. I'm not even saying that. But it is a sound of summer for me. Because you only hear them in the winter, do you? <laughs> yeah, the sweetie birds in the tree and the kids playing outside. I like I like I like the lawnmower. And then I like it. I like it.
like it because normally I'm like that. Tom, 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 he's here. Get the old scrap outside. Just rush out the front oh, of the house. <laughs> um, loving this. So you've got, again, different patterns in this. You've got some lovely floral motif. It's described as abstract, which I'm a bit curious about. Um, almost like a... That's a bit more um, decorative and uniform, isn't it? I think. I wouldn't describe it as abstract, no, no. but very pretty. I'd, uh, more floral, I think. And just think of all the lovely, you know, if you do your silver clay, you could get the impression, couldn't you, out of it um, with these? Can you use, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, literally. And we have silver clay, I think, mm. on the website as well. Mm. Oh, I think we did. Um, can you solder copper with silver? Yes. Yes, you can. So what, what you could do is, for example, um, if you wanted to uh, uh, maybe pierce out a little, maybe a heart shape out of these. And then, so where I would put the little flower on the spinner, part mm -hmm. you, could, you could maybe have a copper heart or a copper flower oh, what about a copper on, on silver or vice versa what about a silver spinner on your copper yes nice yeah flared ring yeah yeah have the nice contrast yeah, yeah. lovely lovely um, they're flying out the door. Well done. Uh, well done. Amazing. 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 Um, we do also have the solderable block, which we don't see very oh, often, that, yes. do we? Yes. Um, aha. Now, Claire, you've got two on your screen. Yes, I've got tray, two. Never you? have enough of these. What, what, what do we need a solderable block for? So you can see, so I've got two. Yours I've is very well there. loved. Yes. Yeah, but that's, these are, these are, you know, these are, when you buy these tools, these are, you know, specialist tools. Um, and they last you for a long time. And, and once sort of one is, um, I mean, this one is pretty much nearly done with. Um, it's got a lot of, you know, uh, old flux. And you can see that it's got, uh, there are tiny little uh, granulation balls on there that are just sort of stuck on. Um, but, you know, you don't throw that out because I can, I can uh, you can see I've got, uh, there are little areas there where I've, I've dug into it, taken a little bit out, which means then when I want to solder a bale on, I can just rest that in there. You know, these are really, really good specialist tools. And you're not going to solder without a soldering block, are you? No. Because obviously that means no, you're doing it directly really on your yeah, workstation. Really dangerous. Very yeah. dangerous. So yeah. you do, it's a must, isn't it, if yes. you're soldering? Yes, yeah. Um, and the fact that it's only £8.99. Pounds and £99 pounds. Brilliant, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. We also do have the soldering paste. Brilliant. So you quite often use the little... Yes, little, so little tabs, don't you? Yeah, so there are, but I use a mixture. Um, I will use a mixture when I'm when I'm working with them. So the paste is really good. So with the 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 pallions, you'll use the pallions and some flux. So you could use your borax or liquid flux, depending on what you want to do with these. Everything is mixed in. So you don't need anything else. You don't need anything. So uh, to put the the little flowers onto the ring shank, you can just put a little bit, a little dot of that, and paste. then yeah. And how long does that keep? Do uh, I do I or, need to use it all? Oh, sorry. I'm no, actually... no. I've, I mean, I, so I and I haven't even got the syringe on there. Um, I've had that in there for a while. So and you can also see on it. So this says. Um, well, I mean, it's not just single use, is it? Oh no, okay. no, no, not at all. Um, but you can see there. So you know where it's got the um, sixty-five. Yeah. So that's the um, uh, the soft or the easy. So this would be the last one I would use. So when you're thinking about going the, the the soldering that you're going to do yeah. think about it in different stages so um on my ring shank that spins round there are two layers of soldering so there's the soldering that solders the ring shank together and then there's the the next layer that solders the accent to it so i would use this on the accent amazing well that's literally what the say it's the same paste yes 16 Brilliant. 99 goodness me oh my word oh my goodness the final auction of the day claire Oh my word! I mean, you've got look at that tanzanite. Oh wow! Sneaky little tanzanite up there. Look at this. Oh Claire, imagine these on your spinner rings. Can you? Oh, do you know? I almost wouldn't want to break up that collection though. Look how pretty is that? A sapphire, pink sapphire, peridot, peridot, uh, amethyst. Look oh, at the look quality at of these stones. You've got garnets, you've got another ruby just here, I can see. Specitites, you've got topaz, you've got tanzanite at the top there, fire opal absolutely in a cabochon. All, yeah, I'd say that is grand right? Yeah. These are amazing. Diopside. Look oh, at the quality look at of these. 
and in a trillion shape. We don't see trillions very often. Launched by Tiffany's and Co. alongside Tanzanite. Um, or oh, it was the original Tanzanite cut, wasn't it? Um, so essentially, to make to be a true trillion, all the ratios match. So the three uh, um, exterior sides of your trillion matches the depth of the of the pavilion to be a true trillion. Um, yeah, they show amazing, amazing brilliance. Look how beautiful! But you pay a premium for them. You do pay a premium. I can't see Ross. That's a full rainbow, isn't it? Doesn't matter, we can have fun, can't we? You have emerald, clear quartz, you have tanzanite, citrine, topaz, peridot, tanzanite, fire opal. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go. Now I have the list. Sapphire in there, garnet, tourmaline, topaz, peridot, goshenite, amethyst. A mixed parcel. You get a mixture. So I can't guarantee exactly what stones you will be getting. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was you. What are you blaming me for? <laughs> you blaming me for? Hello, Ivy. <laughs> Ivy just... <laughs> Ivy the dog just went scared the... Yeah. Like, <laughs> what did you think I was doing then? Wasn't that like tickling me? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously, though, the Tanzanites themselves, the Tanzanites themselves, £199 on their own. Um, let's bring the two, £10 per stone right now for, t for Tanzanite, for Emerald, for Goshenite. We haven't got many of these. It's our finale auction of the day. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's do a closeout deal, shall we? Less than £2.50 per stone. Oh, I need a Tanzanite as well. Oh, the wow. sapphire, the pink sapphire, £49. <clears throat> Goodness me. The quality of these. Again, true, uh, we don't see trillions very often. And mm -hmm. when you do see them, they tend to be quite expensive. Again, a true uh, trillion tends to have the, the angles and, and the measurements are the same. <clears throat> That's the uh, three sides of a trillion right the way down to the uh, depth of the pavilion, i.e. the coolie at the bottom. Make sure you check out. There is only a handful of them available. It's been a lot of fun today. Um, we have got Dave joining us tomorrow where we are launching for the very first time type a black bicones in jadeite Ooh. oh gosh that's gonna they're be so beautiful and i've got mark with those amazing coated agate oh, strands lovely. What a lovely um, morning. yeah it's full of color i've seen them on facebook as well they look absolutely beautiful but speaking of beautiful you're beautiful and so is your jewelry I've and had a lovely morning it's Thank been you. wonderful when you're back uh, i'm back on thursday so have you got <clears> what do you know uh, I'm going to do some bubble clusters. Ooh, yeah. lovely. Now that can be pendants, rings and earrings. Can't yes, it? A, a good pendants, I think. Yes. You're going to go with the pendants. Yeah, yeah, well, we yeah. do love you, Claire McDonald. Thank you, love you too. Uh, love we you can't too. wait to see you again. Make sure you check out your baskets. Sorry, yeah, love you guys too. I just heard Ross coughing them. Is that... <laughs> <laughs> he said, no, no, that was a genuine cough, Fell. I, I wasn't fishing. <clears throat> um, <laughs> uh, have a lovely afternoon, everybody. But don't go anywhere because our sister channel is up next on Hobby Maker and you've got an absolute feast of treats before you. I can see lots and lots and lots of inspiration coming your way. Don't forget tomorrow, black type A jadeite bicones after this. <laughs>